All right, I think we are live again. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Yeah, I think we're live again. All right, uh, ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome back. I know I went live like an hour ago, uh, but I sincerely apologize. I know I went live and pretty much ended the stream as soon as I did. Um, I hope I'm not muted anymore, by the way, because, hang on. Okay, I can hear myself. Good. Uh, that was the, the crux of the issue, is my mic was just not being uh, outputted to the stream, and I could not for the life of me figure out why. I have admittedly been changing up a bunch of things as of late off stream. Um, also, hang on, where is my... What the hell happened to my starting soon music? I don't know. Okay, whatever. Uh, things are all haywire right now, but... Um... Hey, can I start that? I feel creeped out without it right now. I really need my starting soon chill music to feel like I'm in a happy place. Because, yeah, the past hour was a little bit stressful. I have had no idea why I was running into tech issues and stuff. Uh, rest assured, though, I think, I hope, fingers crossed, we've sorted them out here. It looks like we have. Um, we're going to be going into the stream without any problems and stuff. But, yeah, basically what happened was my mic wasn't being picked up. And I had no clue why. Turns out there's this really weird setting in my mixer that somehow got disabled that I had no idea about before. Or rather had no idea there was some kind of weird side effect of its functionality. Alright, without getting into the mumbo jumbo stuff, basically I um, patched that up and we have audio coming in. Thank God. Uh, so yeah, we're starting unfortunately an hour late. I finally made it to the stream on time for once and uh, something happened yet again. But uh, we're good, we're good. All right, let me go ahead and hide this stuff here because now my UI is all scuffed too. Uh, dibby dibby do. All right, should be good. But yeah, today we're going to be continuing more uh, Sparking Zero. Super stoked for that. Uh, been over a week, I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, no, it's been exactly a week, actually. I missed the stream last Saturday. Uh, I was spending some time with friends and the fam, so I just thought I'd take a night off. But uh, I'm back today with the usual Friday stream, and speaking of the days we stream on and stuff like that, it's probably a good opportunity to segue into a quick announcement about the streams. Uh, that being the fact that I've got a semi-new schedule. I'm going to be continuing on Fridays and Saturdays, but I would like to add Tuesdays into the mix and experiment with that going forward into the foreseeable future. I'm not 100% on it yet. I'm still kind of shaky, uh, but I do want to try and make it work. And the reason being, basically, there's so many games that I want to play, and I just feel like having two streams in the week isn't enough to get around to all of them. Um, as you guys uh, may have noticed, I'm streaming way less than I used to in the past. I used to be way more, um, you know, I used to be online way more frequently. I used to be streaming way more frequently, uh, but because of circumstances and getting busier and stuff off stream, I had to kind of scale that back and, you know, hence why I've been streaming on Fridays and Saturdays, uh, albeit for, you know, long periods of time so that I can get as much game time in, but it's still not quite enough. So I wanted to try and throw in an extra day during the week um, that we don't already have for the schedule. And by the way, having a schedule the past couple months has been super nice. Been a minute since we had one of these, and I think this is the longest that I've adhered to one. So I'm really happy with how Fridays and Saturdays have been going so far. Uh, but yeah, I would like to try and experiment with Tuesdays. I am still pretty busy, and uh, therefore, like I said, I'm kind of not 100% on adding Tuesdays to the mix, but we're going to try, right? We'll give it a shot. Uh, they'll be at the same time, uh, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, just like today and tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. I put an announcement for this in Discord as well and on my Twitter, basically saying that... I was saying the same thing, yeah, that, you know, we'll, we'll see if it's sustainable or not. I want to try it out. I want to be able to stream more in the week and play more games and stuff. So, yeah, uh, and I might drop it if it doesn't work, so, you know, keep that in mind. And I'll let you guys know about that too, but... We'll, we'll give it our best shot, our best effort, and go from there. So, anyways, uh, enough yapping out of me. Dude, it, we've been stalling long enough uh, for this stream tonight, right? Between the tech issues and stuff and the schedule thing. I'm just ready to jump right in. Uh, please, if anyone is in the neighborhood and is comfortable typing in chat at any point, uh, let me know if everything sounds okay, everything looks okay, because I have... Yeah, let me mute that. 
I have been doing an immense amount of tinkering uh, on my streams, uh, or within OBS rather, uh, these past couple days, especially last night before bed, I was playing around with a bunch of different plugins and stuff, uh, one of which probably, or no, actually didn't give rise to this audio issue, I know what caused that, unrelated, but yeah, I've, I've done test streams and stuff, things have turned out pretty decent, so I'm hoping that continues into tonight's stream. Me continuing more sparking zero story mode. Uh, yeah, let me know if everything sounds and looks okay. There's this one plugin in particular that I'm really excited to uh, test the waters with tonight with sparking zero. And basically, what that plugin does is it's going to allow my webcam to not be as adversely affected whenever there's a lot going on on screen. Uh, and for the rest of the screen to look as usual whenever there's like a lot of you know fast motion and stuff and the bitrate isn't enough to compensate. So essentially, this plugin allows you to allocate bitrate to different parts of the screen as opposed to, like, the canvas as a whole. So I'm excited to... I did a couple of test streams, like I said, and um, they turned out okay. Uh, but I'm hoping to see that in action tonight with the Sparking Zero stream, and I'm hoping for everything to turn out pretty all right with no errors, no nothings, um, especially considering the past hour was full of nothing but that but glad we could make it right glad we could make it and once again do let me know if you guys uh notice anything weird anything acting up on stream uh considering all this tinkering i have been doing yo ian what's up man how's it going yo. just like what goku said <laughs> yo um in the voice of that one guy hello oh true was that um Dude, it feels like forever since I've played this game. That's the other thing, by the way. I've been itching to get back to this. I've been thinking about this game the whole week. I've been so tempted to play, but you know me. I don't like to play things off stream. Um, but yeah, who says that? I think it was Jace, right? It was probably Jace from the story mode. Or Yajirobe, yeah. Could have been that dude. The man, the myth, the Yajirobe. But all right. Let's, let's go see. ahead and check out the rest of the story mode. Glad to see you and fingers crossed everything goes super smooth. Thanks, Ian. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, the last hour was very stressful out of nowhere. Like, I just realized that none of my audio was getting outputted, or rather my mic audio wasn't. I was like, what in the... Like, what? That doesn't make any sense. And it took me like 30 minutes to figure out exactly what was going on because nothing was adding up. Uh, so glad we got that sorted out. I'm assuming you can hear me. <laughs> um... And I'm also hoping, here's the other thing I didn't mention, um, tech-wise and tinkering-wise, all that kind of stuff that I messed around with. Uh, yesterday, I actually got rid of a whole bunch of my audio hardware to kind of like simplify my setup a bit because, and just organize the wires and stuff like that um, in my setup. So I got rid of this like audio extractor thing I was using and this aux cable. I wanted to try and like merge both my PC and console into just one cap audio capture device, which is basically my capture card, as opposed to like routing it through different things. So now all of it should be just going through my capture card now, and that should be getting picked up by my mixer. So you guys should be still, you should be able to hear the game audio like usual still. It's just coming through my uh, capture card now is the only difference. But I'm hoping it's coming in nice and, and crisp and that there are no hiccups or anything. So once again, please let me know if you guys notice stuff um, and I'll look into that. Uh, I saw you pop up and vanish and I had a feeling. Blame it on the moon. Things get weird for the full moon. True, it's spooky month, right? God dang it. Darn spooky month, am I right? Uh, everything looks and sounds crystal clear so far. We'll keep you posted if it changes. Thanks, man. I do appreciate that a lot. Yeah, I've been messing around with the streams, or in OBS rather, a whole bunch uh, the past few days. And uh, yeah, hoping for the best. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, real quick continue with Goku. Okay, let's do this. Thing. I'm definitely going to finish up his uh, story mode tonight. I'm curious how long the other story modes are with the other characters. I'd assume they're not as long as Goku's. That's right. We were in the super arc last time. Goku has defeated Goku Black. This is for Chi-Chi and Goten. 
This is for my family from another timeline. Despite it happening in another world, Goku is consumed by rage. With only Zamasu remaining, Goku stands up to face, or stands to face him with every ounce of strength he possesses. However, he is unable to figure out a way to defeat his immortal opponent. It doesn't take long before Goku has exhausted all his energy. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, those uh, Zamasu and Goku black fights last time kind of made me sweat a little. This game and I are not on the same wavelength yet. I gotta get good. Uh, Alright, Unstoppable Rage. There's like a what if thing on the right too. Interesting. Here go. Let's do this. Let's finish the future Trunks arc. Oh, what's this? Oh, I, I think I chose the cutscene by mistake. Oopsies. This is for Chi Chi and Goten! Yeah, I, I, we got it, Goku. You're angry. Um. So what now? I gotta get to the top right one, I guess. Episode map, let's see. Uh huh. We did that. Survive the battle against Zamasu and Goku Black. We did that. Okay. okay. Let's do this thing. Slightly confused. And it had like a branching path there. Meaning we could have gone into a what if scenario, but it didn't pop up for me last time. Oh my god, I don't want to see this again. Goku, I swear to god, if you yell into my ear one more time about your family that you clearly don't care about because Piccolo's a better dad than you, let's be honest. Okay, good. Do I just do this one and try the alternate branching path? Yeah, we already saw this last time, I'm pretty sure. Oh, my bad. It literally says whole square to skip. I don't know why I've been pausing and... We know the truth. All the terrible things you've done. We know you used the Super Dragon Balls to get your power. You think get your I'm power. Copy. Oh, you're wrong. Okay, we saw all this stuff. Goku Black explaining his nefarious plans. And how he's there and how Zamasu is there at the same time. Mortals are... We've already cleansed a great number of planets. Uh, okay. Okay, so I already did this fight last time. Do I have to, like, hang on. Do I have to play as future Trunks or something and then unlock the other battles? I'm very confused. Might look this up real quick. We're experiencing a lot of technical difficulties tonight. Holy crap. This is not how I envisioned my return to streaming after missing Saturday's stream. I was super stoked for nothing but positive super duper vibes. But, uh, weirdly has been anything but. <laughs> Goku Black is giving me Goku Balenciaga. He actually, no joke, kind of does. I never even thought of that. Never thought of that. That dude is dripped out. Uh, okay, hang on. What is this called? The Truth About Zamasu. That, that was the battle, right? And then Unstoppable Rage. That's like a cutscene. And it says they're branching paths on this one, but I never got the opportunity last time, so... Wait, The Truth About Zamasu Sparking Zero. Okay, details. Reddit. And this got an award. Holy shit, so I might not be the only one who's confused. Uh, okay. After having fought this battle for roughly an hour, I finally figured out what needs to happen to clear it fast enough. This is 100% what needs to be done, but the means to the end can be played with if you're good enough to do so. Oh, what? It's a timed battle. So, you have to beat it fast enough to get the other path. Um, objective says... Wait, first the fatal condition is if you hear Goku Black say the line about tasting his blade. 
okay? If you hear that, pause and select retry. It will save you time. Second, the objective says beating Zamasu and Goku Black fast enough. That's pretty accurate. If you take your time on Zamasu, then Goku Black will say the line about tasting his blade much sooner when they switch. So clearing Zamas as fast as possible is equally as important as defeating... Oh my god, Seth. And that fight was hard. That was a difficult fight towards the end of the last stream. So I've got to do it... I, I not only got to do it again, but I got to do it fast. Okay, so a very simple strategy was rush, launch, sparking mode, use all. So if you don't do this, like... Okay, wait, I didn't mean to lower the difficulty. I mean, I could to make it easier for myself, but I don't want to. How do you see the battle condition? So wait, can I just see this again real quick? Is this what happens in Super? Because I, I haven't seen the anime. Knowing that the other thing is like the all path, like... So what happens at the end of this? Does it not just not continue? Yeah, so Goku's mad because... Zamas messed up his family in this timeline. Okay. Faces him. Can't figure out how to beat him. Goku's tired and shit. So, am I to assume that's like a fail condition cutscene after regularly beating them, but that isn't baked into this fight and is its alternate thing on the episode map? Like it's its own thing? I'm so lost. <laughs> Alright, so I guess... Okay, I know there's this details thing now. Okay, oopsies. Oopsie doopsies. Okay. Let's do this oh man, thing. we gotta watch this whole thing again. Um. All right, we're gonna try this out. I just gotta. I guess it's a skill check. Sure. Well, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm brainwashing someone out there, making them watch this every single time. Okay, so. All right, how do I see? I mean, I know now based on this post. That I gotta beat it fast enough, but where does the game tell you that? Just for future reference. The objective says beat them fast enough. Now where is that? Okay, I'm just gonna start it. I'm just gonna start it. Skip this. We know the tr truth. All the terrible. More. Hang on. Uh, battle details. Alternate objective. There we go. Survive the battle against Zamasu and Black. Defeat Zamasu and Black quickly. Uh, yeah, this has got to be so frustrating once you know that. I get why this post has so many upvotes now. Because you, you literally don't know what that means. Like, how how quick is quickly? <clears throat> okay, I'm going to look at some, some tips. Zamas is allowed to survive and switch out with Black as long as you kill Black before the Taste My Blade. Okay, I mean, it's the same thing. We'll fulfill the alternate ending conditions. Get sparking as soon as possible once Black pops in, Dragon Dash in, Chain Rush attacks. Okay. I'll just, I'll, I'll unskill issue myself. That's it. That's all we need to do. I don't need no tips. Like I'm so confident, even though it's been a week since I've played the game. Evil shall no longer exist. 
I probably not even get this done on the first go or a couple, let alone remember how to play the game properly. <laughs> Okay, so quickly just means when Zamasu, or I'm sorry, Goku Black pops up. You don't have to be quick from the get-go. You can take your time on Zamas. Oh dear. I thought for sure you would have asked by now, Goku. Okay, that was a good teleport. My family? Where does one begin such a gripping tale? Okay, shit. He's here. Super Dragon Balls Everyone, brace your assholes. I, to make sure we I don't want to do any blade tasting today. There I found you. You were shocked to find shit. in my body that your family was terrible. How do I charge again? There we go. What about Titi? Fuda and Goten! Oh, surely you can guess that much ago. Shit. Monster! You pay for that! Okay, holy shit, that's amazing, dude. So I'm looking at this off topic. I am I'm gonna probably die, first and foremost. Um I I may have lost the battle, but I won the stream, question mark. Oh wait, hold hold on, what the hell? Oh, okay. Sorry, I mixed up this fight with the last fight that we did. That was a really hard one. That was, there, there were two fights in a row, back to back, between Goku and this duo. The one before this was the one I was hard stuck on. This one we finished fast, and then we ended the stream after this. Okay, they kind of blurred together in my head. This one is inherently easier. Clearly, right? You don't actually have to beat the, the two of them. You better keep your focus on me. Um, Okay, what happened here? Mortals do not tell Is this the same fight? What you do? Hold up. I think I did. Yeah, yeah, I did retry. My bad. Hold up for a sec. Um, what you do? This is the easier one. It, it's easy to get through if you just, at the very least, survive. But if you don't defeat them, like, then you don't get that alternate path. Here we go. Break through the limit. But yeah, as I was saying before, okay, so this is going to pertain to what I was about to say. My face, I would assume it's not going to get absolutely annihilated on stream by, by the bitrate with Goku doing that Kamehameha. Am I semi-correct? Yes. Currently watching. And I'm watching this, that's scary. Come now for the plan continues. Okay, that's actually kinda sick. It's it will obviously get a little bit blurry, but nowhere near as bad as usual. That is cool. So it's gonna help for like when I'm uploading TikToks and stuff. Um and I don't want my face to look like Halloween day is Halloween night has come early or something. This was just the start. I'm channeling my divine rage into power. I have forged a new instrument with which to destroy you. Ow. This side will carve a reminder into your mortal flesh of the strength of my divine wrath. Holy shit. <laughs> Just as we foresaw, fighting this formidable Saiyan blight has carried us both to new heights. This proves our transformative power. Our destiny is to cast judgment upon all creation. Okay, here he is. 
<laughs> I'm probably gonna die, but What's the matter? I just wanna see the fail state, you know? Don't be afraid. I thought you saved love fighting the strongest. Oh, okay, here it is. Here it is. So basically, we cannot let him do that. I see. I get it. I get it. I get it. All right. Starting to stream off by going right into the frying pan, or should I say sparking pan, with how challenging this is going to be. I'm down for a challenge, though. The way I see it is it's a skill check, right? Every challenge makes me a little bit better, I want to say. So I'm still not 100% used to the mechanics here. It's been like forever since I played an arena Dragon Ball game. So used to like Fighter Z or Fighters, a 2D one. Oh dear. See, like, as soon as I said that, I'm pressing these instead of how do I? How do you do? How do you charge up again? Shit, I forgot. This should be planted. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, wait, is it? It's R2 plus square. I see, I see, I see. See, I'm pressing R2 and X because that's what it is in fighters to charge up. No hard feelings. It's gonna do a bunch of this. See, I'm doing it again. This is what I actually have to do. Here we go. No hard feelings. Beautiful. Okay. Just gotta land that every this single time. The start. By channeling my divine rage into power, I have forged a new instrument with which to destroy you. This sound will call a reminder into your mortal flesh of the strength of my divine wrath. <laughs> Just as we foresaw, can you not? Fighting this formidable Saiyan blight has carried us both to new heights. This proves our transformative power. Our destiny is to cast judgment upon all creation. Shut up. I could use an extra hand. Yes. Oh, God. Not this shit again. Oh, they got me too. Try teleporting. The plan. Yeah, hold it. Huh? <laughs> okay, the here we go. Relax. So, fuck, 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 miss input. Uh. I thought you say and love Oh, you piece of shit. You piece of shit. You actually killed me. All right. <laughs> I didn't even think that was going to happen. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, so I gotta, like, go sparking as soon as he shows up, if not, like, right before. Mortals do not tell gods what to do! Oh, shit. That's... not what I meant to press? Oh, okay, it's just holding R2 to charge up. I forgot, it's not- there's no square involved, okay. I am not alone. Brother, please. Extra hand, yes. Thank God. Alright. You come here, get you. Oh, God damn it. Get your ass over here. Break through the limit! The limit! Wait, oh, oopsies. That's actually, that's not what I meant to do, but please work. Thank God. This was just the start. By channeling my divine rage into power, I have forged a new instrument with which to destroy you. So, does he just, like, tag out if I wait long enough, or do I have to actually damage him enough? Because otherwise, like, if he's just going to disappear at his own, like, when he, whenever he wants... I'm just going to remain charged up in preparation for Goku Black. Okay, please work. Oh god, or not. Or don't, I guess. Okay, there's Black. 
Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Relax. Don't be afraid. Relax. Don't do it. You say love fighting the strongest. No, what the? What was that? What, dude? This guy's this guy's fast. Please don't hit me with your blade. You didn't say taste my blade. You didn't say the words. You didn't say the words. That doesn't count. I hope. I hope. Is that gonna land? It landed. It landed. Goku! Trunks, you okay? He's weak. Trunks must have done something. Yeah, the part where he gets really angry with the sword, right? I remember that from the... I didn't watch the anime, but... I didn't watch Super, but I do know about that. Son of a bitch! What went wrong? It seems many of our assumptions about... Hi, Okama. Badly mistaken. They are much more than just insignificant words. If we're not motherfucker, our dream of utopia is going to be ruined before it's even begun. Listen, like every one of these. Very well. Thank God. You pathetic, lowly mortals. Don't say the words radius. "taste my blade." I will kneel, but we won't taste any blades. Fuck. Over. You shall kneel before our radiance. Okay, that's this shit. Justice together. Okay, wait. Thus begins a new world. Vegeta, where are you? We need to do Patara right now. Before our splendor, worship. Give praise unto me, me the beautiful, the sublime, me the invincible. The almighty and the fucks. Oh. No. The fall the hands of a god, is it not? No. No, it's not. Harken unto me. So, yeah. I am the glowing sun in the sky which illuminates this world. And also know that my brilliance is justice. Taste this brilliance. Come on, please. We're taking a minute here, but the fight's going on. He didn't say taste my blade. Uh oh. Fight ended. Um. I'm assuming we didn't complete the alternate objective because we didn't defeat shit. Wait. For this world. This is new. And for all of us mortals. I'm putting all of our hope into this one blast! Gallic Gun! Oh shit, I didn't realize he actually uses his dad's ability. That's cool. Give it all you've got! Right! It's pretty sick. I've had enough of you impudent mortals! Away with you! Dude, I love to use Zamasu's voice. Get ready, because I'm knocking your lights out for good! Smite the heart of the wicked. Face my divine wrath. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Sean Shovel's just never, no, never not giving it his a hundred, his hundred percent. Blasphemous fool! You continue to defy a god. God. With Galagod and Goku's Kamehameha, Vegeta and the others think they have won. But then, the fused Zamasu's body starts to change. Half of this combined Zamasu came from Black. It seems the part of his body that's vulnerable to attacks is affecting the part that isn't. It will need an even greater power to destroy Zamasu now. Goku tells Vegeta his idea. It's time. Okay, Vegeta. It's time. Even well, Goku said it. Just like them. Man, Goku and I are just on the same wavelength tonight. Don't, Constantly saying the same clown. things. There's no way I'm going to do that again. I don't like this any more than you do, Vegeta. 
But if we still need a major boost in power to break down his body, then this is the best chance we've got. Come on. You gotta admit I'm right about this. Good luck, you two. Thank Here you. goes. It's now or never, Vegeta. I'm super hyped for this. We're about to play my main from Dragon Ball Fighters. There's something I've always wanted. Let's go. When we fused last time, the Kai said it's it was in the making. But we split apart anyway. Do you know why? The truth is, it's only permanent if a Supreme Kai is involved. Otherwise, it only lasts an hour. So just a one-hour battle, then we're back to ourselves. Cut it out! If you say one more word, then the answer is no. Damn it all! One hour, but that's it. No, we need less than an hour to beat his ass. Let's go. Vegeta, I need your help. Just one more time. So I swore I'd never merge bodies with you again. Let's -a go. Who are you? Vegito Blue time. You two double dumps. Wait, not yet though. Say, you know, just to play fair. We're a merged fight. A combination of Vegeta and Kappa. I fucking love his kickboxing. And here's something new. Vegito Blue! Get ready. Hey, alright. Here we go. God, the transformations look so cool in this game. Holy fuck. What do you say we wrap this up? Oh, I'm sorry. Is this hurting What's this? you? <laughs> you cannot keep up with me. You are I'm messing some things up. Shit. <laughs> Come on, man. Vegito Blue is my boy. I'm making him look bad here. Now that you've merged, you've taken in something that's always going to be a part of you for as long as you live. Go God, final Kamehameha. Body. Holy shit. Final Kamehameha. Final? Here it is. Kamehameha! It's as sick as in Dragon Ball Fighters. I still like the Fighters version a bit better, but this is still as epic. Of course you Such was my desire. Come on, I just want to hit him with it what, just once. Let's go. Final Kamehameha! God damn it. You are Yet you've gained divine power. You're stronger than most deities now. Saiyans are the ultimate symbol of the failure of the Kai's. Shut up. Oh yeah. God damn. Geo Blue's badass as always. Oh, you can get like a free sparking with that? That's cool. Shit, I just like made him again in this game. Let's go. I think 90% of what makes him so goaded in like every single game. And just the character in general where he's like kickboxing attacks. Let's go. Killed him with the final Kamehameha. It hasn't been an hour yet. Exactly as I said. I need less than an hour to beat this ass hat. It's not the end of him, though. Splitting apart, things are looking pretty dire for Goku and Vegeta. However, all is not lost, as Trunks soon comes to their rescue. It's not about gods and mortals! You don't believe in anything but yourself! And we won't let you win! My other main, let's go. Keep it coming, guys. Share your power with me. Probably gonna play Trunks as a POV after Goku. Gathering the key of all the surviving mortals and pouring it into a sword, Trunks uses his blade to fell Zamasu. However, just as everyone thinks Amasu is gone once and for all, he enshrouds the earth in his incorporeal form. All of humanity is lost, apart from our heroes. Is there really no way to stop the scourge of Zamasu? The situation is desperate, 
but Goku has an idea. Supreme Kai, tell me, do you think the Zeno of this timeline is still around? Yes, there's no question. Of course he would be. No one can defeat Grand Zeno. It's impossible. All right, time for the playdate button. Hearing those words, Goku pulls out the button given to him by Grand Zeno that will summon him no matter where he is and presses it. With this, Grand Zeno appears in Trunks' world and Goku propo proposes that Zeno erase Samasu from existence. All of existence. Go away! That's it, just erase existence, forehead. However, Zeno is less than impressed by the depressing world he has been summoned to and opts to destroy the entire planet instead. Goku and the others dash to, their t to the time machine and make a narrow escape. Trunks and his friends have lost their home, but they learn from Whis that they may be able to return to the, that same world before it was erased. With Whis's help, they seal away the Zamasu of that world. Bidding farewell to Goku and the others, Trunks sets off on an adventure in his world. And they live happily ever after in the span of less than two seconds. Holy shit. This game presents all the resolutions as super anticlimactic scenarios. Given the pacing. But it's cool. I'm, I'm cool with it. You know what? It's fine. At least the game is super duper hella fun. Right? Vegeta was so sick there. I gotta play it more. Uh, here's the final arc, I think, in Dragon Ball Super. Potentially the final arc of the story mode here. I think this is the universe of... Or the Tournament of Power arc, right? Okay, now how do we get to this one? Um... Oh, the whole X to start. Zeno, this little dude is so cute. Yeah, I agree. Zeno is pretty adorable. This is a little dude who wants to play all the time. Everyone's so quirky in Dragon Ball. Like, Goku just wants to... Goku loves two things, fighting and food. Zeno loves two things. Fighting, I guess, because everyone loves fighting in Dragon Ball, and playing. <laughs> Afterward, Goku does something. That the Zenos are still in need of even more excitement in their lives. So Goku proposes a tournament between the greatest warriors of the multiverse. It is decided that at this tournament of power, yep, here we go, the victorious team will win a wish in the Super Dragon Balls, while all the other teams, uh, while all other teams' universes will be erased. A preliminary to the tournament is also held, and it is at these exhibition matches that Goku and the others meet the formidable Topo of Universe 11. Yeah, so you know, the tournament of power thing I'm not as familiar with. After watching the ferocious fighting at the exhibition matches, the Zenos have high expectations for the tournament of power. Goku and the others return to Earth, and as the tournament of power draws near, they go in search of competitors to fight alongside them. I do know about the whole Ultra Instinct Jiren thing. Words. We're gonna win that tournament of power. Android 17 winning. All right, let's gather the ten. But not much about what happens in between. Sure, we beat the other universes. Sure thing. I'll head out now. Bye, son. Okay, who should I pick? Shit. I'm guessing I can choose options that he didn't in the show, and I don't know what he chose in the show. Ugh, I only know how this arc wraps up. This dude ends up winning the Tournament of Power here, Android 17. So I, I guess I'll put him on my team? <laughs> Damn, Dende is hyped. Goku asks Android 18 about 17's whereabouts, but she doesn't does not have any details. He then asks Dende, or its guardian, he says Android 17 is on a large island to the south. Okay, I think I chose the cannon option. I have seen a clip of Goku sparring with 17 and, and going to him to ask for his help before the tournament. Turns out 17 is working as a park ranger there because he likes animals. When Goku manages to track down 17, he finds him duking it out with some poachers. Joining a fight, he helps 17 chase off the illegal hunters. Then to get a read on 17's current strength, Goku challenges him to a fight. I know it's strange me showing up like this out of nowhere, but I need to see just how strong you are. I'm looking for powerful allies. I know a lot of people were like kind of cheesed about how strong they portrayed 17 here. Considering like the last time you see him, he's from he's in like the cell arc, which is like eons ago compared to now. When everyone is super like significantly weaker, especially Goku. Now that Goku can literally become like 
a god or do like a god based transformation they show 17 being able to like still be on par with him just like back in the cell saga so people are like weird power scaling question mark the 17 is just still 17 he's a weird ryan gosling ass blade runner nothing's changed for him but a lot has changed for goku I've always wanted to, like, play and be good at 17, just because, like, the character concept's really cool to me, but I could not for the life of me wrap my head around how to play the guy in Dragon Ball Fighters. Maybe we'll have better luck in this game. Okay, so I'm assuming, yeah, this is, uh, Goku from DB Super. With the Super Saiyan version, right? So... Have you seen all of his moves? You really know how to handle yourself in a fight. Just because I've been on an island doesn't mean I've been taking it easy. The problem for you is I've gotten stronger too. If you were fighting the old me, you might have a chance. I was talking about this stuff a minute ago. Um... Ow. Hold on, I'm checking out the menu, man. Alright, I decided what I'm going to order. That. <laughs> or yeah! <laughs> Love the subtitles. Don't love that. Serious mode? Did you just say serious mode? I like to think he has, like, presets built into his noggin as an android, and one of them is just called Serious Mode. Okay, I need to enter Serious Mode. I might actually fucking die. Oh, come on. Take that. Oh my goodness, wow. He just had to be the man. Now oh, I'm mad! Take this one, 17! Some shit Goku would say, That's right? Enough for now. If we continue this, we could destroy the island. Okay, so let's end it, because I'm about to die here. You're not about to destroy the island, you're about to destroy me. Alright. Enough horsing around. <laughs> You're forgetting I have to press X there. It's like an awkward stare off between characters until Whoa! I press that. You didn't say you had three kids! Wait, what? One's ours and two are adopted. What do you want, Goku? Huh? I know you didn't come to this island just to get an update on my personal life. He's a dad? I didn't know that. <laughs> got me. That's cool. Well, there's this thing called the Tournament of Power. And you're asking me to leave my responsibilities here to fight in this tournament? <laughs> yeah, what's it, what is it with all the dads in this show? And on top of that, all the dads leaving their kids to go get the milk. I mean, by, by milk, I mean train. Uh, while Piccolo has to play dad duty. Piccolo's the green Namekian guy who is everyone's surrogate dad because their actual dads are out fighting and training and, and not being good dads who are around all the time. <laughs> Thought Goku was like a goofy teen. Once upon a time, he all, all at a certain point, he just started looking that way, and he stayed that way. That's that's the only way they illustrated him. But he's aged like at least thirty years over the span of like two two animes, right? Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> yep, you in? I'm not. Hey, don't do this to me. Everyone's fate depends on this tournament. Wait, what? What aren't you telling me about this? <sighs> well, Gohan made me promise not to tell any of the recruits, but here's the truth. If we lose the tournament, our universe will be destroyed. Oh, dear Lord, he's going to be an absent grandfather at this rate? Doomed, Ironically. So obliteration for all, not just the helpless. That's a fate I can accept. Goku ends up being a pretty 
supportive present grandfather in Dragon Ball GT, which was the non-canon anime that wasn't written by Toriyama, where Goku is turned into a, into a little kid again by this dude who hates his guts. He wishes to the dragon for Goku to be turned into a kid again. And then Goku goes on an adventure with his granddaughter, a.k.a. Gohan's son, or I'm sorry, daughter, um, across the universe to get the Dragon Ball. So it's funny that you mentioned that because he's anything but an absent grandfather. And when he's not an absent grandfather, he's definitely an absent dad. <laughs> All right, fine, I'm in. I'll join your team for the tournament. I don't like being in debt to anybody. Wow, do you mean it? That's great! After some asking around, Goku finally gathers 10 strong fighters. One of them, however, is asleep on the job. Looking at you, Boo. Mr. Satan tells Goku that Boo is unlikely to wake up anytime soon, so Goku has to scramble to find another fighter. Oh yeah. Wait, I know. Frieza. More lore information. That's what we should get. He can be the tenth fighter for our team. Mr. Satan is Goku's fellow co-grandfather, because he is the father-in-law of Gohan. <laughs> so now Goku has to convince his friends of his controversial idea of bringing something. Frieza sets a condition that if they are victorious and save their universe, they will use the Dragon Balls to fully revive him. Goku agrees to his terms. The newly assembled 10 warriors of Universe 7 now stand in the Tournament of Power Arena in the Null Realm, waiting for the fight to begin. <laughs> they try to assemble the family tree. Good luck with that. Fighting for Universe 6 is the Assassin Hit, who participated in the Tournament of Destroyers, alongside Frost and some Saiyan warriors. Universe 11 has brought in the formidable Topo, who fought fiercely in the exhibition match, and Jiren, who seems to be concealing profound abilities. And so, mighty warriors from the other universes have gathered in one place. At last, the arena is finished. So many and characters. The teams from all competing universes are here. We will now hear some words of welcome from the Omni Kings themselves. Thank you all. This will be so fun. <laughs> We've been looking forward to this very much. Multiple Zenos. And give us a good show. Poetry, thy name is Zeno. Thank you, your majesties. For those who neglected to pour through the rulebook assiduously, I'll lay out the basic guidelines. The battle will last 100 tacks. It's roughly equivalent to 48 Earth minutes. Okay, thanks, Piccolo. See, that's Dad there. The, the dude to his left, that's Gohan. And the dude you're looking at is his dad. Factual statements only. Out of, those of you out there who might be like, you're putting on your nerd emoji glasses and going, no, you know, actually Goku is Gohan's dad, you're wrong. This is this is his real dad right here. Special techniques are allowed, but the use of weapons is prohibited, as are any lethal attacks or maneuvers. You must throw your opponent off the ring to win. Lastly, regardless of how wounded you may be, the use of restorative implements is expressly forbidden. And that concludes our review of the rules. Let the Tournament of Power begin! All right, here we go. Hope you're ready. It's Goku, right? I've been wanting to talk to you. Hello, little lady. What's her name again? Uh, Kefla, right? Well, she fuses with the other gal and they become Kefka or maybe that's whose name is Kefla. I don't know. She's actually super fun, the fused version in Dragon Ball Fighters. Well, I'm not sure either of you rookies are ready to handle that kind of power yet. Oh, that's Cauliflaw. I'm stupid. Cauliflaw and Kale. Give you that much. Definitely not named after vegetables, like any of the other Saiyans. That's another thing I think you'll really like, Ian, which I don't know if I mentioned that to you already, since I know you're a fan of like puns and wordplay and stuff. All the Saiyans are named after vegetables. Or at the very least, their names are some, like, wordplay on vegetables. Also love the vegetable cauliflower. Let's go. Don't worry. I'll back you up. 
Mine is definitely carrots. And I'm actually happy because Goku is named after carrots. This Goku isn't his actual name. His Saiyan name is Kakarot, which is obviously carrots. And then what better name for the prince of all Saiyans, Vegeta, than Vegeta, like vegetables. That's the closest to the actual category. Oh shit, can I not mess this up this time? Thank you. I have a habit of messing that up. Let's do that. Dang. Oh dear god. Might die. Oh god. My ass handed to me by a 10 year old Super Saiyan. I'm a seasoned professional who's been in the industry for a gazillion years. In the Super Saiyan industry. thank you by using it to beat everyone here. Starting with you! Oh, humiliating! Dang. That's no way to say thanks. I'm not sure how to time that square I'm not press sure yet. Either of you rookies are ready to handle that kind of power yet. Rookies? If that's what you think of us, then you got another thing coming. Let's show up, tail. At least you're entertaining. I'll give you that much. Oh, cheese. Do you not? All right, here goes. Yeah, not spam. Stop being a 10-year-old spammer. Most 10-year-old coded thing ever. Like corner camping. Dang it. Oh my jeez. Holy, this is so much worse than last time. Can we make a comeback? Sag, I guess not. Alright. Instalocking locking that retry button. Super Saiyan I've never seen before. Show us how, and we'll thank you by using it to beat everyone here. Starting with you! Khalifa, that's no way to say thanks! Well, I'm not sure either of you rookies are Oh my goodness, why do I keep doing that? Stop! Go, 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 get it! Get out of that shit! Then you got another thing coming. Let's show them, tail. At least you're entertaining. I'll give you that much. Oh dear. There's nothing entertaining about that, Goku. What in the Wow, I got trolled. I actually got zonked on. By a low class warrior. Oh damn time! Show the true power for Saiyan. Don't worry, I'll back you up. That's right. But this is our fight. Can you stay out? I'm sorry. Yeah, can you get the hell out of here, please? I don't. I don't want to get my ass handed to me by a duo. That's that's the actual reason I don't want to fight you. Yeah. 
Dang it. How do I, like, smash her away when I'm in sparking? Like, in the combo with the smash. It's triangle, right? Worked out pretty well that time. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to do things. I'm going to be so bad when I play against other players. I've I actually never played online in any of these games, in any of the Tenkaichi games. I never had internet growing up, so I'm terrified. I will eventually play online, but I'm so nervous. <laughs> That's that's gonna be me playing online. It's weird. These games are so fun to me for some reason, even though they just don't really like 3D fighters, like arena fighters, don't generally compute with me. You're but they're still so fun. One and only away from me. And you're going to regret that, Goku! I'll make you pay! Goku! You did this! Bam. Damn. Have the chat for those vocal cords. Goku. She big. Power's incredible. You finally powered up. Amazing, Kale. Uh, uh, oh my goodness. Uh, she became Dollar Store Broly. Wow. <laughs> Look at that brute form she's taking. It's grotesque. It's like a berserk, psychotic a rage. You know, all of a sudden I was like, oh, that's cool. Can I play with that thing? What the hell is this? Like a million and one QTEs. Holy moly. I'm glad you're showing us what you're really doing. We need a degree in QTE-ness to understand this stuff. know what we're dealing with that could be the legendary it's to play my doctorate spoke of. Huh? and uh qteology oh my ow 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 i know you're a very angry lady but how about how about not being angry how's that for an idea is there anything i can do to change that That's right. We're Super Saiyan Blue now. New Kaioken. Goku, the destroyer of lives. Goku, the ruiner. I'll kill you. The hell is wrong with you, lady? Everything, every single word of what you said is wrong. Amazing. Look hungry. That can solve your anger problems. I'm gonna give you a knuckle sandwich there. Gonna break through my bones, break, or break through this shit. Me, ha, me, ha. That actually landed. Let's go. No hard feelings. Yes, hard feelings. <laughs> like how you can just like so subtly land. Little Goku's like charging like that. Something funny looking about that. Here we go. All right, coming through. Damn, that was it. Okay, shit. I didn't even realize she was that low. It's over. Factual?
Okay, all right. There's Jiren. Yeah, I have no idea how he gets, um... I mean, I, I don't know what leads to them fighting. Well, I mean, it, it makes sense considering it's a tournament. They both won and off, and now they're both fighting each other, but I don't know anything else beyond that. All right. Goku and the others meet up with Android 17 and 18. Let us blossom and let us sing out the song of love and victory. Now to transform. What is happening? What is this character? What? Just as the fighting reaches its peak, Goku and his team are confronted by a completely new opponent. Happiness to one and all. Okay, I you lost me. This is where even I'm confused. Rosie. This is where even the furthest reaches of my semi-all-encompassing knowledge of Dragon Ball lore gets lost. <laughs> I, I made enough, I, try, I thought I could get through seeing, you know, like, at the very least, seeing at least two or three minutes of even the things I've seen the least from Dragon Ball All Super, right. but I'm not, I've seen Here zero minutes go. of these bozos. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who these are. They are feelings. Find their way to you. But I guess we're gonna kick their ass and reject their feelings. That's the assumption I'm going to make. Love. She's mother as the kids say, I feel. Okay, then. Power of friendship huh? and love. What's that weird smell? She must be using this to hypnotize people. Love is in the air, Power Goku. <laughs> Did you hear what they were saying, man? Is Goku stupid? I guess they're like fighters in the game. This is insane, man. Like, I know there are 180 fighters in this game, which is a whopping amount. Admittedly, though, even though, yes, I haven't seen Super and don't know every single thing about it, case in point, I admittedly thought that I would still know each and every one of those 180 plus characters. But I do not know who these guys are. These are like the first characters I've seen in this game. That I've never seen before in Dragon Ball. Interesting. So what's her name again? Wait. Can you not? And she's gonna like tag out too, I'm assuming, right? That doesn't feel very loving to me. Right I don't know if the stark contrast of all the Sonic characters and the team games, and you got a, you got Team Amy. <laughs> yeah, they do kind of have like a bit of a Sonic vibe to them, don't they? And it's coming from someone who basically. Has almost zero experience with Rosie, anything okay? Sonic related. They still seem pretty Sonic coded. Ribrian, Ribrian. Wait, really? Yeah, believe it or not, the only like I would say the extent of my experience playing Sonic would just be the like maybe like a half an hour of gameplay on like the very old Sega version. Might just be the first one. Like the first iteration of Sonic on the Sega. But I never actually played any of the other games beyond that, no. Like, my Sonic knowledge is so limited that... The other day, my friend and I were watching the trailer for the new film. I haven't seen the films, but I, like, I've seen the trailers and stuff, and... You know, everyone loves Keanu, right? I know Keanu is voicing... Um, I think it's Shadow, right? Please forgive me if I'm getting that wrong for the new one. Um, and the yellow one in the trailer, I forget his name. It's, this is gonna sound so embarrassing. I don't think he, like, talked a whole bunch of the trailer, and then when he did, I was like, wait a minute, that's a, that's a dude, I thought that was, like, the girl, because I know there's a girl as well. My friend looked at me, who's like, who knows way more about Sonic than I do. 
I was like, come on, man. There's no way you didn't know that. <laughs> Alright, sweet! I was a Sega kid, the Adventures one that were on Dreamcast are so good, amazing soundtrack. So I do like the Sonic music a lot. Yeah, I am um, pretty familiar with the music. But yeah, I've unfortunately not played a whole bunch of the games. But I do know there's, yeah, like there's a lot of love for them, for sure. Goku and Seventeen are facing down the two girls when Jimizu, a Yard Rat of Universe 2. I know Yard Rats, I recognize that. Uh, shows up and secures their escape with an instant transmission, of course. Yardrats taught Goku the instant transmission technique. Goku then parts ways with 17 to find his next opponent. Leading him straight to an enemy he lost to, be lost to before in the Tournament of Destroyers, Hit, a master of the time skip. He is locked in a, be a bitter battle with Dicebo, a warrior from Universe 11. Oh, no way! Wait a minute. What are you Man, doing? He kind of looks like Jiren. Has the same outfit. But he's. I don't need your help. He's basically um, what's his name? Um, Beerus. That's good, cause I didn't come here for that. He's Beerus wearing uh Jiren's outfit. I saw those guys had you backed into a corner, and you know it made me itch for a fight too. I say we fight them together. Let's do it. Listen, Goku. The one with the ears is mine. Don't get in my way. Oh? Well, you're free to try and stop me. Damn, Hit really wants you're to fast, hit cats. I've got my own tricks, silly rabbit. Damn it. He's too fast for me to use instant transmission. Wait. There you are. Hit! Man. How did he already know what I was going to do? <laughs> well, that was not the voice I was expecting. That's cool. <laughs> sure, you got speed on your side. I'll give you that. But your moves are simple and predictable. Oh my wild! Is that Matt Mercer? Are you talking about Hit? I don't think so. I think it's the same voice actor as um, the person who voiced him in the anime as well. Uh, did the English dub? As far as I know, I don't think that's Matt Mercer. But he does kind of sound a lot like him. Doesn't matter who yeah. I'm what just happened? I flex my muscles the same way that I do before a time skip, just so that I can lure you in. Perk up those ears and listen carefully. Speaking of Matt Mercer, I saw a really cool video uh, not long ago by Square Enix of Matt Mercer talking with Ben Starr, the dude who voiced Clive, just about their experiences getting into voice acting and what it's like and what it was like playing those characters and stuff. Um, that was super wholesome and interesting. Definitely recommend that if you haven't uh, seen it yet. Yeah, speaking of Ben Star 2, there's a new Hades 2 trailer that went up for like an update to the beta, I think. And he's gonna be in the game. I think he's voicing, um... Shit, what's the name of the guy he's voicing? And they saved him for the end of the trailer. A super cool looking god. I can't wait. Here we go. So it's been a minute since we played... Uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. I miss it, considering we absolutely annihilated him there. You want to try challenging me? Fine by me. So we hit is so fun in Dragon Ball Fighters. I was never any good at him, but damn, eager to see what he's like in this one. Uh, Shenron Aura. What's this? Interesting. Uh, YouTube pushed that to me in the algorithm, and I thought of you right away. Nice. I really enjoyed that video. Especially when uh, Ben Starr was talking about his reaction when he found out he would be voicing someone for a Final Fantasy game. And he's freaking out, and... I just love seeing uh, Matt Mercer's reaction to that. It was just so pure. It's like, really wholesome. All right, let's go. Okay, guess not.
Alright. I want that to work, dude. Like, the rush assault moves are really cool in this game. Like, the Tenkaichi games are those rare games where you're doing the super moves less to see the damage output and more to just see what they look like cinematically, because they're so goddamn beautiful. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. I don't think so. Damn it. Wait, it actually is Matt Mercer? No way. Matt Mercer voiced Hit? Wait, even in the anime? Dude, wait, 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 wait. My whole life has been a lie, if that's the case. That's so fucking cool. Not sure about the anime, but here for sure. I'll try to check. Yeah, if you can, that would be amazing. I'm so curious now. Because if he voiced him for the anime, then that means he probably voiced him for Dragon Ball Fighters as well. Because generally speaking, they use the same voice actors for like all the projects. It was mad in the show too? No way. That's so cool, man. Alright, I died, but I don't care. I died to Matt Mercer. <laughs> it's been an honor. Everyone's sad getting their ass handed to them until they fi find out that it was Matt Mercer who handed it to them on a silver platter. What just happened? I flexed my muscles the same way that I do before a time skip, just so that I could lure you in. Perk up those ears and listen carefully. My power goes higher and higher! This is to go further beyond! Do you have a good ear, man? Yeah, I did not pick up on the fact that that was Matt Mercer. Even though he does have a very distinct voice. Okay, but apparently that happened. Goku's clearly a dog person. He's gonna do that again. Oh my god, that's so cool. So Godbind like freezes him in place. Oh, let's go. Finally worked. That's pretty cool. I could hear the depressed RE6 Leon Kennedy in there. Oh, yeah, sure. I forgot he voiced Leon at a certain point. I think he voiced him in the movies, too, right? Can he not? Oh my god. The way he knocked him out was so like underwhelming there. Again. Do you want to try challenging me? Hmm. Fine by me. Yeah, speaking of Leon, man, I'm really stoked to play the Diet Leon horror game. That being um Silent Hill 2 remake. It looks so cool. And I've been hearing really good things about it too. So I really do want to get around to playing that. Maybe this Tuesday I'll start it up. Because I want to save... I'm not going to save that one for Halloween night. I'm going to be saving um, Resident Evil 1 Remake. I'm dedicating that one to Pickle. Because I know he gifted that game to me. And I've been... As I promised, I've been meaning to get around to playing that. So I'm going to probably do that one. 
uh, on Halloween, but before that, I or around the same time, I really want to play Silent Hill 2 as well. Don't know anything about Silent Hill except for the Pyramid Head, so it'll be fun to watch you go through it. Yeah, especially since I've really started to like horror games as of late. Ever since I played through RE7 and 8 a couple years ago on stream. Kind of created this enthusiasm for horror games I never knew I had in me somewhere. Also, definitely helps that that game's like a third-person shooter, I guess. Third-person survival horror. That has yet another guy with a 90s, like a blonde 90s haircut guy. And the back perspective. And the last one I played that was like that was um, a really fucking good game. <laughs> Probably the best remake to something I've ever played. So, uh, yeah, I might be a little bit biased. Goku! It's Master Roshi! Try again. All right. That takes care of that. I'm nervous for this Jiren fight that's going to be inevitable. Happy enemy eyes! Goku hears Krillin calling to him from the audience and saves Master Roshi from a tight spot. Then he returns once more to the melee. Whose power is that? It's a cool well, expression. Well, I'm going to start well. using that. It appears that outrageous monster's finally joining the fray. Return to the melee. I like that. Universe 11's Jiren has moved into action. My ally, do what you feel is required. Do whatever fulfills your desires. Fight so that you may claim the Super Dragon Balls. Wait, what's, what's so, Topo? You finally decided to fight me after all this time. What was that? I know that's Jiren, but what's that Topo thing? That's nuts! Yes, who would have thought that one mortal warrior could release this much energy? Oh shit, here we go. I wonder what will happen next. Zeno, stop being so adorable! He cannot be defeated. The power of his that's illegal to be adorable in a game that's all about muscling up and unleashing super energy beams. I might. Oh, we might lose many times, Goku. This is Jiren we're talking about. But he got some nasty Jirens in Dragon Ball Fighters. I'm not done yet. I've been keeping this one a secret. I'm keeping Kaioken a secret? I'm doing a poor job of it. Oh, jeez. Alright, right, please land. Zeno, please, they're fighting for our whole universe here. I know, right? For real. Come on, Zeno. This is not the time to be cute. I have a full appreciation of your strength now. And that's convinced me you something I've been holding back. Here we go. Oh, shit. Ultra Instinct. How can I forget? Gotta have to use the spirit bomb. Or not. Not yet, I guess. I need a lot more time. To gather enough energy. Take however much time you require. If this is your special move, then I want it done right. Goku! You can take our energy, too. Jiren, once you're out, I hope you don't regret giving me the time to finish this. Here we go. Something for you. This is everyone's power. The spirit! And it's a big one. The Super Saiyan Blue one. <laughs> That's funny. I like that a lot. 
Kaya Ken Sam's 10. Oh, no, wait, hang on. Times 20. <laughs> Goku can do math. Confirmed. This is what it looks like when the seventh universe unites. This is our spirit bomb. Oh, he's in again. Okay, cool. Let's go. Seriously? Spirit bomb's so epic. He needs to sell it a second time for the cutscene. He's pushing it away. Dad's not done. He can power up and push back. Kaioken times 10! Kaioken times 20! I don't think I was gonna cut it, Goku. We need it times 30, at least. It's a crank it past the limit. Limits are meant to be broken! The spirit bomb has never failed us before! Goku being able to do math might be the most shocking thing I've learned about this entire series. Same. Victory Ain't that the yours. truth? Goku, is that it? Goku was caught up in the spirit bomb's blast. Here it comes. Ultra Instinct time? Let's go! Finally didn't mess it up. Different about him. That's and when it sure. mattered most. Yeah. Oh shit. I'm That's cool. Incredible strength from him. When he charged up Kia's Ultra Instinct, he just stands there menacingly. Let us watch and see what happens. After all, this is the first time even I have seen Goku in this curious state. He's amazing. I've never seen my dad move like Holy this shit. before. Not in any form. Yeah, his dodges are like that too. What the hell's going on? Kakarot, what have you become? Why don't you What's, um, okay, this is gonna be sick. Alright, that's fucking cool, man. So, Ultra Instinct Goku is my. So much stronger now. Goku, you got much stronger very suddenly. Sorry, I had to stop talking because of Zeno reasons. <clears throat> As I was saying, UI Goku is probably. My least played Goku in anything Dragon Ball related. Only simply because it's a new transformation. I didn't really play him that much at all in Dragon Ball Fighters when he came out as DLC. Probably gonna end up playing him more in this one. Oh dear. What's Flash Sign? Uh, apparently we're not going to figure that one out. Even greater potential. Holy we fast. Ultra instinct. It can't be. It's impossible. That's an extremely elite level of power. Difficult for even the highest gods to reach. In this marvelous cosmos, wonders really do happen, don't they, my lord? He's now in uncharted territory. It remains to be seen what will happen to him. Well, Seiryu, you're a truly fascinating creature. However, your passion is expended. You have nothing more to offer. This is badass, dude. They just went... Like, I have nothing but the utmost respect for the developers behind this game because you have so many different variations of Goku in this game, all of whom perform different variations of the Kamehameha. And to, like, create so many different variations of that move and make them look, you know, as flashy and epic as they are each and every time without them looking too repetitive is actually kind of an amazing feat. I can only imagine how burned out they must have gotten towards the end of designing all the ultimate moves. His mind and his body are no longer one. By abandoning his consciousness, his body moves alone, dodging any attack with the ultimate skill, Ultra Instinct. However, Goku's ability to wield such power is only temporary. After receiving key from Frieza, his power returns. Meanwhile, the assassin hit is defeated by Jiren and thrown from the arena. Seeing there are no more competitors to challenge, Jiren begins to meditate, leaving the rest of the fighting to his comrades, based. Though Goku has not yet made a full recovery, he returns to the fighting anyway. I guess I'm not interesting enough for you anymore, huh? But Goku is not without an opponent for long. 
Let's go. You and me, Goku. Polithla has made a reappearance. Okay then. And a fast one at that. Out of the ring. And now Kappa's gone too. I have Shit. to get stronger so I can keep fighting in their place and give our universe a chance. So show me how to get to the next level. I don't have time to wait. I need uh -oh. to get to Super Saiyan 3. Nice. Okay, sure. Why not? But I can only show you if you try to defeat me with everything you've got. This is an interesting Goku. He's base Goku, but slightly different moves than what I remember from base Super Goku. <laughs> the way he enunciated that was kind of funny. Kamehame! Thanks, little dude. I'd hate for you to drop out before you fight for real. Yeah, you're right. I'd hate that too. This is what fighting for real looks like. You think that puny little Cheeto is gonna burst through my goddamn spirit bomb? Think again, little lady. You <laughs> fucking hell. I was. That was a perfect timing for a spirit bomb, my god. As soon as he launches that, he goes Super Saiyan. He just straight up wants to murder her right now. Oh my goodness, I actually thought I would make that. Alright, not done yet. Okay, that was huge. This game's all about like launching enemies and immediately fo uh, following up with, um, they're not enemies, sorry, your opponents, and then immediately following up with uh, a special. No. Shit, I should've done the super. Can do that too. Huge. Let's get sparking. Oh, come on. I started it first. Let me get her, Goku. I don't know why you're laughing there. I think I, I noticed some damage being taken. Hey, Kale. We've been saying, together, we're the toughest force in the cosmos. Haven't we? Yeah, that's right. Well, time to believe it all the way. Get out those things we got before this battle started. What? Are you sure? Come on. What the hell? You better. I'll make you hold back. Yes, make you fall back. Both those Saiyans out at the same time. Okay, I got a trophy too, apparently. Zenionair. All right, that's the name of the currency in Dragon Ball. Zenny. Now we're Zenionair. You can only imagine what that means. What? You're kidding me. This is Kale plus Kalifla. Alright, there she is, Kefla. Fusing with Pataras. I didn't see that coming. I actually played her a whole bunch in DBFC. Her it's combos are super time. fun. I've been waiting for this. 
Then I guess I'll have to crank it up! PVZ looking ass hair. Just getting started! This time, Goku, we fight for real! I won't come oh, damn. Come on! Here we go. Let it break, come in here. Come uh. break through that damn fusion. Or not. Here we go. Very nice. Yes. Even if I am Kepler, you won't surpass me. Maybe Good timing on that. <laughs> you want to see that? <laughs> can go for it. Oh, trust me, I will. Right after I show you who's boss. Come on, Kepler. The real fight starts right now. Yeah, I can see that. Damn, you're awesome. I couldn't ask for a worthier challenge. Beating you is gonna feel great. No, it's not, because they're not gonna beat me, right? Right, Goku? Come on. Go. Let's do this, man. Nice Let's kick her ass. Yeah. Alright, she's locked into that, and I'm up here, so uh, I'm assuming this is gonna land. I assumed wrong. Shit. Damn, her charge up sound sounds kind of cool. I won't lose. I'm going all out. Break through the limit. I wonder when objectively is the best time to launch your ultimate attack if you're fighting against like actual real player opponents, you know? Because judging like you know based off my experiences with the computer here when i not launch them away after a combo and i try that it generally doesn't work all the time this this isn't over yet doesn't work as well as like if i were to do a regular special so that makes the question of when do you use your ultimate do you just like it, to me so far it just feels like you just toss it out and let jesus take the wheel hope for the best we'll see we're probably gonna like pick up on stuff for sure Autonomous Ultra Instinct. And get good. I won't be outdone by anybody. I'll just up my own game too! With Goku's threat making her think she either had to win now or be removed from the tournament, she has found an even greater extreme of power. She's going further beyond! There is no such conquering weapon as the necessity of conquering. Looks bad. If one of those rays hits Goku head on, it could be the end for him. Is she planning to burn through all her energy to knock him out? Not bad, but you can't dodge in midair. Game over, Goku. Now you're through. Epic beam battle time. They're no match for my main character energy. Fortunately, Kamehameha has got all that plot armor for an energy beam. But who knocks Kefla from the arena, sealing his victory? However... Well then, Universe 2 and Universe 6 have been eliminated. Bye-bye! <laughs> and universes with no competitors remaining are slated to be destroyed one by one. Fighters of Universe 3 and 4 merge, becoming uh, Anilaza for their... What? Anilaza for their attack? What is that? What am I looking at? What, what am I fighting? Yeah, what? They just built I don't know about this thing. But if I were scared, it looks like an alien out of, like, Ben 10. <laughs> no hard feelings! Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh dear. Please don't be another great ape fight. We don't have much of a choice, but I don't think we can stop him unless we I've already lived through that trauma. You don't have to tell me, that's obvious. Let's move in fast from different angles to confuse him. Then we'll all attack at once. Okay, so do it, son. Make me proud. Up by your dad. What do you say you help us fight this guy? Are you going to say please? All right, it's one big bitch. So I'm gonna become a bigger bitch. Figuratively speaking. Oh shit. Oh man, I did that as soon as he teleported away. Win this for us, all right? Contestant 18 has been eliminated. That brings the seventh universe down to five warriors. With 18, we'll all have to fight even harder. He's standing there. He baited Just, me. I know what I'm doing. Okay, let's do this. That actually worked out really well for me. Nice. Left himself wide open. Think I hit by it. Got some hits in on him. Good ending. Just a couple key blasts at the end there. Gotta ice that cake. And listen to the gwoes, apparently. All right, beautiful. What now? The fighters from Universe 7 band together and with their combined power are able to knock Analaza out of the arena. There are now eight minutes remaining in the Tournament of Power and two teams, Goku's Universe 7 and Jiren's Universe 11. Universe 11's Topo unleashes his power of destruction to back Vegeta into a corner. But it's then that Vegeta awakens to a new power. Only a sniveling coward abandons their pride. Sounds like something he'd say. Uh, yeah. Sopo's knocked out, leaving Jiren the sole remaining fighter. Jiren calls Topo's defeat disgraceful, though unsurprising, and his words seem to show a lack of trust in his teammate. He then turns to Goku and his allies. It's stunning you could find so much power without sacrificing your ideals. You fought hard to defeat Tapo. Well done. <laughs> There's something I'd like you to see. I'm seeing, respectfully. Jiren and Goku turn to face each other in battle once more. That's a scary looking fire. Like actual fire. No, not actual fire. Maybe for Universe 11, that's actual fire. I don't know. Doesn't look like fire to me, Zeno. What is this? That's besides guy? the point. Whatever. Kind of He's strong. Hmm. I never would have guessed he was holding back this much. Jiren's power is unbelievable. He's in a league of his own. How are Goku and the others supposed to compete? Find out next time, or rather this time, on Dragon Ball Z. Let's go. Do you want to see? So now that your little friends are gone, you're finally getting serious. Before Vegeta interrupted that, that was the most threatening thing I've ever heard Goku say. You have no chance against me, especially in your current form. 
Don't you shrug me off. Break through the limit! Goku sounded high key scary there. Uh, I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> Sit. Seeing that rip in your snazzy outfit makes it all worthwhile. You will suffer. Nah, uh, I'm good. No hard feelings. <laughs> Freeze. You're okay. Take what you deserve. <laughs> I do know about this. This is so trippy. Goku and Frieza fighting Jiren together. I'm aware of that. Oopsies. You're wide open. I won't lose. Mediocre. Worthless. Huge. Sad. Damn. <laughs> Shit. I can't believe it. Our attacks didn't phase him at all. Uh oh. Is this one of those scenarios like with the Zamasu Goku Black thing where I didn't beat him in time and now we're going to get to a weird alternate cutscene fail state thing? Upon you. <laughs> Goku! Vegeta! No, come on, guys! Sure seems that way. What's he doing? Has he gone mad? Hey, never mind. Here's Android 17. At least Get yourself out of the way! Hey! Goku! Vegeta! I'm giving up my dream of that cruise. You owe me. There! I bought you some time! Sacrificing myself to help other people. Look at me, being all human. Thanks, guy. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Is having an Officer K moment? Sacrificing himself for a human cause. Android 17 sacrifices himself to save Goku and Vegeta. However, Goku is still immobile and Vegeta has left the stand and faced Jiren all on his own. Resolute as he is, Vegeta is unable to transform, leaving him in no state to challenge Jiren. Even if I'm not the one who does it, even if I'm not the one who delivers the final blow, as long as the universe wins, uh, it's fine by me. I haven't seen Super, but this is starting to sound not correct to me. I think 17 shouldn't have died? I don't know, maybe he did and comes back later. We'll see. Accepting Vegeta's key, Goku once again steps up to challenge Jiren. No, oh, there are poachers to fight in Vegeta, malls to go to. I know, right? Come on, we gotta make Do sure 17's death wasn't in vain. More foolishness dressed as valor. Trust provides nothing but a path to He does end up being the champion of this tournament, which is why I'm nervous. Because you just saw him die. Like, do they wish him back or something? No music. Is that supposed to happen? Sure do hope it's not posthumous. Let's please hand him that uh, golden trophy so, in the flesh. Is that display the most you can do? I'm standing here because Vegeta and the rest of my team trusted I could find a way to pull this off. I'll win because I refuse to let them down. I won't fail. Lack of music is unnerving. It's because I have the anime music turned off, but. We'll play an alternate track if that's the case, no? Music! 
Suddenly it's not so quiet anymore. Now it's quiet again. We won! Goku was entangled with Jira in a desperate struggle. His body is already at its limit. However, the determination of his allies has awakened a new power within him. Only a little time remains in the Tournament of Power. Goku must embark on a battle against Jiren that will decide the fate of his universe. Yeah, look at him. He's like a new Here we fighter. go. It's All like instinct again. Jiren. And when he fought Kefla, I'd say that this match is about to get a serious shakeup. He cannot afford another misstep. I'm quite sure this will be his last chance. Each time he defies his physical limits and forces himself to fight like a god. The strain on his mortal body increases. He has already pushed himself so far. And with no more allies to aid him, he cannot hope to recover again. If the glimmer fades from his eyes, it'll be over. It'll be over, all right. With me being the last one standing. All he's doing is delaying the inevitable. You called it incomplete, which implies he hasn't fully mastered it yet. Don't tell me you're stupid enough to ignore the obvious implications of that. Are you Huge. That he can master Ultra Instinct in the time that he has left? Please. <laughs> That's impossible. I like this dude. Minutes. That's all we were given. I like alternate time. universe Jiren. Get in that brief time span. We Saiyan warriors have shattered Or not Jiren, sorry, time Beerus. Time. You've seen it with your own eyes, destroyer. Come on, Captain. Find a way. I've entrusted everything to you. My pride, my promise, everything. Jiren's attacks are intense. Oh yeah. Well. I got you, Jeets. Goku in down. Quick Goku, get out of there while you still can. Hurry up! Don't get out of there, he says. Shut your mouths and watch. Rushes head head first into into danger. Holy fuck, that's cool as shit. I know about that variation from the anime where he's like up and around the place, even though I haven't seen Super. Something Team clips. Limit. Huh. Okay, now we're actual Ultra Instinct. That was fake Ultra Instinct before. Now we're actual Ultra Instinct. Super, duper, super amazing. Indeed, sires. He has arrived at something truly superb. Please? Go Holy goddamn. Down, he? He's finally achieved. Yes. It's astounding. This mortal really is something else. Look at that brilliant form. Damn, this is badass. Impossible. I cannot lose. I won't accept defeat. Might makes right and might alone. Without strength. This is everything. Uh oh. Shit, he's shirtless. Like us. We're fucked. Not for long. God damn, this is so sick. Here we go. Oh, missed. Tell me how. How you stand up no matter how many times you fall. Answer me, Goku. I actually do answer him. I'd love to know the secret too. All the others, everything they had, so I can keep going. Power of friendship. Got it. If I do quit, I betray that trust, and I refuse to let all of them down. It's useless. Your ideals mean nothing in the face of my power. Is that so? You say oh fuck. Don't mean anything. I'll show you that they do. Uh. Impossible. Let's actually show him that they do, Goku, and not. That should be obvious. Uh, Goku can reach these heights because he's not just fighting for himself. He fights for all of us. That's the difference here. Piccolo is right. Behind every one of Goku's strikes is a whole community of people who've grown up with him, strengthening him over a lifetime of unimaginable challenges. Damn it. Each one has been crucial, inspiring and pushing him forward. Goku doesn't imagine for one minute that he's gotten this far on his own. Come on. He's pushed all of us forward, too. 
shaping us into the people we are today. What's this one? Even as he fights his opponents, we saw that. Okay. Any way of drawing them in? That's just the kind of man Goku is. This is our power. Thanks for simping over me, everyone. But I need that. Power friendship and power simpage for Goku. Putting faith in such things would mean denying all that I've witnessed in my Shit. life up until now. I know better than to believe in that so-called strength. I know how easily it's ripped away. Go on, Kakarot. Like your shirt? Now it's time to put Jiren down. Dude, come on. Ah! I'm panicking. Come on, please work. Oh god, I should have burned all of that. Alright, I'm just gonna go sparking and hit him with a flurry of basic strikes. Wherever the hell he is. your ass over here. Wait, he beat me. No. Son of a bitch. I didn't even think I got hit by that. That was a long fight too. He's like a new fighter. It's like the first time he fought Jiren. And when he fought Kefla. I'd say that this match is about to get a serious shake up. He cannot afford another misstep. I'm quite sure this will be his last chance. Each time he defies his physical limits and forces himself to fight like a god, the strain on his mortal body increases. He has already pushed himself so far, and with no more allies to aid him, he cannot hope to recover again. If the glimmer fades from his eyes, okay, that was pretty big. Over. With his incomplete ultra instinct, all he's doing is delaying the inevitable. You called it incomplete, which implies he hasn't fully mastered it yet. Don't tell me you're stupid enough to ignore the op. Jiren's attacks are intensifying as well. He's got Goku pinned down. Quick, Goku! Get out of there while you still can! Point blank, Hurry Kamehameha! Up. I'm point blank no range! Talk. Better work! Just shut your mouths and watch. Alright, beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, that was actually cool timing. Limit. Me doing that move. Goku seems even more amazing than Jiren now. Yes, now he is super, duper, super amazing. Indeed, Sires. He has arrived at something truly. Oh yes. Please? Goku's done it, hasn't he? He's finally achieved. Yes. It's astounding. This mortal really is something else. Look at that brilliant form. It's not possible. I cannot lose. I won't accept defeat. Might makes right and might alone. Without strength, we have Shit. nothing. I want to lose so much health before if he rips his shirt off. Then all my effort, all I've struggled to achieve, all of it will have been pointless. Shit, I mess it up. Just like I did before. And I absolutely refuse to go through that again! Mediocre. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be a full HP again. Our HP isn't too bad compared to last time in this phase. Like a firestorm. Jiren's energy is climbing even higher. Damn it. Where is he going? What is he doing? How you stand nice. Up, no matter how many times you fall. Got his HP to, to mine, essentially. Hit him with that again, essentially. Everything they have. So I can keep going. If I do quit, I betray that trust. And I refuse to let all of them down. 
It's useless. Shit, how do I like grab? Nothing in the face of my power. You say they don't mean anything. I'll show you that they do. Impossible. How is he doing this? <laughs> How is he doing this? I'm just spamming. Goku can reach these heights because he's not just fighting for himself. He fights for all of us. That's the difference here. Piccolo is right. Behind every one of Goku's strikes is a whole community of people who've grown up with There's a whole community of people who grew up uh, corner camping in Call of Duty lobbies and spamming bitch spamming moves in fighting games. Pushing him forward. Goku doesn't imagine for That's what's fueling me right now. Gotten this far on his own. He's pushed all of us forward too, shaping us into the people we are today. Even as he fucking <laughs> Forget the power of friendship, dude. Forget the power of simping over Goku. Possible. Goku beat that dude's ass. The power of spamage. Yo, Incepticon, what's up, man? Uh, if you're on standard controls, block plus attack is equal to grab. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So it's block plus attack. That's why sometimes I've been blocking. Or sometimes I've been blocking. Or, sorry, rather grabbing. He's Goku. I've been spamming the attack button. All right. Goku manages to overwhelm Jiren and push him from the arena. Hiya, what's up, man? Been a minute. I'm assuming you've been playing uh, Sparking Zero as well? You've been thinking so far. Goku breaks Jiren's winning streak, claiming victory. His happiness cannot be contained, I guess is what it said. His friends gather around to celebrate Universe 7's victory. He's hath returned at last. Um. Okay. I think I know exactly what happened here. <laughs> because it should have been Android 17 who won the tournament, right? I think it's because we allowed Jiren to do that uh, teleport move. And then eventually Android 17 had to sacrifice himself. So I guess we gotta. It's kind of like the Zamas and Goku Black fight. We gotta beat him in time. And then we get the canon ending, because this was, whatever this was, was the alternate ending, I think. It's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. Nice. Yeah, same. I haven't had a lot of time to play it. Uh, the last time I played this was on the last stream itself. So we still didn't go into the story mode. Uh, but looking forward to playing all the other game modes, maybe hopping into some online matches and stuff. Uh, I really did enjoy the Tenkaichi games, or just rather, uh, game singular, because I didn't play one and two, but... I really did like Tenkaichi 3 growing up, so this is a long time coming for me and a lot of other people, I know. Um, and so far, just gameplay and presentation alone have really been delivering and, you know, hitting on all fronts. So I'm having a blast, and I'm glad you're enjoying it too. Here goes! Hope I can enjoy going through this again, as opposed to crying going through this again, trying to get the um, alternate objective complete. Uh, yeah, we gotta defeat him quickly. Okay. Look at him. He's like a new fighter. It's like the first time he fought Jiren, and when he fought Kefla, I'd say that this. So the second time I gotta beat him fast enough. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly look up again what the audio cue is for knowing if we're beating him in time or not. Um. But Goku Black, it was the thing about the blade. Uh, Kakura, the time fights are tough. They are. Do you know by any chance what the condition is for the Jiren one or what the, uh, what the cue is for you to know whether you're beating him in time or not? I know for Goku Black, it was like when he would talk about, you know, taste my blade. Like if you take longer than that, you're like not going to be able to do it. But I don't know what it is for this. Can't believe it's been so long since. Yeah, it's been a. Hot, hot minute. I think like 17 years, right? The <laughs> one dude had the opposite of pro opposite problem as me. He defeated Jiren too fast. <laughs> so is it actually like easy to do then? Um, oops, DB. Sparking zero. Hmm. I guess, okay. We just gotta make sure he doesn't do his teleport move. 
I'm quite That's sure it. this will be his last chance. I guess when the game tells you to do, do the fights fight quickly, like you should interpret that as do it before they use the super. He has or their special, himself, rather. So and with no more Not sure what the quote is. I think it's literally just when he does his super with attack. Fades from his eyes. It'll be over. With his incomplete ultra instinct? All he's doing is delaying the inevitable. But this one, you wait a minute, this one's complete, different. Which implies he hasn't fully mastered it yet. Don't tell me you're stupid enough to ignore the obvious implications of that. So I'm thinking of the fight before this one against Jiren, he where he teleported and killed 17. Intensifying as well. He's got Goku pinned down. Quick, Goku! Get out of there while you still can! Hang on. Did I maybe defeat Jiren quickly the first time? And I actually just have to regularly defeat him. Hurry up! No more talk. Just shut your mouths and watch. I don't know. Something beyond my strength limit. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, yeah, the more I think about it, I might have actually beaten him fast the first time. Needs to be Jaren after he transforms. Oh, uh, wait. Uh... Hmm, so many different answers. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're trying to get the Frieza Goku thingy with Bob. So don't finish him with any abilities, just finish him with Square or X. After Jiren transforms. And after all the friendship dialogue, okay. Something truly superb. This? Goku's done it, hasn't he? He's finally achieved it. Yes. Dang. His wind conditions are super... Hmm, they're super layered, man. They're kind of... Require you to do a lot of specific things. Or the optional objectives, rather. I wish they would, like... You know, clearly lay them out for you. Well, Gucci, though. Okay, so... Let's feel slow this time. I think we beat him kind of fast last time with the Kamehameha beams. You just spam the shit out of him. So let's wait for them to finish talking. It's useless! Your ideals mean nothing in the face of my power! You say they don't mean anything. Show me that they do! Damn, Goku's Ultra Instinct voice is so badass. How is he doing this? That should be obvious. Of the Goku low pitch of it. These heights because he's not just fighting for himself. He fights for all of us. That's the difference here. Piccolo is right. Behind every one of Goku's strikes is a whole community of people who've grown up with him, strengthening him over a lifetime of unimaginable challenges. Each one has been crucial, inspiring and pushing him forward. Okay, he's actually gonna fucking kill me. I just realized I'm actually I'm pretty low. Oh god. He's gotten this far on his own. He's pushed all of us forward too, shaping us into the people we are today. Even as he fights his opponents, he has a funny way of drawing them in. That's just the kind of man Goku is. This is our power, Jiren! To hell with your friendship. To hell with your trust! Putting faith in such things would mean denying all that I've witnessed in my life up until now! Okay, now we gotta wait for the dialogue. And to believe Shit. In so I really want to beat him, but... I know how easily it's ripped away! Go on, Kakarot! Now it's time to put Jiren down! Uh. No! 
No, 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 no. Okay, nice, nice. We actually got it. So we beat him with punches and kicks. There's melee only. Waited for the dialogue to end. As per that one comment I read. Now, assuming the dude wasn't lying to me, we should get a different cutscene. I think we did. Is this different? Or we just have a goldfish's memory? Uh, Jiren and Goku remain locked in a fierce battle. Goku's body has been pushed to the limit and can no longer endure the power of a god. Just as it seems, Jiren is going to throw Goku from the arena. Goku's looking hey, it is different. Now. We're gonna have to handle this ourselves. And he's alive! I thought yes, he died. Obviously. Frieza and Seventeen, who had been lying in wait, show their, themselves. Together, they catch Jiren off guard and corner him. Victory for Universe 7 is in sight. What are you doing, Jiren? Kneeling down at your enemy's feet? Is this honestly the way you want your fight to end? Get up! Why would you spend all those years honing your strength, rejecting everything and everyone else, just to surrender? Keep fighting to the end! <laughs> I love this topo, guys. Well, I'm realizing there's so many characters I just don't know about from the Tournament of Power arc playing this game. Jiren stands once more at Topo's words. Goku also pulls himself to his feet for one final go. All right, let's go, Jiren. You guys. I didn't mean to leave you like One that. final rodeo. How the hell are you still standing? Oops, I was so excited he lived, I couldn't even finish typing. Let's freaking go. Can't blame you, dude. I'm glad 17's still in one piece as opposed to in a bunch of pieces. So, Goku, once again you have returned, and once again you will fall. I don't think so. I think you're gonna fall right into the crust of the normally I'd say earth, but whatever this is. I love that. Times 20 never gets old. I need to get my act together. Yes, you do. Let's kill him once and for all. I sure could learn something from you. And the way you fight. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Was that dialogue unique to Jiren? It had to be. That's kinda sick. And like character specific uh, lines of dialogue with your moves. I need to get my act together. Also, can I just say, holy shit. Right now I'm I'm imagining how long this arc must be in the anime and the manga. Considering how long it's been within this game, which is otherwise heavily abridged. And breakneck paced. Like, considering how long this has been going on for, holy guacamole, the Tournament of Power probably t uh, took a minute in the show and manga. truly amazing. He's gotten this strong all on his own. We still may not be enough for him, even with all three of us teaming up. You do remember your promise, don't you, Goku? If this works. Back to life. Seriously, Frieza? Will you keep your word or won't you? As long as you hold up your end of the bargain and help us win, I'll hold up my Oh, that's cool. That better than anyone by okay. Think? That that line of that exchange that's is kinda of huge to me. Of yours is what I quite despise most of all. But for my own self-interest, I should probably thank you. Yeah, because I was always like I was always so confused how Frieza was alive in the Broly movie, which is after this. It's because I guess they revived him after the whole tournament of power. Kamehame! <laughs> I don't know why, that's kind of funny to me. Let's go! That's the one thing you can dodge or block, bitch. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, what now? Getting a bunch of goodies. Epic cutscene time. 
Youch. <laughs> I can be in first person here too. You got it. One alley you coming up. Damn, Frieza's really giving it his all here. Do it! Goku! Frieza! Go! This must be the secret of the seventh universe. The power of trust! And friendship! That's so, like, weirdly surreal and badass at the same time, right? Seeing Goku and Frieza fighting together back to back. It feels so wrong, but it's so cool. Whoa. Way to go, Frieza. Silence! Don't make this worse by thanking me, Saiyan. I need no other gestures as long as you keep your word to me, monkey. Still calling us slurs. You got it. Consider it done. Still a bitch. Contestant Jiren In spite of it is all. eliminated. The eleventh has been defeated. They will now be expunged. Jiren is so weird. I can't help but love him. Yeah, he's a. Barely finished the. He might be a genocidal life. maniac. I'm already hungry for the next fight. Maybe you don't want to hear this. But you do love to hate him. But I feel like we've gotten stronger together, and I think that's worth a lot. I hope to see you again, Jiren. Awesome. That's what I love about Goku. At the end of the day, he has like the most fearsome incredible warrior. universe shattering battles. But then he still has like the decency to, you know, pardon good terms with his foes. With the exception of a few, right? Like like Frieza, sure. Except in this year. Yeah. Can we all talk can we talk about how they're also happy go lucky and they're basically fighting the Thanos snap universes, right? Yeah. Like, that's what I love about Dragon Ball is the fact that at the end of the day, Goku is just, he's fighting to push his own limits as opposed to like, you know, out of animosity or spite. As the last one standing in the arena, 17 reigns as the champion. He gains the right to make a wish. Yep. He had wanted to treat his family to a cruise, but after looking at Goku's face, he instead wishes that all the universes be returned to the way they were. Yep. This is what happens. His friends are taken, taken aback, but Zeno has anticipated this. Any other wish would have meant the destruction of everything in existence. All of them start to tremble. Hey Goku, will you come visit us again? Yeah, of course I will. Keep it real, Zennies. <laughs> <laughs> Zennies. Yeah. The tournament of power is over. Goku and the others return to their normal lives. We'll never stop getting stronger, right Vegeta? Of course we won't. Only a fool put limits on the strength of a Saiyan race. Goku and his companions continue their fight, pushing the limits and facing down new opponent, new and mighty opponents. And that's the end. We made it. That is the furthest Dragon Ball has gotten to. With the exception of the Broly movie that came out after Dragon Ball Super, which, by the way, if you guys have not seen the Broly movie, how do you want to put, you know, you, you just... I think this, this is how critical this is what critical said in his review i'm pretty sure i'm gonna put a couple extra inches of hair on your chest and see one of the most baddest things in existence you gotta you guys have got to go and check that movie out <laughs> yeah the, the dbs broly movie is incredible but yeah no the broly movie and then dragon ball superhero how could i forget about that that was the other movie that came out after broly and further pushes the story yeah, beyond those two, which I hope maybe get a DLC or something, assuming they're not already in the base game, they give a story mode treatment to. I think that would be pretty sick if they incorporate the movies in somehow um, and allow us to play those, especially the Broly one and the you know, superhero where they were so cool. Um, that would be kind of awesome. But yeah, this is, as far as like the, mo the anime is concerned, the furthest point that Dragon Ball series has gotten to. But wait, actually, I'm stupid. There's more, as usual, like... There's more. Um, once again, Dragon Ball Diamond just came out alongside this game, I'm pretty sure. Like a couple days after, or the same day. Um, that's the newest anime. There's actually an anime that's... Um, there is a manga that's being written after Super, or 
No, it's still super, but there's more story, more sagas being written for it. They just haven't been adapted to television yet. But the other series that is a television series is Daima, and that's what's currently airing. And I still got to watch episode one. I aim to do with Daima what I didn't do for Super, which is follow it episode by episode as it comes out. I wanted to with Super, but then I just got really busy and then I couldn't keep up. But I'm going to change that with Daima. I hope to follow the whole thing from beginning to end. So yeah, there's... Chronologically, let's go through all of it. There's Dragon Ball. There's Dragon Ball Z, which is where this game begins. Dragon Ball is about Goku as a kid. That's where it all started. I don't know if it's in this game. We'll see. Um, and there's Dragon Ball Super after Dragon Ball Z. Not counting GT. Uh, that was non-canon. And again, I don't know if it's in this. Uh, and then after Dragon Ball Super... There are the two movies, and Dragon Ball Daima now. Which, uh, maybe there'll be DLCs for in the future, who knows? Definitely gonna be future Dragon Ball games, because come on now, come on. Of course, they're gonna be Dragon Ball games until the end of time. They rake in all the, all the dollar bills. As they should, because they're freaking awesome. Um... And yeah, when the next Dragon Ball game comes around, I'm so curious, like, it's gonna be so exciting seeing the new characters introduced in Daima and, you know, all the further iterations of Dragon Ball media. And then seeing them being brought to life in future video games. It's the gift that keeps giving, man, Dragon Ball. And it's so sad that Toriyama passed away um, this past year. He was only 68, right? He's still going so strong. Um... So it's sad that he didn't get to see the reception this game received. I think it's the most played fighting game of all time on Steam. Uh, it already broke that record. Um, but I have faith in his apprentice, right? I'm, I'm fairly certain his apprentice has taken over now, and he did a majority of the stuff for Dragon Ball Superhero, the movie, which I love that. I thought it was freaking amazing. And so, yeah, I, I have no doubt that he's going to Continue to cook and make Toriyama proud. Oh yeah. That was fun. Okay. Let's go ahead and check out some of the other characters. Like I said, my only criti critique of this would be, or criticism would be, that it's a little bit breakneck paced. Or not a little bit, a really breakneck paced. Um, and it, it's definitely not newcomer friendly. Like, I would say that if you're looking to play a Dragon Ball game... Uh, as opposed to watching the show or reading the manga to get um, well acquainted with the story. Which, if you ask me, I don't think that's how you should approach it. I think you should watch the anime. Uh, at least it, you can watch the Kai version. Because that's only like 80 episodes and the original was like 360 or something like that from DBZ. So there is like a proper abridged official version that takes out all the filler. I think that's the best way to experience the story of DBZ. Um not any video game but i would say that if you want to experience it via video game that kakarot would probably be the best bet for any newcomers um because this game is definitely definitely and it makes it pretty clear makes itself pretty clear that it's geared towards people who are already fans of the series and the franchise um and newcomers if they only are in it for like the fighting game aspect of it if you like 3d fighters if you like um you know, just that realm of the, the fighting game genre, that facet of it. Um, then there, this is absolutely a game that you might enjoy. But ultimately, I feel like, you know, first and foremost, it, it's a love letter to the fans, right? It's for the fans. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if I were to review it, and I, I know I'm saying this pretty early, and I'm probably talking more detail about, you know, I'll probably further flesh out what I think about this game as we play more of it, because we're definitely not done. But just going off of you know, my limited playtime so far, finishing Goku's story here and getting a gist of the game, a feel for it, the presentation, the fighting, all of that stuff, like the bread and butter. Um, from where I'm sitting right now, I would say it's a game I would recommend with reservations, right? Um, predominantly based off of the story mode stuff because, you know, I, I definitely recommend it. It's pretty freaking awesome so far. But yeah, it is. I, I, I recommend it with a reservation of... Um, you know, you're not going to probably get a whole lot out of this if you're coming in for the story and to figure out what happens if you're a newcomer. Um, 
It's more for the the pre the pre existing fans. But anyways, so that was Goku's saga. Fun stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and play as another character. Can you believe it? We have not played, with the exception of the fused characters like Vegito and then Vegito Blue. So that's really it. Fused character singular, I should be saying. Um, we have not played as anyone else. Let's change that. A <laughs> game with 180 characters for, for crying out loud. We're, we're going to be here a while. Yeah, we're, we're absolutely with Dragon Ball Sparking Zero not going to be, you know, closing the book on it anytime soon. Let's go to... Let's go back. I'm thinking when I do want to close the book on this game in the sense of like streaming like mainly streaming it you know like this being my main game if you will um i'm thinking like i'll i'll give a fair give every single mode a fair shot play every single mode a good bit i don't know if i'm gonna get through all the characters might take a hot minute um and even though we're done with goku i do know that there are a couple of what ifs we can still complete like the stuff with Majin Buu and, you know, choosing Buu instead of Android 17 and whoever the other character was and all the way back in the Saiyan Saga itself, we can actually choose to not go save Gohan with Piccolo and go alone, right? I'm very curious what all these things would culminate in. There are a lot of, like, cool what-if scenarios in this game. Uh, so there's still a, a good bit to do as Goku himself, even though we have finished his story. A couple of branching paths and stuff. But I digress. What I was saying was that I'm thinking of where to kind of turn this into more of a chill, like, impromptu game where we play that we play every now and again on stream. Uh, and I'm thinking maybe I'll, I'll do it after, yeah, I give all the game modes a fair shot. Play a couple hours of each one. Hit up the online a bit. Um get through a, a bulk of the characters. I, I don't know how long it'll take me to do all of them, but we'll see, right? Let's see, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, let's go back. Yeah, instead of doing the other what-if scenarios right now as Goku, I want to take a break from him for a bit. Let's go to... Logically, we would do Vegeta next. Right? Because Goku and Vegeta, the two, two pillars of Dragon Ball. Um... But my heart really wants to do Future Trunks because he's my favorite character. So I don't know. I'll let you guys decide. If anyone's in town and wants to kind of vote, we could do Vegeta or Future Trunks next. I'm kind of having trouble deciding right now. Or or anyone, really. Like, I'm game for going anyone here. I like Trunks. I think he looks badass. All right, let's do it. Love to hear it. I've got to protect the peace. And if you didn't already figure it out, um, Trunks is uh, Vegeta's son. There you go. Vegeta is... I go back and forth on who my favorite character is. Sometimes I would, I would say Vegeta. Sometimes I'd say his son Trunks. So it's pretty fitting that they're father and son. Let's go. You'll love to see it. Although Trunks questions his place in this fight, he proceeds to practice with Vegeta. Wait, so when is this set? Somewhere in the future, Trunks' world is suddenly attacked by a powerful foe seek seeking to wipe out all life on Earth. Goku Black. Oh man, we don't actually get to play as Trunks from the end of the Frieza saga and the Android saga. No. Oh, I'm sad. It starts at Dragon Ball Super. Shit. The, the Android saga Trunks was like the best Trunks. Alright, one such suspect is Zamasu from Universe 10, but they cannot find any proof that the two are connected in any way. Uh, when Trunks learns that Goku fought a destroyer, he begins to wonder if he has any place in this fight. Perhaps sensing something in his son, Trunks' father Vegeta approaches Over him. Over here, boy. Let's get back to training. Do they have a crazy love lady, though? She's a close yeah, second? I hope so. I don't think Cell so the for the story. Of course not. You think I keep some kind I'd assume of not. Because I think it's oh, only I the major characters. Father. Here in the hyperbolic time chamber with you? I'll always remember that. But that would have been funny if they did. <laughs> okay, here we go. Finally playing someone else. My main in Dragon Ball Fighters. FYI. I, I play kind of a mean Trunks in that game. If I may say so. Oh, shit. 
Let's go. Um, not that way. When I said let's go, I meant right towards your father's face. It's explosive wave, dude. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. It's like a knockaway blast. He can do Gallic Gun? I mean, I remember that from the from Goku's POV. No need to hold back. Use your Super Saiyan 3 like Goku did. <laughs> What's so funny? Mainly his dad's moves. Let's go. How about his own tank moves like Finish Buster and all the other stuff? What level is that? We call this Super Saiyan Blue. There's no mistaking it. Father and Goku's new energy. Fighting against literal gods has pushed them beyond their natural abilities. Man, the sword is this so fun. Even the full extent of his power. Father's way ahead of me, that's for sure. My father and Goku could take on Black in their Super Saiyan Blue form. I guess there was no need for me to get stronger after all. Okay then. Look at me, dumbass! <laughs> what the fuck? That's funny. I just called him a dumbass. It's so funny when you hear like pretty colloquial like swears in Dragon Ball. Like that smile off your face. So trippy. Stopping black. Is that your only goal? You think it ends there? Think about the next threat in a year or five or ten. Or think about your pride. If Saiyan blood flows in your veins, if you are my son as you claim, then I will tolerate you losing to anything. <laughs> Damn, he's a nice dad. Yeah, Virgil and Nero vibes for sure. That is actually pretty apt. I hear you, and I will get stronger. Stronger than Black, and stronger than you. That's right, Trunks. Make Dad proud. Fired up by his father's words, Trunks decides to defeat Goku Black for himself. Using a time machine prepared by Bulma, he returns to the future with Goku and Vegeta. But in the meantime, Goku Black has acquired a new transformation, Super Saiyan Rose A, giving him the power he needs to defeat Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. What's more, Zamasu has also arrived. Not only does he reveal his plans to kill Trunks and the others, he also shares that he has obtained an immortal body. The moment Zamasu and Black drop their guard, Trunks and his allies escape back to the present. With help from Beerus, they destroy Zamasu in the present. Beerus said that in killing Zamasu in the present, it should affect the future. So, they return to the future to see what has become of him. But they find Zamasu and Goku Black still very much alive. Goku challenges them, but is defeated. There's no need for impatience. It's your turn now. Let's finish them off nice and slowly. Trunks? You can leave Black to me. Use your head. He's too much for you. That's not entirely wrong. See, even if I have to pay the ultimate price. Alright, let's do it. You're so brave, Trunks. It's touching. But you are a sinner. A sinner. I'm curious if this game has the Dragon Ball Z Trunks variation with the purple hair and all the OG moves. That's, that's my favorite Trunks. I really hope so. He would have never challenged me, and I would not have had to take his body. But you warped history, ripped a hole in the fabric of time. You made this possible. All this horror has you did. It all begins with you, Trunks. You'll regret that. It's over. All right, finally landed that. There it is. I had a feeling it was that one. Even though most of his other moves aren't the um, iconic Trunks moves, like DBZ Trunks moves. It is a little bit disappointing that his two specials are basically his dad's moves, Gallic Gun and Final Flash. 
All is forgiven, though, if there is the Dragon Ball Z Trunks variation. That's the movie used as the kill Frieza. That time machine proves your mortal arrogance. Why you cannot be allowed to live. You both enabled and inspired us. You helped to light the flame of our justice. You helped to launch Project Zero Mortal. No, I didn't. My name's not in the credits. Next time you mourn, we'll peace. Ow. Remember, they're dead. <laughs> the way that dialogue lined up with the animation for that ultimate attack almost looks like Trunks is saying it himself. Oh shit. Oh, damn, it actually tracks. Alright, huge. There better be. I'm not going to leave you here. No, it's right. It's the only way to save his future. You agree with this? You're not getting away. First, you'll have to deal with me. May my strength be a shield for all of us mortals. Oh, God. Everyone, lend me your power. It's over. <laughs> Ah, oh, this shit again. I'm so screwed. No, I'm not. I'm okay. Alright. I'm gonna give him a good old fashioned beat down. Oh, huge. That was big. Okay, nice. If this gets in, that's going to be sick. Nice. I think I'm going to like playing Trunks a lot in this game, too. My main shall stay my main, I would hope. It totally has nothing to do with the fact that his alt is pretty easy to pull off compared to the other characters. Trunks said, bought time for Goku and Vegeta to escape, but it came at a price. Samasu and Black have Trunks backed into an inescapable corner. But just in the nick of time, Trunks is saved by his friends from the future. Trunks confronts Zamasu and Goku Black once again, but with Zamasu's newfound immortality, Trunks realizes he's bitten off more than he can chew. Using the time machine once more, Goku and the others return to the future where Bulma, his mom, teaches Trunks the evil containment wave to seal away enemies. Once Trunks manages to get the technique down, he attempts to use it on Zamasu. But since they forgot the necessary charm for Master Roshi, the evil containment wave ends in failure. Womp womp. Thus begins a new world. Still, such a technique poses a threat to Zamasu and Black, so they use the Potara to fuse their bodies. Now one, the fused Zamasu uses the unspeakable power he has obtained to defeat Goku and Vegeta. Father! Goku! So, another lamb wishes to be slaughtered. Trunks, why did you... Father! Zamasu! I'll make you pay for this! Not my dad! Who can be a prick sometimes, but he's still my dad. You're facing me now! Last 
Despite all my decrees, you're still Are we ever gonna get to play as, uh, play as base trunks? Always oh, starts in Super Saiyan mode. Kind of like in DBFZ. This is for dad! Damn, we're soloing Fuse Zamasu. Is this the part where he uses his um, Super Spirit Sword attack? I forget. Beam battle! Let's go! What the hell do I do? It's such a weird QT. I swear to God. This world can be a I swear to God, I need to pursue a college degree in QTEology. Thank God I won that struggle, though. All oh, huge. It's over. Uh, chase that. Oh damn! What the hell? Dude, his charge up looks so cool. Trunks is pretty all right too. <laughs> I commend you for your fortitude. Let's go. As it is, you refuse to accept your destruction, but in the end. Uh, I think it will. I beg to differ. Nice. Been acing these fights. Going through this nice and fast. Game's gonna go through things nice and fast. I'm gonna go through the game nice and fast. That's how we roll. May my strength be a shield for this world and for all of us mortals. I'm putting all of our hope into this one blast! Gallic Gun! Garlic, I mean Gallic Gun! Damn, it looks so satisfying. I admit it, to all my fellow DBZ fans out there, when you guys were kids, you loved to pretend you were having beam struggles. It looks so fun. Never! I'll never give up! They're counting on! And scream in the bathroom mirror, thinking you would go Super Saiyan. Totally not projecting right now. Hey! Father, son, Gallic Gun. It's kind of sick. This is the power of hey, this is the power of, of FPS POV. Ugh, I'm tired, Dad. You proud of me? I've had enough of you, impudent mortals. Dang. But you just definitely taking a lot of bullets for his boy. The good dadism intensifies. One by one, the attacks by Trunks, Vegeta, and Goku begin to break down Zamasu's fused body. By fusing the Goku Black, who lacked an immortal body, Zamasu had introduced an impurity into his form, which hindered his regenerative powers. Hey, we play that. It's all connecting, man. Goku seizes the chance to turn that flaw into Zamasu's demise. Using the Patara he borrowed from a Supreme Kai, he fuses with Vegeta to overwhelm Zamasu. However, he uses too much strength and is unable to maintain the fusion. Splitting apart, Goku and Vegeta are thrown back into a fight for their lives, but they are not alone. Trunks comes to their rescue. Yet again, with the weight of the hopes and dreams of all those living in the future on his shoulders, Trunks has prepared himself for his final battle against Samasu. Is 
going to be slightly different now for us in gameplay. Yeah, Trunks, don't you see? It's everlasting. How will you escape my justice? Move about past, begging for help from the rest of your pathetic mortal herd. Or this time will you try the future? How will you compensate for your weakness now? Time travel can't save us here, Trunks. Compared to gods, of course we're weak. But you can never make me ashamed of that. Because when mortals do join forces, that's when we can do anything. Because believing in our fellow man and helping each other to survive, that's what redeems us. That's what makes us who we are, makes us worthy. That's what gives us our real power. You'd sell them, Trunks. Power of friendship, once again. You hear you heard it here second folks. How long do you intend to oppose a god and delay the inevitable? I will never lose to you, Zamasu! Never! God damn, I gotta fight. Plato Zamasu now. Plato right arm Zamasu. Ow, my god. We fight as one. It's over. Zamasu. I, I expect him to yell Frieza whenever he goes. It's over. <laughs> Like in Dragon Ball Fighters, when you do this move, this is how he kills Frieza, right? I love it. I hope they keep that in this game when we, because we have established, I think, based on the Goku Jiren fight, that there are character-specific special ability lines. I hope that if you fight Frieza as Future Trunks, he says that, like doing this and then going, Frieza! That'll be kind of cool. Ow. Ow. They're going down, Samus. Alright, that was big. I'm gonna lose this. No, I'm not. I'll be like blasting away with that. That's nice. As usual, Future Trunks and I are jiving pretty well. That's cool looking. Oh god. Needs to get the hell out. No, how do you? Oh, shit. I'm gonna like escape. It, it dawned on me, I don't know how to like just get the hell out. I mean, I could just hold back with the buttons to charge, kind of like that. I wanna like go get some key. Holy shit. Holy shit. Can you not? Why? Get away from me, freak. We fight as one. 
Okay, let's try to follow up with that. Huge. It's probably the, the final fight in Future Trunks' story mode, right? I'd assume so. Okay, big hits. It's over. Come on, please land again. Thank you. Mucho appreciation. Video game. Oh fuck. What? I was gonna do his ultimate! Stop playing with me! What the he's drunk stop! Ah God damn it. Oh, this is so cursed, you piece of shit. Get away from me. Everyone, lend me your pets over. Better be. Better be. God damn it, it's not over. It was not, in fact, over. All right. There we go. Nice. He's going to need a lot of band-aids after that. Slashed and washed him a million times. Oh, we locked Tapion? I remember Tapion. Non-canon non character from one of the films. Kind of a cool way to unlock him. I really forgot about him, to be honest. Damn, we got the Energy. Moonlight Greatsword. It's flowing in from every living thing in this world. Going full Dark Souls with this one. Dark born, souls born. I can feel it. Blood souls. Keep it coming, you guys. Share your power with me. I don't care how much energy you collect. It will never compete with a god. Lord, he angry. Go, everyone will defeat Zamasu. No, <laughs> Try Gallic, but gun. <laughs> I appreciate that crossover. It's not about gods and mortals. You don't believe in anything but yourself, and we won't let you win. Bang! How it can be this strong? It feels chaotic. So many energies melded together! This is the power of mortals fighting for each other! The power of believing in something bigger than just you! Yes, Trunks, we get it. Mortal together strong. Okay, as much as I love Trunks, they better stop showing him in Super Saiyan this much. Make me hungry for McDonald's fries. Overall, my trunks is attack. Zamasu vanishes in a flash of light. However, this was not enough to rid them of Zamasu for good. So long as his key remains, so too does the threat of the universe is falling under his control. Thinking quick, Goku summons the Zeno, who wipes Zamasu from existence once and for all. That was easy. <laughs> trunks and the others return to the present to tell their friends all that had happened in the future. Following Reese's advice, Trunks decides to use the time machine to return to his own time, albeit to a slightly earlier point. Are you sure you can't stay a little longer, honey? No, Mom. Don't start getting sentimental. Shut up, Dad. I'm just sad to see him go so soon. Besides, I imagine you might want to train with him some more, right? 
Her. Mom! Father! Maybe she's right. If I were to train with father again, I could become stronger than I've ever been. Ooh. There's a what if scenario for Trunks? So as we know, he goes back to his own world and that's the end of future you never see future trunks again in DB Super. What if he stay here and train? I'm curious. Father, perhaps you could spar with me just one more time? What for? Because I have to be able to protect my world from any threat it could ever face. I need to. No matter what it takes. I'll endure any training you throw at me, no matter how brutal. That's gonna be interesting. Then you're gonna stay with us after all. Oh, Trunks, I'm so happy I could cry. As long as it's not an inconvenience. Of course not. No matter the timeline, this place is your home and you're Thanks, always Mom. welcome here. Thanks, Mom. Hey. <laughs> I promise I'll become stronger and stronger. Thanks, Dad. Thus, he decides to stay in the past a little longer and train in Vegeta in the hopes of reaching new heights in his strength. However, one day, Trunks and Vegeta's training is cut short when Piccolo comes to ask for help with getting Gohan back into fighting form. Trunks readily agrees, eager to test his own skills against new opponents. In the end, it's decided that he will spar with each of them in turn. Okay, so the final boss battle is a sparring match? Determination. I'll fight you first. Damn it. I was hoping to finally get a base Trunks fight. There's no way that's not a thing, knowing it's a Tenkaichi game. There's gotta be a way to play as base Trunks. It's fighters, Dragon Ball Fighters that typically does that, where the character sometimes is the like the transformation is the character and that's it. But Okay, nice. New sword attack. Wake up, babe. New sword attack just dropped. Share your power with me. The spirit sword. Holy, we're murdering our dad. What's the matter? Certainly you didn't defeat Zamasu and Goku Black with such meager. Shut up, Dad. Do you see what I just did? Channel your willpower into an explosion of rage. Break past the very limits of your power. Dad, I ripped your clothes off. How much stronger do you want me to be? The God and Prince of All Saiyans. You're almost in your goddamn tidy whities here. Looks like I'm up next then. Epical. After Gohan taught me, I never thought I'd have a chance to learn from the one who taught him. Huh. I'd nearly forgotten that. Hard to picture Gohan as a martial arts instructor. Gohan's real dad. This will be a good chance to hone any demon-style techniques he taught you. Allow me to show you how to fight like a demon. Here we go, everyone. Show, show you how to fight like a swordsman. Shit, never mind. I can't wait to play as Piccolo. That's a, that's a classic right there. I think, um, wholesome fact, by the way, I think Toriyama has said that, uh, Piccolo's his favorite character. Piccolo was his favorite character. Here we go, everyone! Here we go, everyone! Here we go! Like how upbeat the music is here. While we're just brutally gutting Piccolo here. <laughs> I'm coming, picks. Hey, Gohan. You've gotten a lot stronger these past few years. Pretty amazing, Trunks. Not seeing nothing yet. You're as strong as you are. 
I've been too busy studying while you've still been training. I've still got a long way to go, though. This is a rare opportunity for me. Let loose your full power, please, Gohan. I don't think he's gonna be able to do anything yeah. after that. <laughs> Sorry, Gohan. Gohanna. Thank you for training with me, everyone. You don't know how much this means to me. More lore information incoming. Very cool fact for newcomers. Gohan here in the future, where this Trunks is from, this is future Trunks, right? Was Trunks' mentor. And he wasn't someone who spent all his time studying. And he was missing an arm. And then he very sadly died. And then his death triggered Trunks' rage, and that's how Trunks became Super Saiyan for the very first time. All right, back to it. After facing off against Vegeta, Piccolo, and Gohan, Trunks... What? What? What did he do? Not more confident in his strength, Trunks decides it's finally time for him to return to the future. Okay, makes sense. He goes home. Before he le leaves to return to his own time, Trunks says, goodbye says his goodbyes to everyone and promises they'll see one another again. Okay, so probably on a straightforward... Goes and spars a bit, then he goes back to his timeline. Now what happens if he doesn't do that and he decides to go back prematurely? Hang on, let me see, uh... So, okay, I guess that would be the the other path that we see here with a question mark. Making the other decision. So we did stay in the present? Oh! Wait, never mind. If we do this fight against the, the sparring match again, against the three other Z fighters, like, uh, like, do we go? Do we have another option in this one? Besides this other what if thing we had earlier of staying in the present or going back to our timeline? We gotta do something else once again, like finish the fight quickly or slowly. Let's see. Uh, battle details. Show Vegeta, Piccolo, and Gohan your power. Show Vegeta, Piccolo, and Gohan your power quickly. Now, this is the annoying thing about this game. is I don't know if the first time I did the alternate objective or not. Yikes. Did I show it to them quickly last time? Let me let me do more research once again. Uh Once again, I don't know if I did the fast version or the slow version. How do I figure that out? Oopsies. I've got to protect the peace. Yeah, this guy is literally having a breakdown on Reddit over the same thing I'm talking about. He's like, wait, did I do it fast or did I do it slow? I don't know. <laughs> I wish the game would tell you which one you did. Oh, I'm going to have to look this up every single time we come across one of these battles. Oh, no. I really, like, the snow joke kind of kills my, a little bit of my enthusiasm to play more of the story mode. Um, because I feel like we beat them pretty fast the last time, but at the same time, it could very well be that we didn't. Because we were spamming a whole bunch of his ultimate, 
you know? Uh... Okay. Um, let's take a break from this one. Let's, uh, do what we can do. Or do, or rather, do what we know we haven't done. By choosing this other dialogue option here. To go back to the future. Alright, so this is what he does in the anime, right? He just goes right back after the whole Zamasu thing. He would say goodbye to his friends here and return to a brighter future, one in which his friends are still alive. Oh, that's it. <laughs> what the fuck? It just rolls the credits. Okay, I thought there would be like... I don't know. I mean, I had a feeling this would happen because that's it for future Trunks in, in the anime. He just goes back... And you don't see him again. That's the end of his story. So I don't know what I was expecting to happen. It's just funny how one of the options is oh, when you break it down is like, roll credits, do one more fight that doesn't happen before you roll like, roll the credits. Funny. Uh, okay. Cool beans. Uh, let's go. Do this again, and I mean, if, I don't know which version I did. Did I do it quick? Did I do it slow? I've got to protect the peace. Um. Hmm. Kind of an annoying oversight, man. The fact that you just don't know. Oh, oops, I'm in the wrong place. That's where I meant to go. Okay, you know what? I'm filled with determination. I will go fight you first. Prove that all this training hasn't been a waste of my time. I'm deliberately kind of slow here. and Goku Black with such meager power. <laughs> Channel your willpower. Yo, hang on. Uh, I just thought of something random. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thought of something random. You can see the cutscene that we unlocked afterwards, right? Oh, not for this one. Damn. The cutscene can sometimes give you a hint whether you did it quickly or slowly, I suppose. I'm gonna pay more attention to these cutscenes, but at the same time, it's like, shit. I don't know if the battle I'm gonna be doing I have to do this. I is must. one of those with an alternate objective to then think about. Okay, should I be paying attention to the cutscene? Is it showing me a hint as to whether it did it fast or slow? Maybe in every fight, we'll make it a habit to see if there's an alternate objective or not. That way, we can make a mental note to see the cutscene afterwards and see if that gives us a hint about whether we went fast or slow. Because I was wondering, okay, how, how would that give you a hint? Well, if it turns out the character we're playing as defeated the big bad, we probably went kind of fast. Turns out that we got defeated, probably went kind of slow. Here we go! 
go, everyone. So I assume he went kind of fast last time. Now that I really think about it. it. Keep it coming, guys. Share your power with me. What's the matter? Certainly, you didn't defeat Zamasu and Goku Black with such meager power. I think we went fast because Trunks just you know, bopped him up and then Break went back to his timeline. But if we don't, I'm assuming and unleash some kind of attack. So that's where you are. All right, taking a minute against Vegeta. Here we go, everyone. Looks like I'm up next then. After Gohan taught me, I never thought I'd have a chance to learn from the one who taught him. Huh. I'd nearly forgotten that. Hard to picture Gohan as a martial arts instructor. This'll be a good chance to hone any demon-style techniques he taught you. Allow me to show you how to fight like a demon. <laughs> Don't make a sound, or it might be your last. Okay, maybe now that I think about it, we went slow last I don't know, man. I do not know. Oh, so we're getting kind of cooked. So it's gotten a lot stronger and it annihilates me. All right, gotta investigate something. Hang on, I need more information on stuff and things. Um, remember that one mission with Goku where we had to actually beat Jiren slow? And then we actually unlocked... Well, no, fuck. I think this one would also say complete the fight quickly, right? If we looked at alternative objectives. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, defeat Jaren quickly. Damn it! Then say defeat Jaren slowly, right? <laughs> I've got I to don't not know, man. I don't not know. Let's go back to the map. They become strongest in the universe. Alright, let's see. You have to beat it in under two minutes. There are no cues or anything. Okay, just go sparking mode, keep on punching, and save your finish attack for Gohan. 
All right, for anyone who wants the actual conditions, you have to beat each opponent in under 45 seconds. The animation of the beginning counts. You know, Super Saiyan and do all the uh, move animations. Beat the crap out of all of them in the punches and sparking. Beat Vegeta until he got knocked away. That one's sparking, comboed him out. They beat everyone in under 45 seconds. So those are the actual conditions. They probably are, but okay, this is annoying. You have to like, it kind of reminds me of Armored Core 6 going for the S ranks and the game not telling you the actual conditions to get the S ranks, but like being very vague about them. It's kind of like that, but in Sparking Zero, where they do tell you vaguely, right? Like, beat the beat the enemy fast. But okay, like, how fast are we talking? How fast is fast? I wish they were a little bit more transparent. Um, so for this one, because it's different for each fight, ultimately. Uh, so you have to beat them in 45 seconds. Okay, I'm just gonna try what the first guy here said. I'm just gonna beat the shit out of all of them and then use Spirit Sword on Gohan. Alright, Dad. Get ready for a knuckle sandwich. I'm filled with determination. I'll fight you first. Prove that all this training hasn't been a waste of my time. I will, father. Oh shit. Are we going about this really slow? I'm just gonna restart. So apparently this animation counts where he's going super. I'm filled with determination. I'll fight you first. Prove that all this training hasn't been a waste of my time. I will, father. Oh my god, now he's doing what I want to do to him. I'm sad. This is definitely the attempt, so no one ever. How do you get like one sparking arc in this game? I'll fight you first. Prove that all this training hasn't been a waste of my time. I will, father. Oh, it just, I, I never even noticed that it's charging and has like a meter. What's the matter? Certainly you didn't defeat Zamasu and Goku Black with such meager power. Channel your willpower into an explosion of rage. Break past the very limits of your power. Got it. Looks like All right. After Gohan taught me, I never thought I'd have a chance to learn from the one who taught him. <laughs> I've nearly forgotten that. Hard to picture Gohan as a martial arts instructor. Not this where I went to go. Chance to hone any demon-style techniques he taught you. Allow me to show you how to fight like a demon. Okay, looks like it's my turn. All right, then save this for Gohan. These past few years. Pretty amazing, Trunks. Rip. Makes sense that you're as strong as you are. I've been too busy studying, and you've still been training. I've still got a long way to go, though. This is a rare opportunity Shit. for me. Let loose your full power, please, Gohan. You got it. Everyone, let me go, everyone. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, fuck, I'm so screwed. Gohan. Shit on toast. They're doing the Super Son Goku Bros Kamehameha. To add insult to injury. This is the unluckiest goddamn run of this. 
<laughs> we already lost 100 percent this taking me longer to do than the first time i fought gohan i'm filled with determination i'll fight you first prove that all this training hasn't been a waste of my time i will father <laughs> All right, huge. One sparking. Get away from me, Dad. We fight as one. What's the matter? Certainly, you didn't defeat Zamasu and Goku Black with such meager power. Channel your willpower into an explosion of rage. Break past the very limits of your power. Got it. Okay, beautiful. Looks like I'm up next then. After Gohan taught me, I never thought I'd have a chance to learn from the one who taught him. Huh. I'd nearly forgotten that. Hard to picture Gohan as a martial arts instructor. This will be a good chance to hone any demon-style techniques he taught you. Allow me to show you how to fight like a demon. Coming through. <laughs> Everyone, let's don't make a sound, or it might be your last. Okay, okay, here we go. Quick, my turn. Point blank range. A lot stronger these past few beautiful, years. beautiful, beautiful. Pretty amazing. That should be it, right? Makes sense. From what I understand, you are. I've been too busy studying while you've still been training. I've still got a long way to go, though. This is a rare opportunity for me. Let loose your full power, please, Gohan. You got it. Still not it. Everyone, my turn. Shit, please don't go Kamehameha on me. Here we go, everyone. I can feel it. Keep it coming, guys. Like this attack, it's strong, but it takes a minute, the whole animation, and time's probably clock's ticking. Was that fast? Thank you for training with me, everyone. You don't know how much this means to me. Come on, please. I don't see anything new popping up. I'm scared. Ah, oh, shit. Same cutscene. Know what that means. Ugh. Dang it. I wonder what these all these other fights are, dude. I have to do this. I must. Hmm. Makes it impossible for a lot of people, apparently. Oh wait, that's a different mission. Yeah, an all path and then an all path. Someone's like, why is there this all pathception thing going on? Someone's like, I'm having the opposite problem. I'm apparently beating it too quickly. Oh, what if I'm beating it too quickly and like, what? What if I'm beating it too quickly and ending it? But not beating it too slowly and not getting the uh, the path with the question marks. Because, I don't know, because the game just doesn't tell you <laughs> that if you're doing it quickly or not. Uh, the timer being like, what, 145 at best with the animations? That's rough. Yeah, it counts the animations. Um... One dude's like, oh my god, he tried for three days. For like three hours per day. Shit. With some breaks in between. Finally beat it with sparking combo into ultimate on Piccolo. Okay, yeah, so I'm doing it too slowly. The, you have to do it fast to get the other missions.
Okay, someone's like not worth the effort. Oh, it's a fun challenge to do, but not at the expense of being able to experience the rest of the game, you know? Like, this is something I would want to take on closer to when I'm kind of, I've kind of seen everything the game has to offer, and I currently haven't. And reading shit like, took me three to four, two to three hours per day after three days of trying, certainly doesn't make this any more tempting to do than it already is, which it's not very tempting at the moment. So, um, as far as we're concerned, we finished Future Trunks' his, his story. This is just the what-if stuff, right? I'm so curious, though, what's on this path, because, like, what else would he stick around to do if he eats him up quickly enough? Like, what? <laughs> what are the other battles going to be when he sticks around in their timeline? Anyways, that's a question for another day. I think I'm just going to leave it at this for Trunks, because I do want to experience more of the game. It's a big game. There are a lot of characters, and i got to get through a, a bulk of them, you know? So, maybe I'll come back to this. Let's go... Ian, go on attend group therapy about their dads constantly leaving to train. They're probably not wrong about that. I'm inclined to agree. That's my headcanon for now. Hang on. Sorry. Okay. Uh, speaking of their dads going off the train, we've seen uh, the outcome of that with Goku, but not with Vegeta. Let's play some Vegeta next. Played as the son. Already. It's only right that we now play as the dad. Okay, interesting. It doesn't start on Earth with him fighting Goku. I wish he got to play as Grady, Vegeta. After losing to Goku on Earth, Vegeta makes his way to planet Namek in hopes of using their Dragon Balls to become immortal. However, Vegeta is followed by Kui, who has been ordered by Frieza to kill him. It's not long before Kui makes his presence known. Vegeta's fighting experience on Earth has raised his power level beyond that of Kui. Kiwi pretends to offer an alliance to Vegeta, but in reality, he is trying to get Vegeta to lower his guard. This makes sense. It's going to be a whole lot of the fights that you know, Vegeta took part in at the beginning of the Frieza saga here. <laughs> That's what you get! I can't believe you actually fell for that old gag! Fat lot of good all that power did at the moment of truth, huh? Really? So that's what it is then? I have to say, <laughs> even face. for you, that was a pretty dismal move. Da da da! We're behind his ass! No! No! It can't be! If there were any brains in it that can be. yours, you'd have realized my speed has increased as well. Which means, unfortunately for you, that little ruse only succeeded in pissing me off! Alright. Time to tango. Da -da -da. <laughs> I love the sounds Vegeta makes when he's fighting. Old school Vegeta and his... Old school Saiyan armor with his old school scouter and his old school dirty fireworks. Let's go. This is pretty good guy, Vegeta. Yeah. I'm the strongest fighter in the universe. Little. Nice. Intent to make good in that promise, as you can clearly see. Hell yeah. I'm afraid you're fine. Look at that. Look at that. Vegeta, a fellow pundit. You'll love to see it. If what I heard over the scouter is to be believed, all seven Dragon Balls are needed in order to make a wish. I only need to find one to prevent Frieza from being able to use them. Those earthling stooges will find the other six for me. 
Then I'll take them all. What are you looking at, Vegeta? Once I get that wish, not only will I be granted eternal life, but no one, not even Frieza himself, will be able to stand in my way. I'll be uncontested, utterly invincible. I, Vegeta, Prince of all Saiyans, will rule the universe! That's the plan. What's up, Dodoria? We're gonna fight him, too? As Vegeta searches for the Dragon Balls, he locates Dodoria, whom he then challenges and swiftly defeats. Shit, we don't get to fight Dodoria. Poor Dodoria. <laughs> His death is so funny in TFS, the parody. Based on Dodoria's words, Vegeta suspects that there are humans on planet Namek, though he tries to track them down. He ultimately isn't able to find them. Abandoning his search, he departs for a Namekian village to obtain a Dragon Ball. Big Dragon Balls on planet Namek. After attacking the Namekian village and obtaining the four-star ball, Vegeta hides it underwater and goes in search for the remaining Dragon Balls. Vegeta appears before Zarbon, who is also in the hunt for the Dragon Balls. He informs him that he has defeated Dodoria and that he will be next. Alright, so Vegeta we do get to fight Zarbon. Why would you dare defy Frieza? Zarbon and his fabulous ass. Isn't it obvious? I hate the bastard, always have. And now that there's a chance not to just seize eternal life. And believe me, Gungaga now has competition from da -da -da for things I randomly say. Let's go. At the same time. Well, the real question is, why in my right mind wouldn't I turn against him? Starting to get the picture, pretty boy? Yeah, Vegeta and his key blasts are in a, a combination as iconic as Zack and Gungaga. You're seeking to use the Dragon Balls for yourself. Frieza will not get his dirty hands on them. And once I'm given immortality, Frieza is as good as dead. This joke of an empire is finished. Certainly even someone bum, bum, bum. as thick as you knows it'll take more than immortality to conquer Frieza. All right, shut up, Zarbon. You can, as you can see, I'm head-bobbing to the music. Enough Let's fight. Talk. You've never had a real taste of Saiyan power. So here, eat up! All right. <laughs> the fucking sounds he makes when you knock him around. <laughs> Holy shit. Zarbon is so extra, dude. <laughs> He's so fucking extra. Bravo, Vegeta. Your progress intrigues me. I, I love how, like, for the parody series for Dragon Ball TFS, they didn't even have to try for Zarbon. He already is just extra. You might as well know before you breathe your last breath. There's a very good reason I keep my full powers hidden. You see, exploiting them calls for a drastic transformation. Yeah, this is some funny ass hollering. <laughs> Naturally, I'm somewhat reluctant to sacrifice my looks. But when my hand has been forced, what choice is there? <laughs> I'm waiting. Eager, aren't we? Very well. Don't say you weren't born. Holy shit. Zarbon's sounding all dirty and shit. I'm hitting him with a move called Dirty Fireworks. The poetry writes itself. I'm afraid you're fired. What? Come on. Oh, true, the monster form. I killed him anyway. Did he mean to transform so late? Vegeta is unable to defeat the Transform Zarbon and takes the first opportunity to escape. He also steals the Dragon Balls Frieza has gathered before chasing after Krillin to take the final Dragon Ball from him. Vegeta is soon found by Zarbon, who had been following him. The Saiyans are a true warrior race! Don't underestimate us! Yeah, the game, or I guess me, I did a pretty bad job portraying exactly what happened there. It said Vegeta wasn't able to defeat him, even though he clearly mopped the floor with his ass last time. So yeah, in the anime, Vegeta doesn't beat him. He gets his ass handed to him when Zarbon transforms. 
Runs away, comes back. Now he kills him as he saw there. And now the Ginyu Force is here. When he senses a dangerous Ginyu Force approaching, Vegeta offers something. But before they can use the Dragon Balls, the Ginyu Force catch up to them and seize the Dragon Balls. He's the... Wait. Okay. After, catch, after catching Guldo off guard and managing to beat him, there are only four of the elite forces left. Vegeta shivers in anticipation of the battle. Yeah, Vegeta was pissing and Don't shitting and crying Vegeta. himself here. Hope you're ready, cause now you're gonna get it. We are the Ginyu Force. More extras being extra. Yeah, get out of my face, Raccoon. This dude scared the shit out of me as a kid for some reason. Alrighty, the kid gloves are off now, buddy boy. Where's the hello guy? I know he's around. Yep, come on, don't feel shy, Jace. Get your ass out here. He's loitering around somewhere. He's here, he's in the scene. Come out, come out. Yeah, Vegeta, it was funny the first time. Seriously, need to, uh... Got a new joke book. That's more than just one page. And one sentence. Let's go! That's another super iconic thing he says in the other games, and I'd imagine the enemy too. The Saiyans are a true warrior race. If not, you are so dead. Giant freak. Time to die now. The voices for these characters and like their manners, like the Frieza saga of Dragon Ball Z was just it was on some good shit. I still maintain to this day that the Frieza saga of DBZ was is the best saga in all of the Dragon Ball franchise. Between Goku going Super Saiyan for the first time and all the stuff with Vegeta and his like subtle character development for becoming a villain to being the first steps to becoming semi like sort of good. It was kind of goaded. Okie dokes. Hey, Gokes. Raccoon overwhelms Vegeta with his strength, leaving Vegeta to struggle. But at that moment, Goku, who arrives on Planet Namek, joins in, and together they easily defeat Raccoon. Really, game? It, you're, you're telling me Vegeta got his ass handed to him? That's not the way I saw that. Vegeta and the others use the Sensu beans brought by Goku and ready themselves for the fight against the Ginyu Force. Vegeta leaves the field of battle and begins looking for the Dragon Ball stolen by Captain Ginyu. It is now that Vegeta notices Gohan and the others have used the Dragon Radar to find the Dragon Balls first. There's another reason that newcomers would find this game so fucking confusing. It's like, wait, I, I kicked Raccoon's ass. Wait, I kicked, kicked Zarbon's ass. Why is the game telling me we lost? Did we actually lose? I'm confused. But then, Captain Ginyu, who has switched bodies with Goku, arrives with Jace. There he is, Jace, to attack Gohan and Krillin. Hey, eyes up. You're dealing with me now. Don't kid yourself. What makes you think you can take me now, Vegeta? Now, last time I checked, that's exactly what Australians look like. Closer to becoming a Super Saiyan. Oh, come off it with your fairy tales. Australia truly is a, it's a place. Fabled mystical land. Jace, my beloved, he's back. After defeating Jace, Vegeta clones in on, closes in, clones in, on Captain Ginyu. Ginyu attempts to switch bodies with Vegeta, but... 
Goku dives between the two fighters, reclaiming his own body. The wounded Goku begins to recover his strength in preparation for fighting Frieza, while Vegeta takes the opportunity to take a little nap. However, Gohan and the others take advantage of the full of the lull to summon Purunga. But suddenly, Guru dies. And who is Guru? Well, fuck you, we're not going to tell you. <laughs> Guru is the king of the Namekians, I guess. Purunga disappears because Guru died of old age. Now Frieza, who has been traveling toward Purunga's Column of Light, makes an appearance. OG form Frieza, there he is. I really must hand it to you. In all my years, I've never been so angry as I am now. Definitely look angry. Now you'll pay! You vile, field-sucking maggots will rue the day you Whoa. cross my path! Prepare yourselves to embrace a blimmy! Easy, Frieza. Go on, chill out on the language. Do your worst. But if you think this is going to be easy, then you're dead wrong! You haven't a clue. I'm becoming a thing you fear most. The legendary Super Saiyan! <laughs> Don't look it. Do you really expect me to take such desperate boasts at face value? Well, how this is before anyone knew what Super Saiyans even look like, including Vegeta. Enough of your pathetic lies! There's no off the legend. They don't know your hair just becomes golden. Frieza form two. After withstanding Frieza's attacks, Vegeta taunts him, telling him to transform. Frieza responds, but the difference in their power levels is too great. Not just great, too great. It is now that Piccolo appears. He has fused with the Namekian Nail and obtained incredible power. Piccolo and Frieza are locked in a dead heat, but Frieza still has two more transformations up his sleeve. Frieza, tra tre Frieza has transformed once again, and Piccolo and Gohan stand to fight him. However, Frieza says he will let them bear witness to one last transformation. Holy, it is going fast. While Frieza is transforming, Vegeta attempts to use the Saiyan special ability to come back from the brink of death even stronger. I remember it took me like two weeks of watching this anime on TV growing up to even get to this point from the very beginning we just saw Frieza with Form 1. When Vegeta's order, Krillin lands a life-threatening thingy to make Vegeta weak and then get strong, because that's what Saiyans can do. Then they refuse to first to heal Vegeta, citing all the Namekians he's killed. Gohan, however, begs Dende to something. Now get ready. This is like at least 15 episodes we're watching here in the span of 30 seconds. And so Vegeta rises from the brink of death to once more feast Frieza, who has finally shown himself. You little wretch! Consider yourself lucky I didn't incinerate you! Poor Dende. Uh, 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 <laughs> the rest of you stay back! Just keep your eyes peeled and enjoy the show! Someone's full of confidence, you poor fool. The helplessness of your situation has made you delusional. I doubt you'll be so smug once you realize what you're up against. I'm what stands walking before you now menacingly. Is the thing you fear most. I am a Super Saiyan. There won't be a shred of you left when Kakarot wakes up. That's right, he's a Super Saiyan. What's that? He doesn't have golden hair. You're colorblind. Yeah. Your eyes checked. Oh shit. I think, toy with you a bit. I think not. Okay, never mind. It's time for sudden death. Interesting, the game finally makes Vegeta fight against someone who he's not meant to beat. <laughs> Earlier on in the story mode, that wasn't the case, I don't think, up until now. Take that, Frieza! Power of a Super Saiyan! Wabam! Yeah, I don't think he's gonna die, Vegeta. 
and dreams, Vegeta. But for all your efforts, you never even came close to being on my level. How about this time? Third time's a charm, usually. Is this gonna put me on your level? I'm afraid you're fine. <laughs> Forget soul. <laughs> It's cool, Vegeta. I'll, I'll pretend you never said that before, and we're was saving that just for Frieza. You aren't gonna want to hold anything back, Frieza. Not against this one. You see, he is what you fear more than anything else in the universe. Don't say it. Don't say it. You're dealing with the real Super Saiyan. <laughs> I love how TFS makes fun of how many times he brings that up. Frieza's just tired of hearing him say those words like a million times. Oh, Can't blame Vegeta, him. you forget. I don't enjoy jokes, and you've never been very funny. Not wrong. He kept repeating the same pun you murder him. five times he in a row with his super move. Kakarot, I need you to know what happened to planet Vegeta, where we were born. It's gone. Not because it collided with a giant meteor. Okay, game's actually showcasing some important lore. It was Frieza who did it! We served him blindly for years, and he disposed of our entire race, wiped us from existence. I'm, I'm begging you, please, beat him. For me, for the pride of our race. You must defeat him, please. He must die by a Saiyan's hand. It was actually a pretty sad scene in the anime. Scene definitely hits hard. First time you see some humanity in Vegeta. And you kind of like empathize. All right. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Just when the game was starting to go into the lore, it's like, that's it. Nope. That's a this It makes sense. I mean, we're playing from Vegeta's POV. He dies there. Then the rest is history. Goku avenges him and the Saiyans and the Namekians and goes Super Saiyan for the first time. Kills Frieza. Uh... Frieza kind of cooking him in post game chat. Very, very toxic. Very true. Certainly was. Kind of just uh, muted Vegeta, Frieza. You know, to get all toxic there. Okay. Now it's time to see all the stuff we didn't see in the Android Saga as Goku, because uh, Goku was out of commission. He was sick, but Vegeta certainly wasn't. So now it's swapped. Goku was there for a bunch of the Frieza stuff. Vegeta was dead. Goku's sick here. Vegeta ain't. Cool. Back on Earth, those slain by the Frieza Force are resurrected using the Dragon Balls. Vegeta 2 is revived by the Dragon Balls and begins living at Bulma's house in West City. Then they hook up and Bulma gives birth to Trunks. Just as Goku returns to Earth, a young man arrives from the future and delivers a message that in three years, androids will appear and most of the population will be killed. See, that's my boy right there. DBZ version of Future Trunks. I wish this story started from here. Damn. To ensure his survival, Vegeta de dedicates himself to training. Time passes, and just as the man had said, two androids appear. Androids 19 and 20. Goku collapses from a heart virus during the attack, but Vegeta comes to the rescue. With my anger at its peak, it happened. Finally, I have become a Super Saiyan. Let's go. The awaken, awakened Vegeta takes the fight to the androids. Yeah, this is where he becomes a Super Saiyan for the first time. And they gave him another decency to make a cool cutscene out of it. What the hell? Why do we have to see that in a Polaroid? Come on. The, the Vegeta slander cannot go unnoticed and unpunished. A, this game has a clear bias for Goku and his cool ass Super Saiyan transformation. How come Goku gets a cool cutscene? Yes, we know. It's all it's most iconic moment in all of anime, Goku going Super Saiyan, but come on, throw Vegeta a boat. It was a super duper awesome first time transformation for him. That's up there. Alright, Big Bang Attack! One of the coolest attacks. And we missed! Shit! Oh, not that one. That one was so... Yeah, this dude was pure nightmare fuel for me growing up. This is the end for you. 
Like, everything about Goku fighting this dude was disturbing from the design of this guy. So what he was doing to Goku, like, he basically has these things in his hands that allow him to, like, siphon energy from the person he's fighting. And he makes Goku, like, he completely saps his energy. And to make matters worse, Goku's already dying of a heart virus. So he gets completely bodied in this fight. And then Vegeta shows up out of nowhere. He wasn't even on Earth. He was, like, training on the moon. He's like, guess what, guys? I'm back. And I can become a Super Saiyan, too. Get Fox. <laughs> Super based. Yeah, do not bother. It is futile. That was his freak's line, right? You can run, but you can't hide, Android Curse 20. Robot. He escaped away faster than I thought. After witnessing Vegeta destroy Android 19, Android 20 flees. It then comes to light that 20 was Jiro all along. Vegeta pursues Dr. Jiro as he heads towards his laboratory, but... Dr. Jiro seals his own fate when he awakens Android 17 and 18. As soon as they come online, they put a swift end to their creator. Rip. They then proceed to boot up Android 16, another model. Now a team of three, the androids depart for a place where Vegeta and the others won't find them. Vegeta catches up with the androids and lands before them. Well, well. Not the sort of place I expected to find you three. But it'll have to do. Your leaving all of a sudden got me curious, I'll admit. Where is your destination? Goku's house, wherever it is. To kill him. Base. Just as I thought. But you're never going to get there. Because I, Vegeta, shall crush you here and now. Better believe it. Hey guys, Vegeta seems to be pretty cocky, doesn't he? It must be a Saiyan thing. They always talk wow, racist. Such a big talk, and then they end up dying so fast. It's a shame. You shut your mouth, you disrespectful toy! <laughs> I'll rip all three of you to pieces. Who's first? Disrespectful toy. Let's play. Just you and me. Alright. Bring it on, washing machine. Holy shit. Did he not? Ow. Nice try. I don't wanna. That's right. Damn puppet. I can't even tell if she's taking any damage. Hey, I remember that move from I think it was in Tenkaichi 3 as well. It's almost one to one. His Tenkaichi counterpart. That's right. Do the feasting of them eyes, Missy. I am very pissy. Maximum Flasher. Doesn't sound sus at all. Do not remember that move. Definitely not one of the iconic ones for Vegeta's. I want to say. Honestly, it's most of the, like, basic attacks that he does that are, like, very iconic looking, like, the one, like, leg kick attack, where he, you know, Two. punches up with both legs. Quite a kickboxer, honestly. I didn't even really put this together, but yeah, Vegito, the Patara fusion between Vegeta and Goku, like, definitely gets the kickboxing from Vegeta. There's got to be more to my power than this! 
Swearing to defeat the androids during their next encounter, Vegeta asks Bulma to make him a training battle suit. Vegeta then asks Goku, who has awakened after recovering from his heart virus, about the hyperbolic time chamber. After receiving the battle suit from Bulma, Vegeta heads into the chamber with Trunks in order to train. To test his individual strength and overcome his limits, Vegeta asks Trunks to be his sparring partner. Should I show my father my new transformation? Or would that be too damaging to his pride? Boy. Come now, let's not waste any time, boy. Spar with me. I I'd be honored to, it's just... Should I keep it to myself? Or show him what I can really do? Hurry up! You better not hold back even the slightest bit. Whatever you want. Kind of surprised this one in the trunks arc. Yeah, that's what I've been saying is like, I really wish we got to play as this. This is like my favorite version of trunks. The Dragon Ball Z version of trunks from the Android saga. I mean, look at him. But okay, the fact that he's in the game, let's go. So you're telling me there's a chance we get to play as him? All right, I knew it. Let's go, man. That's kind of sick. So there are different variations of Trunks. Like, there are different variations of Goku. I guess there's this Dragon Ball Z variation of him. And then the version we played from Dragon Ball Super. Which is set after all of this. But yeah, this is definitely my favorite Trunks. Maybe I just shouldn't bother after all. Not this, like, specific, specific one, but... When he first shows up in the story from the future to tell Goku about his heart virus and shit and gives him the medication and has a sword and stuff. This Trunks is super cool as well. Ow. But yeah, there are a lot of fights they could have made for future Trunks from this saga. Like the, um, like him coming back to Earth and killing Frieza. Uh, See if you can take this. the fight again between him and Cell that's about to happen. Very weird that they didn't, maybe there's going to be, hmm, I might be on Hopium here, but maybe he gets to play as this version of Trunks as a separate story. We'll see. Was tougher than I thought. I need to keep pushing myself harder and harder. Bax, your son is surpassing you. Cannot allow it. After finishing their training, Vegeta and Trunks learn that Cell has absorbed 17 and they hurry to Cell's current location. An evil grin drifts across Vegeta's face as he descends in front of the transformed cell. Now, watch closely, cell, because I'm about to wipe that disgusting smirk off that face of yours! Please give me a what-if battle here where Vegeta kills him. You're not Vegeta. You're not. You've changed. You've become something else! That's right! I am Super Vegeta! A slightly more buff version of Super Saiyan 1 Vegeta. <laughs> slightly more swole version. And this whole part of the story is basically Vegeta and his son Trunks getting very, very swole to fight Cell. This sadly to no avail. Unless they gave us a what-if scenario here. Which would be super dope. Let's see if you can withstand this! Final flash. Okay, that's cool. He gets Final Flash in the Swole Super Saiyan version. Alright. Just like in the third game. Charge up slower underwater. Spirit breaking cannon. Let me show you. Sounds for kind of familiar. Too slow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, okay, that's kind of cool. So close. A few more moments, and I would have achieved my perfect form. Now hold on. Do you actually believe this perfect form of yours could make the slightest bit of difference against me? I, I, I know it would. <laughs> His voice. I would ultimate power. You wouldn't even stand a chance against me. All right, then. I'll allow myself to be goaded into your trap. Go on. Obtain your so-called perfect form. Yep, top 10 worst mistakes that Vegeta made. He let his pride get in the way and let Cell transform, thinking he could still beat him, and he had to, like, beat his son's ass to get him out of the way from stopping him from letting Cell transform. He's kind of fucked up. Definitely some, uh, father-son issues here. Oh, God. I'm sorry, my boy. But not really, because I need to do this to progress the game. Oh, they say they, they hate the, the the game. Yeah, not not the player. This is the end for you. Ow. Ow. Let's see if you can withstand this. And these McDonald's fries looking ass hair strands. And that. God damn. Hey! You've been spotted! Run for it! Now! <laughs> Obliterated our son into molecules. It sounded like he was yelling hey in response to that, but he's actually yelling at Android 18 to get the hell out of there. The cell's about to absorb her. You're making a mistake, father. We can't let Cell reach his perfect form. I've already seen one future ruined. I'm not going to stand here and watch it happen again. I'm putting an end to this, even if that means I have to go through you. Is that so? <laughs> Who are you trying to fool? You're too soft-hearted to attack your own father. <clears throat> you dare take up arms against your father, boy? So, he actually did it. Cell really is transforming. Now we'll see if this perfect form of his <laughs> is everything he made it out to be. 18 just gets absorbed off screen. Okay, good. Because that absorption scene is fucked up. It's traumatizing. I think we already saw it too from in, in Goku's story. Is he going to say the thing? Again. <laughs> so this is what you wanted to achieve so desperately? Perfectly ordinary is more like it. Did swatting that little pest make you feel all big and strong? I hope so, because that was the last taste of victory you're ever going to enjoy. I suppose we'll see about that. But for now, I wonder if you would be so good as to assist me in warming up. I mean, he didn't say the thing from Goku's sure. story. Just know I'll be turning up the heat rather quick. Look at my perfect form. It's I'm perfect. I'm terrified. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's a lot more with this game from. Ow. This is the end for you. Spooky. Shut up, bug. Ow. Sorry I called you that. Where's my ultimate? Let me show you. I'm getting scammed by the game. I have full sparking, as you can see. To a corner, forcing me to use a barrier. Oh, God. Oh, good. Big spraying attack. 
No, you're not. Because we didn't use that move. We're saying that without us having used the move, which says, I am Super Vegeta. So stop lying. <laughs> hey. No, <laughs> go <laughs> You'll love to see the Dragon Ball cheese. Doesn't matter how old you get, man, it's just, it just never loses that charming nature. Vegeta's power exceeds Cell's perfect form, and Cell is finally defeated for good. No, he's not. Vegeta realizes that the powers and physical strength he has gained from training the hyperbolic time chamber are the answer. Ha! Do you see now, Kakarot? This is the power of Super Vegeta! Having proven his strength, Vegeta is now determined to continue training and pursue even greater heights. Fake news. That wasn't meant to happen. Let me guess. We were meant to beat him slower than we did that time, right? <laughs> okay, wait, what the hell is all this? What? Huh. Yeah, because we're missing huge-ass chunks that happen in between with the other characters. But I just assume the game glossed over those, like, as usual. But no, apparently this is a route we could have taken too. Alright, defeat Android 18. And if you can't beat them in the elapsed time... You go there, which is what happens to the anime, right? Okay. True, true. Did this. Oops, I should have gone into go the story map. So you can actually see the the progression via the other characters on any character story map. So you can see what like Yeah, we defeated Cell, which is not meant to happen. That happens if you beat him fast. Okay, we'll go forward with this stuff again. And then go back later to see the other what if thing. If we didn't beat the androids fast enough, what would have happened? Okay, even in Super Saiyan form, Vegeta's lost to the androids and cannot hide his frustration. Uh. Trains with Trunks. When they finish, Vegeta and Trunks leave to battle Cell. Even after Cell is absorbed 17 and grown stronger, Vegeta smiles with certainty that his own training makes him superior. Now, watch closely, Cell. Okay, yeah. Well, because I'm about to. Seen all this. Huh. Oh, damn. Okay, I see. So I have to do this battle again in order to get to the perfect cell battle. 
part of the same fight, I guess. But when we get to the perfect cell battle, I need to, like, ensure that I don't finish it in time, aka I get cell to defeat me. So we can continue the story as normal. Because, yeah, Vegeta is not meant to win against Cell there. I was so close. A few more moments, and I would have achieved my perfect form. Now, hold on. Do you actually believe this perfect form of yours can make the slightest bit of difference against me? I know. Going down. I don't think so. I, I, I know it would. I would have the ultimate power. You wouldn't even. <laughs> Wait, says a line never gets old. All right, then. I'll allow myself to be goaded into your trap. Go on, obtain your so-called perfect form. Father, no! Stay aside, trunks. boy. Damn it. Back here, boy. I'm Super Vegeta for real. Punch, punch, kick, kick, punch, punch. Let's uh, see. I know. What the? Very cool and uh, cruel. Hey, you've been spotted. Run for it now. <laughs> Metal Gear exclamation sound place. So it is a different battle, though. Like we couldn't access the perfect cell one on the map. Seemingly. You're making a mistake, Father. We can't. Unless let I'm cell wrong. Okay, battle details. Defeat Cell with a final flash. Or defeat Cell quickly. What did we do last time? Shit. I said unable to beat in given time, so... So I guess we gotta beat him quickly instead of with the final flash. There's a lot more with this Oh, we can't even do Final Flash, I just realized. There's a lot more with this game. That's probably gonna beat us here. I think we have to progress the fight far enough to where we can use a final flash. I don't know. All right. He beats us. 
And I mean, it is what happens, right? Come on. Is that? This is the end for you. Forget it. Punch, 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 punch. Even get to the point where he can use Final Flash. The way this is going, uh -huh. I have no other choice but to use my Final Flash. Cell, you have mocked me for the last time. Do you truly believe your power Here we is go. superior to mine? This is starting to sound familiar. If you have the guts to put it to the test. Let's see if you're strong enough to withstand this. Yeah. Oh, uh, we weren't strong enough to withstand that, that's for sure. Wait. Is that battle special mission complete? Highly doubt that. Oh god. You've backed me into a corner, forcing me to use a barrier. Ah! And I will block that barrier. There's a lot more where this came from. Coming at you. Definitely take that. are being shown. Very nice. The way this is going, I have no other choice but to use my final flash. Cell! You have mocked me for the last time! Do you truly believe your power is far superior to mine? Final flash! If you have the guts to put it to the test, let's see if you're strong enough to withstand this. Let's see. If you All right, there you are. This. Hoping that's not what we did last time. Well, that certainly left a mark, didn't it? 
Serves you right. Okay, okay, okay. Sweet. There we go. Even Super Vegeta's final flash is not enough to defeat Cell. Soon Vegeta collapses under Cell's furious attacks. Trunks attempts to come to the unconscious Vegeta's aid, but he is defeated by Cell without managing to land a single blow. Cell then prepares the Cell game's battlefield and leaves the scene. And then Gohan kills him. Bye bye During the Cell games, Goku dies protecting the Earth from Cell's self-destruct. However, his son, Gohan, emerges victorious against the monster. Seeing his rival perish, Vegeta loses his purpose for fighting. However, on the day Trunks leaves to return to the future, Vegeta shows up to bid his son an awkward farewell. Okie dokes. And then there's the Boo arc. Oops, that means lower the difficulty. Episode map. Wait, so why can't we... Oh, we can start it. I'm stupid. I wish you could, like, zoom out and see... We morph it. So, yeah, blue means cutscene. And there was a branching path here. What was this branching path? Defeat 18, wear down trunks. Some kind of other path there too, what? Interesting. Dude, there are so many what-ifs in this game. Holy crap. It's kind of cool. Very, very cool. And for that, we just defeated Saul quickly. Okay, you know what I'm going to do, guys? This is, this is a pretty long story mode, right? Lots of characters, lots of paths and stuff. I think I'll play on a lower difficulty just to kind of, like, get through some of the um, regular battles, like, faster. So we can cover the characters faster and stuff. And then, whenever, and then we can, like, look at the episode map and go, okay, those are the places where they're, like, branching paths. And for those, we need to do the secondary objectives. And then we'll, like, crank the difficulty back up to, uh... No matter the be opinion, able to do those secondary objectives. Alright, start of the Boo arc. Sometime after Gohan defeats Cell, the now grown-up Gohan travels to meet Vegeta and discuss participating in the World Tournament. Vegeta agrees to take part in the tournament. Goku, who is in the other world, also decides to participate. In order to beat Goku at the World Tournament, Vegeta begins training with his son Trunks. Okay, if you can punch me in the face, I promise I'll take you to that amusement park you're always going on about. Really? You mean it? Here I come! Now let's just see what you can do. What am I, kiddo? He may be a super saiyan, but he's still a child. No way in hell I'm letting myself get hit. Very neat. Let's go. It's gonna be fun. 
Vegeta in his Majin Buu arc attire and Majin Buu arc moveset. Now if you can beat my ass first, or if I can beat yours. Damn, that's a little harsh, don't you think, Vegeta? <laughs> yeah, he's a Disneyland dad now. <laughs> he's a certified Earthling. At the World Tournament, Vegeta reunites with Goku. As a result of the draw, Vegeta is due to fight Goku in the first round and is finally able to take joy in battle. However, during Gohan's first battle, Yamu and Spopovich invade the battle invade, invade the battlefield and take to the skies at Gohan's stolen energy. Vegeta immediately joins Goku in following Spopovich's trail. Before long, Yamu and Spopovich are killed by Bobbity, and Dabura has turned Piccolo and Krillin to stone. To turn Krillin back from stone, Vegeta and the others follow Dabura and fight him. But as Vegeta watches Daburo and Gohan fight, he becomes frustrated at not being able to fight Goku at the World Tournament. So Daburo and Babidi seize on Vegeta's selfish desires. Submit your mind and body to me! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor Vegeta. He got possessed. Babidi's using the evil in your heart to control. I'm looking at the you. ground. Clear your mind. Remove all thoughts from your head. Sh shut your mouth! You, you know nothing! Yes, yes. Rude. Now you belong to me! <laughs> now that you're under my control, I shall push your power past its limits! Yeah! Limit breaking is fun. But not being under Bobbity's control, that's, that's not very fun. Because then this shit happens. Get an N M tattooed on your forehead in uh, Berlin Sans font. To gain the opportunity to fight Goku, Vegeta lets Bobbity's spell take over. After Bobbity's magic teleports into the World Tournament, Vegeta shows his intent by ravaging the stadium. Bobbity, move us to some place where there's no one else around. I'll give Vegeta the fight he wants, but not here. If they keep fighting in the in the arena, countless people will die. Realizing this, Goku agrees to fight Vegeta, but demands a change of location. After finding a place where there are no humans or animals, Goku and Vegeta assume fighting stances. Babidi tries to manipulate Vegeta into killing Supreme Kai, but Vegeta is determined to fight Goku and rebels against his influence. Let's go! It'll be over soon enough when I kill you! You know, it's pretty amazing. Hey, well, I've been in other actually show them fighting in a cutscene. And yet here we are now. You and I are evenly matched. What does it matter? Your inborn talents have still placed you out of my reach. Even after all these years, that remains the same. I wanted to go back to the cold-blooded Saiyan I'd been in the beginning. The one who didn't care about anything but besting you in one-on-one -on -one combat. But surrendering to Bobbity's magic was a price I was willing to pay if it meant I could be my old self again. And as a result, I've never felt better. He let himself get possessed. Dun dun dun. That isn't true, and you know it, Vegeta. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Guess I'm winning this one, Kakarot. I like the music. Ow. Margin's awakening. Oh yeah. Infinity Flasher. See this shit. This is crazy, so Majin Vegeta is his own character in this too? That's kind of awesome. Yeah, that 
Reminds me of some of the older Budokai games. Like uh, Shin Budokai on the PSP. I used to play Majin Vegeta on that a lot. That's badass. Vegeta, wait! Do you feel that? That, that huge energy? Majin Vegeta. He must have finally been revived. Ow! Their foot clipped through my face, Kakarot. Rude. After being told that Majin Buu will kill everyone, Vegeta had no choice but to drop his fight with Goku. Goku says that if they flash as one, he is sure they can take out Majin Buu. Vegeta feels responsible for awakening Majin Buu, and after knocking Goku unconscious, he departs to confront the villain, determined to fight to the death. When, Vegeta, when, when, blah, blah, blah. when Vegeta arrives in front of Majin Buu, Gohan's key has already faded. Sag. So, is that pink blob with the cape Majin Buu? Well then, you're going to pay for what you did to Kakarot's son! <laughs> it just means you're big and ugly. I love Boo. That made Boo angry! So Boo make you dead! I'm Based. not going to hell alone. I'm taking you along for the ride! <laughs> Yo, Trax, what's going on, man? How are you doing? How's your Friday? And some spark and zero. And uh, trying my best to feel like a hero. Although it's kind of hard to get there. Just woke up from an old man nap. Nice nap. Sounds nice. Let's get a big nap after this stream. The nap of the sleeping at night kind. That's kind of nap. Very cool. You must die. You nuisance. Did we that hit him? I assume so. Ouch. I'm back here, you. This is You're dead. Is he though? Undead, just slightly bruised. That works. In a way, lowering the difficulty is kind of like... It weirdly helps in the sense of like... Being able to identify what's an optional objective and what isn't, right? I, you know, like, I'd, I'd assume carry you towards the finish line more effectively. Like, you, you basically have no chance of accidentally completing an optional objective, which somehow is a thing in this game. Case in point, the whole cell thing. regenerating any wound, then defeating him in battle may be impossible. Sit your ass down. Vegeta faces the fact that he cannot defeat Boo with his normal combat power and is left with no choice but to put his life on the line. Turning to Trunks, who came to his aid, Vegeta gives his son a few final words. Trunks, listen. Take good care of your mother. Take care of your mom. What do you mean by that, Dad? Why are you telling me Don't to take, take care of Don't take care of Kakarot's son. Because we all hate Kakarot. You know... You do your the homework. You were a little baby, I've never once hugged you, because I always wanted to make you a tougher man. Huh? Come here, son. Wait, Dad? What? Hey, cut it out! 
You're embarrassing me. Take care, Trunks. All right? <laughs> For some reason, I always found it so funny. Well, it comes out of nowhere. Deal with you just in time. Goodbye to you all. Boma. Trunks. And yes, even you, Kakarot. One of Vegeta's finest moments. An anime classic. Vegeta has sacrificed his life in a battle with Majin Buu, but King Yama decides not to send him in hell, just in case. Instead, Vegeta is taken back to Earth by fortune teller Baba. Vegeta arrives to assist in the battle against Majin Buu. Goku suggests that the two of them fuse using the Batara. I love how, like, and I said this last time too, with the breakneck pace of this game, there's absolutely no emotional impact, right? One second he's making this noble sacrifice, the next he's like, he's come back to life, and they're back to fighting Buu like nothing happened. It's kind of funny. You let me win, so you could keep the secret of Super Saiyan 3 to yourself! She's just awkwardly holding the earring. Then maybe this will convince you! Boo has absorbed every person we've ever cared about! Krillin! And Chi Chi too! Even Bulma! Piccolo! My sons, Gohan and Goten! And your son, Trunks! They're all trapped in Majin Boo! Very true. They're in Boo. <gasps> Fuck. That's fucked. Vegeta! Hello? Theory, Where's Bo? Here. Now, what are you waiting for? Alright, let's do this. Me. Thank you, Vegeta. Probably gonna do the same exact fight from Goku's story. But hey, who the hell's complaining about that? I'm Vegeta. Can never get enough of Vegito. Guess that makes me Vegeta. And this. Get ready for this. Super Vegito! This Super Vegito! Let's go! What the hell is this? Kamehameha! Very nice. Not so nice. I'm coming at you, boo. Want some candy? Here's some candy. After image strike. Check that out. Ooh. If you really want to dole out some damage, watch and learn. I know. Here comes the biggie. I've had just about enough fun for one day. So I'm going to give you ten seconds to say your prayers before I wrap this up. Can you be on alive? Thank you. At least for this one battle. And then come back to life for the cutscene. Cool beans? He angry. Vegito allows Majin Buu to absorb him, and the fusion dissolves inside Buu's body. They are once again Goku and Vegeta. Inside Majin Buu's body, Vegeta and Goku successfully rescue Gohan and the others. Furthermore, Vegeta and Goku find the very first Majin Buu, release him, and escape from inside Goku's body, which we will not show because it's very graphic and gross. However, that leads Majin Buu to transform once again, this time into an embodiment of evil itself. Not beyond anyone's control, Majin Buu destroys Earth! Goku uses instant transmission to take everyone to the land of the Kais, but Vegeta is angry at Goku for rescuing Mr. Satan and the others instead of Gohan and their friends. When the Supreme Kai again gives them the Patara for their fight against Majin Buu, Vegeta refuses, saying he wants to fight with his own strength. 
who follows Vegeta and, and friends to the land of the Kais after telling Dende and the others to run. Vegeta and friends prepare for their final clash with Boo. All right, what do you say we get this thing started and see just what everyone can do? Good. Who's up Good. first? I'll fight you for it. Rock, paper, scissors! Shoot. Oh shit, what does he choose again? That's cool that there's a what-if scenario here. Rock, but what if Kakarot picks paper, scissors? Okay, we're going with paper. Or no, we're going with scissors. Because a prince of all Saiyans cuts through planets like paper. But scissors. Shoot! Shoot! I win! Oh yeah! Okay. God damn it all! All right, time to hit him with everything I've got. Because if we lose this one, then the whole universe is history. I want to see this Super Saiyan 3 of yours. Okay, so this is canon. He chose the canon option. I totally forgot they duke it out in rock, paper, scissors, right? Our final battle has begun. With the fate of the entire universe riding on the outcome. Let's just end there then. <laughs> your strength is truly amazing, Kakarot. I've always been like this, ever since the cool, day I cool. first met you. You were prepared to meet a challenge, even when it was bigger than you We see you his were. respect speech, and uh, once again, but in the form of a cutscene, a montage, that's cool. We got to, to fight, win. this is Goku. Only to test your limits and become the strongest you could possibly be. How can you say and fight with such power, and at the same time be so gentle? Perhaps it's my anger that made me blind to the truth for so long. Hang in there, Kakarot. You are number one. You are the best. I wish he said that. That's what he says. Even Super Saiyan 3 Goku cannot defeat Majin Buu. Goku is confident that he can do away with his opponents if he can build up his key to the limit. However, he tells Vegeta that he cannot find an opportunity to do so. To get Goku time to build up his key, Vegeta goes Super Saiyan and confronts Stay alive, Boo. Vegeta. Thanks, but I'm already dead. <laughs> True that. Impudent scum! Yeah! We're gonna actually do this battle where Vegeta uh, buys Goku some time. Uh, an attack this fast and powerful. I won't be able to withstand it for very long! What's taking you so long? Here we go. Battle time? Question mark? Battle time. Get out of my way, kiddo. Back here. Is that all you got? Princess Kid. Did she hit like an old man? I'm gonna miss that. No, I'm not. Psych. Eat this. Holy shit. That was a pretty epic clash. That I missed. Da da da! Ba! Da da grab! Eat this! Hang on, sorry, random thought. Does it tell us the secondary if, um. No, it doesn't. It's fine. 
Yeah, I'm glad we reduced the difficulty because now we have no chance, like I said earlier, of doing the secondary by accident, which, believe it or not, is a thing we have done before. The optional alternate objective. And that, which has led to confusion, so... I'm just gonna play this like it's a regular DBZ campaign. And we'll, like, go back and look at the alternate path stuff later. The what-if scenario. That has to do with the alternate objective. The ones that are there, like, presented to you in the dialogue choices. You know, obviously, like, look at whenever. Vegeta tries to buy time, but Majin Buu defeats him. It is now that Mr. Satan appears and declares that he will vanquish Majin Buu himself. Seeing this, Majin Buu attempts to kill Mr. Satan. But, and to all my Dragon Ball Z newcomers, Mr. Satan is the most powerful being in the universe, so he'll have no chance, and I'm totally not lying to you. I lied to you. Mr. Satan does not last long. Goku, who is supposed to have been building up his key, gets exhausted and in turn cannot sustain his transformation. Vegeta smiles, smiles wryly, realizing that the tide has turned against them, but he also has an idea. He issues orders to Dende and the others and gathers the Namekian Dragon Balls. Vegeta then proceeds to revive Earth and all the people killed by Majin Buu. However, Goku has yet to realize what Vegeta is thinking. The plan is underway. It's time for you to create a spirit bomb. Spirit Wait, bam time. Your big plan is you want me to make a spirit bomb? Spirit bam. But even if we had enough time to gather the energy for it, it might not be enough to beat Buu. No, the Earthlings will save themselves for once by contributing every ounce of spirit energy they have. Spring Kai, I need to make an Spring announcement Kai. that every person on Earth will hear. Can you make that happen? Don't worry, I'll do it. It's kind of my question. Okay, guys, it's all set. And you can speak not to just Earth, but the whole universe if you want. All right. That's more like it. And ahead, Bob, while you say so all that, King Kai. Earth. Can you hear me? Please listen closely. As I speak, a great warrior is fighting Majin Buu on behalf of all Earthlings. But despite his bravery, the odds are against him. We need your help. Raise your hands in the air and offer your spirit energy to help us defeat Buu once and for all. Hey, hardly anyone from outside our circle of friends is giving us their energy. We can't blame them. You're essentially asking them to like this is to take their lives, take their own lives by giving you their energy. Kakarot, they already just I'll died and came back. Over here, Majin Boo. Ouch. Don't aim that on the ground, Vegeta. Sag. Get over here. <laughs> help or would you rather ignore the request of the great Mr. Satan? I love this. So for those who don't know, Mr. Satan is like the world's biggest fraud. Like, he's convinced the entire world he's like a celebrity, that he's like the strongest, and that he defeated Cell and shit. And no one's listening to Goku and Vegeta asking them for their energy to de help defeat Boo. But they only start listening when they hear Mr. Satan asking for it. One of my favorite aspects of this whole thing. This is the <laughs> yeah, the cloud power, that's exactly it. It's <laughs> timing on that voice line, that's funny. Almost like Vegeta was saying that himself. They also first time he heard Mr. Satan too. Or as I like to call him Hercule. I was used to calling him Hercule growing up. Because in some versions they censored his name for Mr. Satan <laughs> for obvious reasons. 
to uh, Hercule. It's kind of funny. Thanks to Mr. Satan's plea, they succeed in collecting enough key from everyone on Bro, Earth. Evil behind the way already. Bro, that's the way. Let's go. Nice work, Mr. Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking never change, DBZ. Goku's last words before tossing the spirit bomb. All, all references to hell and unholy Terrible. shit. Thank you, Mr. Satan. Go to hell. <laughs> Although the spirit bomb proved successful, Goku lacks the power to land a hit on Majin Buu. Goku, we used Purunga's third wish to heal you. You should be able to power up. Thank you, Dragon Balls. Saved by the power of the Dragon Nuts. And everyone lived happily ever after. Goku's spirit bomb completely erases the evil Majin Buu. Vegeta and the others are ready to return to Earth after having their injuries healed. Having been revived by the Dragon Balls, the friends embrace the victorious Goku and Vegeta. You rule, Dad! Who'd have thought Vegeta would be such a gifted speaker? Oh, that's my husband for you. You're welcome, my Earthling family. Or my half-Earthling, half-Saiyan son, and my Earthling wife. Thus, peace returns to Earth, and perhaps Vegeta will continue to fight for something. Hopefully, he'll continue to be a good guy. But she does. Okay. So, that was the Boo arc. Uh, who? Fascinating. There's nothing... No way. There's no Dragon Ball Super content for Vegeta in the story? Or is that just because I'm missing some paths? There's no, like, that can't be it. Surely you don't have to do any alternate paths to get to, like, the next major saga. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about it, right? Like, granted, I'm not, like, super, like, I've been saying, well-versed with super. Like, I've not seen the anime. I don't know, like, everything about it and every single battle that takes place. But going off of what I remember from what this game presented, I think there were, like, one or two fights that... They explained Vegeta took part in during Dragon Ball Super, especially the Tournament of Power that we didn't get to see. So I thought we would be getting to experience those fights and more as Vegeta, but huh. apparently he doesn't have a super arc. Interesting, interesting. What's the question mark one? Oh yeah, probably if we chose the other options during Rock, Paper, Scissors. Right. I'm curious. What did we choose last time? I think it was Scissors. No matter the opponent, I never lose. Let's try and beat Goku during uh, RPS. Impudent scum! Or not? Wait, what? Oh, my bad, my bad. I selected a fight with an alternate objective for the branching path. Uh, this is the one I wanted to choose. People, people, game of rock, paper, scissors. Let's see what the what is scenario here. What if Vegeta has to fight him first and not Goku? All right. What do you say we get? Rock, scissors. We chose scissors, right? Wait, is this actually giving us the answer? Is it hinting at the answer? Because Rock is like, what if Kakarot picks paper? So he might pick paper. Scissors, I have my doubts about this meaning. He's gonna pick Rock. Paper, will that truly be the right pick? Meaning, it will be the right pick. Could that be what's happening here? Is it actually giving me hints to the answer? Shoot! I was right! Let's go! Why don't you allow me, Kakarot? Prepare yourself, Majin Buu! This time, I'm eradicating you for good! Alright, let's check out this what-if scenario. Non-canon content incoming. I'm shaking all over. Having this battle makes me feel something that resembles joy, I think. I hear the what-if scenarios are the best parts about this game's story mode, so I, I would like to do as many of them as we can. 
especially the ones let's focus on the ones via the dialogue options because as we've established unfortunately some of the ones via the alternate objectives are just too much of a hassle not because they're difficult it's just the game doesn't tell you exactly what you have to do right which is kind of a shame it just says do it quickly okay what does that mean right how quickly and some of them are very very difficult right like the uh trunks one <laughs> which we heard a lot of horror stories about shut up kakarot Oh, so you know what this is? Like, we never hear Vegeta's respect speech with this um, alternate path, right? With this what-if scenario, which is enough to make it a what-if scenario. Just not hearing Vegeta praise Goku and put his ego aside. Even Super Saiyan 3, Goku cannot defeat Majin Buu. Goku is confident that he can do away with his opponent if he can build up his key to the limit. Okay, this stuff is the same so far. Stay alive. Thanks. Shit, wait, no, now it just goes in the same direction. Impudence. Yeah, we've seen all this. We've seen all this. Okay. So, the rest is the same. Only difference is Vegeta fought him first. And Goku never received his respect speech from Vegeta. Okay. I guess I should quit then, unless maybe there's a surprise waiting for me. Usually you see the immediate aftermath of the uh, what is scenario, so yeah, I'll quit. And also, uh, kind of a giveaway that this isn't going anywhere. This was never even presented as a what is scenario, right? Even though you do get the three dialogue options, giving you the illusion of, you know, going for one of those scenarios. Actually, doesn't give you one. Uh, fascinating. And you think we can establish that just because there's a dialogue option doesn't mean, or multiple dialogue options, doesn't mean that you have what is scenarios. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that was, let's see, episode map. Oh, Vegeta's Wicked Heart. This one has a branching path to it. Unable to defeat in elapsed time, and you go to that one. Okay, well, um, yeah, we'll check out all this branching stuff later. I think I'm done with Vegeta for now. That is canon path. No super stuff, which is kind of a shame for Vegeta, but that, that is what it is. We already got a good dose of all that. Then we'll go through Vegeta. Is there new Trunks content? Question mark? Maybe from the... Cell Saga, or am I on Hopium? Wait, what? Huh? Oh no, we've done this. My bad. I got excited! God dang it, I thought that was something different. All right, let's go Gohan. Cool, let's get underway. What? So, is it gonna start with him as a kid? We're gonna get to play as multiple different uh, Gohans, like Kid Gohan, Teen Gohan, Adult Gohan. Oh, interesting, okay. Oh wait, what? It starts at the Cell Saga. Gohan was determined to train like never before in the hyperbolic time chamber with his father. And all of these actions stemmed from the words of a mysterious young man. 
Three years ago, when Gohan and the others had safely returned to Earth, Frieza, who survived the last battle on planet Namek, descended onto Earth with his army. Gohan and friends detected Frieza's key and arrived immediately, but they found not just Frieza, but a mysterious young man as well. Who slicey diced Frieza. That's what I was talking about. Now that's the go to Trunks. That's best Trunks. The boy transformed into a Super Saiyan and annihilated the entire Frieza force instantly. Not only that, but he also predicted the place and time when Goku would return to Earth. When Goku had a when Goku arrived as foretold, he gave him a message, then left. He gave a message that too much bacon will destroy his heart. His message was that androids would appear and attack the Earth in three years' time, and sure enough, the androids appeared and began attacking humans! To make matters worse, Goku collapsed from heart fires during the ensuing battle. As even more new androids awakened, the situation changed rapidly, and several days passed before Goku finally regained consciousness. At Goku's suggestion, he and Gohan decided to train in the hyperbolic time chamber. Wow, it's so bright in here. And my body feels heavy. It's kind of hard to breathe. Yep, and not only that, but once this door is closed, we're completely cut off from contact with the outside world. Okay, Dad. Go take a look out back. That's the training area. You'll see the reason why I barely made it a month in here when I was a kid. We're gonna get to see that? Is there a Dragon Ball story? Oh, Maybe in a future update crazy. DLC. <laughs> How could this be inside a room? It's bigger than the whole lookout. It's just a huge empty space. And it goes on and on like this in every direction. Try not to wander off too far, okay? You might not be able to find your way back. Yeah, right. And we we've gotta stay a year, huh? Come on, we've gotta get to work right away. First off, we should get started on turning you into a Super Saiyan. Sure, Daddy. Super Saiyan? Me? I don't know. I mean, do you really think I can? Well, sure, why not? I can do it, and you're my son, aren't you? We'll spend some time teaching you how to transform, and then we'll be able to get into the real training. Training time. <laughs> Told you. Pretty intense, right? Gravity training takes some getting used to if you've never done it before. Just keep at it, your body will adjust. Okay, Dad. It's funny, I actually remember like when I would watch DBZ as a kid, they just sound like really cringe. But I was like eight or nine and used to watch like DBZ all the time. I think Gohan's like what, like eleven years old here? I used to be so jealous, I was like this kid can do all this cool shit. Why can't I do all the, like, become Super Saiyan and shit? I, I hate Gohan. I had, like, I was kind of, like, hateful towards Gohan, not gonna lie. Gohan was, uh, looking at me from a position of, he, they hate us because they ain't us. He was looking at me when he thought that, probably. Because I definitely hated him because I wasn't him. It feels weird to be playing as Kid Gohan again without being Super Saiyan 2 by Gohan. default, because that's his. Uh, Do this. Just gotta believe in yourself. That's who you get in Dragon right. Ball Fighters. Okie dokesies. All right, time for the coolest Gohan of all time: the Parathize Elves. While well, Goku and Gohan continue their training, Cell absorbs the other androids, reaching new heights of power. When they finish training and exit the hyperbolic time chamber, Gohan and Goku are told of a martial arts tournament, the Cell Games, to be held in nine days. The day of the Cell Games soon arrives, and warriors gather to challenge Cell in his perfect form. First person to volunteer to fight is Goku. Vegeta and the others stand in awe of the key generated by Goku and Cell. But as he looks on, Gohan notices that he alone has a different understanding of what's happening. Suddenly, Goku puts a halt to the battle. To the surprise of everyone, he announces a surrender. Yet that is not the only shocking thing he says. Time for you to take over, Gohan. Oh god, 
the, I'm the only one named Gohan here. My dad's looking at me. Uh, it's all over. Me take him on? I don't know. My dad's this definitely about to. Goku. There's no way the boy can win. <laughs> this scene right here explains why Piccolo's a better dad than Goku ever was. I'll admit, Gohan's abilities are far beyond what they used to be. But you're pitting him against a foe even you couldn't beat. Listen, you have to trust me. Gohan has a power within him that's greater than anything you could possibly imagine. So what do you think? You see me hit Cell with anything you couldn't handle? Have you seen me go at him with anything you don't have? Uh, yeah. Well, no, I don't think so. The muscle mass of a 38-year-old right? man or however the hell, hell old you are. If you were going all out. Now, I don't know about Cell, but I was giving it everything I had. You thought I was holding back because you were gauging my energy against your own. <laughs> Gohan, answer me. Is this true? Yeah. Uh, real dad, you're going to back Gohan. me up here? This is it. I need you to go out there and win this one for us, okay? Then we can all go home. No, I don't want to go get my ass beaten. Okay, dad. I'll do it. That's right, I shook there a little bit. Feeling scared. Real father of the year material right there, Goku. Ow. Okay, that didn't work out. Second time's a charm. Take that question mark. <laughs> what? So I used to go, uh, go, kid Gohan's new voice actress. These are the OG uh, English dub voice actors for Gohan and Kid Goku. Just she does a pretty good job though with this new voice actress. Right, row. Masenko. Gohan's classic move. No point. We can just stop. Look, I'm giving you the chance to end this without violence. We really don't want to kill you. Even if you are evil, you can still walk away. I'm not interested in fighting you just for the challenge. My dad's the one who cares about that stuff. For as long as I can remember, whenever I got real mad, things would happen around me that I couldn't explain. Crazy things. Yeah. Very nice, very cool. Oh, a fascinating story, but unwise to tell. If you intend to intimidate Runt, it helps to know a bit about your audience first. Case in point, let's just say for the sake of argument, it's true. You have huge reserves of power, and let's just say I'm the sort who wants to see them firsthand. As do we all. Peak Gohan incoming. Although, after Dragon Ball Super Hero, the latest film with adult Gohan who returned to peak. I don't know what's uh, peakier. Probably Super Hero Gohan. But for a long time before that movie, this was peak Gohan here who's imminent. Now interested in drawing out Gohan's true power, Cell sends him flying with a punch. Gohan fights back, but his rage has not yet conquered his will. Cell continues to inflict pain on Gohan in an attempt to draw out his hanger. Hanger. Dude, I need to, I need to sleep soon. His anger. Ah, ah. Yeah, just, just watch out, everyone. Gohan's whipping out the hanger. <laughs> Whatever that is. However, Gohan's own pain does not generate enough rage. To push him beyond his limits, Cell decides to switch his target to Goku and the others. Do not come any closer. Another hug. It is highly unlikely Hugs all around. survive such a blast. I am going to self-destruct and take Cell with me. Based. Huh? Thanks, 16. <laughs> Never mind. Such a shame, Android 16. 
But then a mere bomb wouldn't have been enough to destroy me anyway. Sixteen just shows up out of nowhere. I'm gonna oh, blow up! Sixteen looks like you joined the lengthy list of Dr. Giro's failures. Yeah, and he blew up, just not in the way that he thought. What in the world is that thing? Pay attention, little ones. Time to make them suffer. No! Gohan. It sounded painful. Listen to me. There are some foes who cannot be reasoned with. You are allowed to fight on the side of justice. Seize upon your anger. Wield it like a weapon. I understand your reluctance, but holding it in is pointless. That is sound advice. Better than I expected from an appliance. But I'd much rather tear the rage out of him. Go on. I love the animals and everything about nature. Protect them for me. They need you. <laughs> Poor Gohan. Poor 16. It's time to can it, you worthless scrap. I also found it funny how 16 was the reason Gohan became Super Saiyan 2. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first character to go above and beyond a regular Super Saiyan. So your true power has finally revealed even before Goku, now we his very own flesh and blood. His son, the man that met the Gohan. Damn, that is a super duper Masenko. Yeah, that was kind of sick. Super Saiyan 2, Gohan badass as always. Ow! Don't get comfortable, boy. Even with luck on Can your I though? Side, Can I? Pretty please? Me, you're hardly in your favor. You're wrong. Yes, that's the spirit. Too bad you're going to lose it once you witness me in all my terrifying glory. Wee! <laughs> punch, 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 punch. Kick, kick, kick. Ow. Get back here, bug. Eat this! Right in your perfect face. Which isn't so perfect after all. Once again. Let's go. How is this possible? How can anyone on this measly planet possess so much power? Cause enemy reasons. Go on! What are you doing? Finish him! It's all up to you! What, do you want me to end it already? <laughs> I'm not letting him off that easy. He deserves to feel the same pain he put all his victims through. Oh, and that's the same in you talking. Reclaim your humanity. Reject monkey, reject Saiyan. Embrace humanity. Am I seeing things or did he just puke up 18? I think he did. Game didn't show me the animation, so no, I don't know I if he did, but I'd sorry. rather not see that. Even yeah, though I've seen it in the anime and my brain is forever cursed because of it. That's right, you can't say the, the B word cell. That's too non PG. In a few moments. I'll blow myself to bits. <laughs> I might die, but then so will all of you. 
This planet will explode in a burst of flame! A flame! <laughs> And the rest is history. Goku teleported himself away with big fat explodey cell. I've killed us. It's all my fault. I could have finished him, but I didn't. Nope, he's still there, actually. I know that look. Sorry, I've thought this over, guys. Well, any way you slice it, there's only one way to save. Look <laughs> how they're playing the same cutscene again from Goku's story. It's just that if we try first person now, Goodbye, it's Gohan friends. looking at fat orange cell. <laughs> Goodbye. Is that a Goku looking You're at not his friends? Thinking of Goku. No! You did good today, Gohan. Made me proud. Thanks, Dad. Dad. What are you? Tell your mom I'm sorry. But I'm not gonna make it home this time. Don't worry. He just teleported his, with Cell to get the milk. His energy. It's gone with the afterlife. Trees. Rippage in peaceage, Goku. Polaroid time. But the fact that victory came at the cost of Goku's life weighs heavily on Gohan's shoulders. He cannot seem to escape the shadow of regret. But then, the ground begins to rumble. From the dust, a flash of light shoots out and pierces Trunks in the chest. Not Trunks. What appears before them is Cell, the one who has grown even more powerful than before. What the hell? When Cell self-destructed, he protected his core from damage, allowing him to regenerate. It is the revived Cell who struck down Trunks in a surprise attack. The fight begins once again. T Trunks! <laughs> Surprised to see me. Yes. Not surprised my dad dipped though again. Something amuse you? Does imminent destruction put a smile on your face? It was because of my mistake that dad had to sacrifice himself. It's my fault you put us in that position. Christmas thing is so cool, man. I'd have given anything for a chance to do it over again. Now I get one. Then let's see if you've got the power to back up your words. Luck won't be on your side. Luck won't be on my side this time? Nope, but the difficulty setting will. You won't survive this time. I am done playing games. It's time I ended this. It's interesting when you think about it, like, it. for the di various different variations, various different variations, that's funny to say, but the various different variations of Kamehameha that there are in this game, the way they've approached them is clearly like, okay, how, wait, you know, when it comes to making them all look, like, different and present them differently, they've elected to change the way that, uh, the attacks are wound up, right? Like, not the way that the Kamehameha is unleashed and that kind of thing, but just what the characters are doing before they, they start to wind up the attack and how that's presented. Which is kind of a really smart choice, you know? It makes sense, too. Like, obviously that's what you would have to do, but it's like the amount of attention they put into that stuff, which is what makes that really clear and makes each and every different variation of Kamehameha really stand out. Like what the characters do and how they wind it up that really emphasizes the gravity of the attack. Like with Gohan's here, for example. He's just like standing still, 
staring at Cell menacingly. Zooms up to show that by his expression, and then like he unleashes the attack like really fast. So like he's like, he means business. This is here to kill you. Kind of sick. That's not sick. Gotcha, bitch. Okay. I'm just gonna do that again. Jokes. Get away from me. They call me an insect. Right back at you. And that's it. Damn you! If anyone's going to defeat Cell, it's going to be me! Okay, then. A little too late for that, Vegeta. Having lost Trunks, it is do or die for Vegeta as he confronts Cell and he pours all his power into his attacks. However, even after consecutive energy blasts from Vegeta, Cell still stands unharmed. Vegeta then collapses from Cell's counterattack, just as Cell moves in for the kill. Gohan dies in at the last minute, costing him the use of his left arm. Victory is in sight for Cell, who gathered enough ki to annihilate the entire solar system, is about to fire his attack at Gohan and the others. Please, forgive me, Dad. Earth is doomed, and it's all my fault. Just as Gohan is about to give up, a voice reaches him from somewhere unknown. It is the voice of Goku, speaking to him from the outer world. Hey! Don't go giving up now! That's not the Gohan I know! Dad? What's up, Dad? Is that you? Listen to me! I promise you can beat him! You just gotta believe in yourself, Gohan! Right now, you're the strongest person in the whole universe! R right! Thanks, Dad. Here we go. I'll see you in hell! Father, son, come on a hot time. <laughs> I'll put this to rest. Goodbye! Nanny? Let's go. Honestly, my favorite part of the final beam struggle between Cell and Gohan. It's not even the the beam struggle itself, it's Vegeta distracting him from behind. This can't be. I am perfection. Quite clearly you're not. Vegeta, the true MVP. Without that distraction, Gohan would be like this, but dead. And Cell would be alive. Thanks to Gohan's victory over Cell, Earth is saved and the battle is finished. Gohan and the others suggest reviving Goku with the Dragon Balls, but that wish cannot be granted. Sag. Goku has already accepted his fate and announces that he is going to stay in the other world. Gohan and his friends have grown much from the battle. As they mourn the loss of Goku, they return to their daily life on a peaceful earth. Hey, we got Bojack. Makes sense from the uh, non-canon movie. Where Gohan has to go Super Saiyan 2 again as Kid Gohan and fight the threat that is Bojack after the Cell Saga. Okay, Majin Buu arc time. Years have passed. Gohan is no longer performing at peak male performance and is instead reading books, nerd. 
Time passes following the battle with Cell, and Gohan begins attending high school in the far away Satan City, <laughs> so I can study become a scholar. I forgot it's called Satan City, that's funny. This guy's this great Saiyan man, lover of justice. Gohan works hard to hide his true identity as he brings down evildoers while being super extra. But one day, his secret is discovered by Videl, Mr. Satan's daughter. Videl threatens to reveal Great Saiyan Man's true identity to the world if he doesn't participate in the next world tournament, so Gohan relents. Goku overhears from the world from the other world and announces that he will also take part in the world tournament, returning to the world of the living just for one day, which is 24 hours. Gohan is overjoyed, hearing he can reunite with Goku after a long period of absence, and begins training with his brother Goten to prepare for the world tournament. As he watches Videl struggle in her match with Spopovich, Gohan trembles with rage. Don't hurt my girlfriend, bitch! I don't like where this is going. It wasn't much, but that was still an energy blast he released. Don't be fooled! He won't risk being disqualified. The man's intentionally holding back. Yeah, but how? It's probably my favorite Gohan moment from the Buu Saga. Something he's done between now and the last turn. Let's come. Actually, no. Guy powers I don't way know. beyond Definitely what's not. natural to him. It's when he fights Super Buu, that's the best part. I just know something's up. Yeah. But this is up there, probably like, the second I'm best the Gohan kind moment. Of gal. Just Aren't those lyrics to a song? You fought well. it's time to throw I'm the not towel. the kind of girl who gives up just like that. Oh god. I've seen enough! That's it! Now you answer to me! What do you think you're doing, man? Keep it together! No! Definitely don't keep it together, but definitely keep those shades, Gohan. Shades with Super Saiyan 2 hits different. Ooh, what a scenario. Attempt to stop the fight. Stay calm. He attempts to stop the fight in, um... Whatchamacallit, in canon, right? Gets on up there, gets all in Spopovich's face. Man, huh? Hey, wait! Go on! <laughs> Go on! <laughs> I am taking you down. <laughs> All right. Let's dance. You gotta select the other option next time. See what happens there. This is what he does, right? He goes, fights him, gets his energy sapped. This is not over. I promise you that. Shit. I'm trying to remember where he goes. If this is where he actually goes. No, 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 no. He goes Super Saiyan 2 before this. During the Buu Saga to show uh, Kibito Kai, I think that's what his name is. Uh, what the transformation's all about. All right. Yeah, this is sick. We actually do get to keep fighting in the shades. Or not. Coming at you full force. Uh, oh God. All right, let's do it. Oh God. That's enough. Yeah, you're right, man. That is enough. <laughs> A little uh, Walking Dead reference in there. Oh god. Oh dear. When it becomes Gohan's turn to fight, he turns into a Super Saiyan in the arena, but moments later, Spobovich and Yamu interfere and drain Gohan's energy, causing him to collapse. Yeah, okay, this is all the canon shit. Gohan asks the Supreme Kai, he was on a level even higher than King Kai, to heal him. And after being healed, Gohan catches up to Goku and the others, and they continue chasing after Spopovich and Yamu. Along the way, Gohan and friends are told about Majin Buu and the wizard Babidi, 
Soon they infiltrate Bobbity's spaceship and begin battling his subordinates. Let me guess, they're gonna jump all the way to go on fighting Super Boo, right? Goku and Vegeta fight off a series of onrushing enemies with ease. Next up is Gohan. Actually, no, wait. Gohan, you're Back next. to fight Dabura here, Have you right? Been keeping up with your training regimen? Sad to say, your boy's got it in his head that peacetime means he can take it easy. As things are now, I could knock him over in my sleep. Shut up, Jeets. <laughs> but, just as we saw with Cell, if he loses his temper and snaps again, we still may be in for a show. It can't be! Debora! For a human, you're quite skilled. You've earned a warrior's respect. That said, I'm afraid I've come here to halt your progress. <laughs> Debora's cool. Your boss must be in a real panic to send you out so early. Did we make the little guy that nervous? Pathetic. <laughs> Do you take pleasure in taunting? Or are you just stalling for time? All of you, come at me. Come at me, I don't bro. Think so. It's my turn, so I'm taking you on myself. Excuse me? You heard the man? He's taking you on himself. The great Deborah. And in the form of that is Super Saiyan 2. This is it. He's got that like spit stone attack too, right? I mean like turning you into stone with his spit. I always uh, found it interesting how Tabura was never a character they put in Dragon Ball Fighters. I think he would fit in really well in that game. Maybe if they ever... When they... Not, not if. When they do the sequel. Which, oh my god, I cannot fucking wait. Says Dragon Ball Fighters is my favorite fighting game ever. When they make a Fighters 2, he might be in the roster. Who knows? I'll give you a fight. Go. There's the big one. This will finish it. Ah! And a semi big one. Big one, but not as big. But still big. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Buro's next strategy is to have Bobbity manipulate Vegeta, as we saw. Gohan and friends leave their duel in search of Bobbity, but Majin Buu successfully revives by absorbing the battle energy of Goku and Vegeta. Gohan attempts to flee the scene with the Supreme Kai, but they are intercepted and the ensuing battle blows them far away. Gohan takes a heavy blow, causing him to lose consciousness. Vegeta soon arrives on the scene and takes over the fight with Majin Buu and then blows himself up. As seen here. Kaboom! Vegeta self-destructs in hopes of defeating Majin Buu. However, even a self-sacrificing attack such as this does not affect him. When Gohan wakes up again, he finds he is in the land of the Kais. He has narrowly escaped destruction at the hands of Buu thanks to the Supreme Kai. In order to defeat Buu, Gohan heroically pulls out the Z-Sword, which is said to give great power to the one who wields it. Not a lot of responsibility, but it's okay, because Gohan has enough of that. Goku, who is about to return to the other world, follows Gohan's key to his location. When Gohan and Goku test the sharpness of the Z-Sword, the sword breaks, releasing the Elder Kai, who had been sealed inside. The Elder Kai commences a long ceremony to extend Gohan's powers beyond his limits. With that power, Gohan returns to Earth. It's... it's Goku! No, it's not my dad! It's my brother! He's okay! What? That can't be. I'm glad I wasn't too Return late. of the king. Gohan, I'm glad to see you're okay. You weren't dead after all. Never was, kiddo. It was a close call. But then the Supreme Kai saved me and took me back to his world. Where's everyone else? Majin Buu ate them. They're all dead. What? <laughs> they were very tasty. 
Boo turned them all to chocolate. A satisfying snack. Can't believe them chocolate's nice. <laughs> so, Hotshot, you want to fight my Oh, here we go. Boo. The line of all lines. Fight you? No. I want to kill you. All right. Oh, well, well. Boo, remember now. You're the one I blasted to the next continent. Yes, back at that wasteland. Here we go. Over here. Our ultimate Gohan. Ouch. The fighting Psycho Boo. The creepiest Boo there is. That's fierce combination. Let's check this out. Oh, damn. Swirling him around like he weighs nothing. Uh, power up to the very limit. You can't win. Yeah, super Kamehameha. Oh, burst rush. Take a look at this. Okay, that's sick. Yeah. Into the line. Ouch. 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 Oh god. Ooh, forgot about that attack. That boo does. Out of my face! Never mind. You heard the man, the myth, the half saying. That's not what going all out looks like. That's what the headbutting looks like. Unless that's what she meant by going all out. Okie dokies. Do that extra key blast in there for good measure. Can't be too careful these days. Especially when there's a maniacal pink guy who loves turning people in chocolate. Rampaging around. Gohan manages to put uh, to push Majin Buu to the brink, but Majin Buu makes himself explode and disappears. Then, after Gohan and the others had searched for an hour, Majin Buu surprises everyone by reappearing on his own. And there he goes in T-2, right? For some reason, Majin Buu begins to taunt Goten and Trunks, the two of them then fuse and transform into Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And then they get eaten. <laughs> it's so funny how quickly this game glosses over things. Uh... Be honest, Gohan, what do you think? I'd say my strategy was quite successful. You should feel privileged to witness the birth of the ultimate Martian. You've got Martian. It all. You snuck up on them so they couldn't even fight back. It's your own fault, kid. I'm supposed to be the absolute strongest fighter in the universe, but you were stronger. I knew I had to do something. That's when I got the idea. If I could absorb that curious little fuse child, then the curious little fused child. <laughs> so funny they're describing him. It doesn't seem like this great plan's made you any smarter. A wise fighter wouldn't be telling all this to his enemy. And if you really wanted to become invincible, then you should have used your cowardly little sneak attack to absorb me instead. <laughs> you really don't get it, do you? What? Juan just it's indirectly just calling like his little brother shit. Buu said, I'm going to kill you in battle no matter what it takes. Nothing less will satisfy me. Okay then. You want to fight? Then let's go. Oh god. Top 10 moments before disaster. 
Let's. Though I can sense the time limit on Gotik's power is even shorter than before. So I'll have to make this quick. That's some pretty solid reasoning for a guy like you. I guess Piccolo's intelligence is starting to rub off on you after all. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, she's yell. Oh my goodness. You can't win. Yeah. I'll give you a fight. Eat this. And this. They love to eat things. Coming at you. Come on. You come here, you. Just kidding. I don't think I'm going all out. Just a prank, bro. Kamehameha! Into the line. I'll give you a fight. Show him a fight, Gohan. Show him what a fight looks like. Looks like that, and then that. Ooh, that is a pretty cool still at the end there. That could have been a wallpaper, shit. And then Gohan got eaten after his wallpaper worthy moment. Gohan is struggling in battle when Goku appears after receiving life force from the Elder Kai. With him, he carries the Patara that would allow them to fuse. However, Gohan fails to catch the Patara that his father throws to him. Taking advantage of Gohan's distraction, Majin Buu absorbs him. Just then, Goku senses a familiar and powerful key that has suddenly arrived on Earth. Using instant transmission, he goes to its source in search of aid. And then Vegeta was born. For the third time. Vegeta then returns from the outer world. Uh, yeah, they basically fuse and become Vegito. Uh, Boo is overpowered by Vegito, even though Boo absorbed Gohan. But in order to save his friends, the few Saiyans allows himself to be consumed by Boo. Thanks to Goku and Vegeta, Gohan and the victims of Majin Buu have been saved. As a result, Majin Buu transforms and let loose a massive key wave. Gohan and the others aren't able to make it in time for Goku's instant transmission, leaving them to be annihilated along with the entire Earth. But then uh, Goku and Vegeta kick Buu's ass with the spirit bomb on the planet of the Kai person peoples, and Majin Buu perishes. Peace is restored to Earth. GG's. Alrighty, and we unlock Spopovich. True, true. Uh, no way. There's more stuff. Is it God of Destruction? There's, there's a fight for Gohan in this Dragon Ball Super arc? Really? Huh. Fascinating. Time to go. Very fascinating. He doesn't have much of a role in Super, though, right? Gohan becomes a budding scholar and studies hard in pursuit of his dreams. He has a child, Pan, with Videl and lives out a peaceful life. Meanwhile, Goku ignores Chi-Chi's protests and departs a train on a faraway planet that's home to Beerus, the god of destruction. Sounds like Goku. But unbeknownst to our heroes, terrifying events are occurring out of sight. Frieza is revived by the Dragon Balls and brings an army to Earth to take revenge on Goku. Goku and Vegeta cannot be reached as they are training on Beerus' planet. While the two are gone, Gohan and four other warriors prepare to defend Earth from the arrival of the Frieza Force. What are you and your army doing here, Frieza? It's a lot of peeps. 
Is that not obvious to you? I'm here for revenge. I don't see Goku. Where has he gone? I came all this way after all, and I would hate to destroy everyone he has ever cared for without also hearing him beg me not to. Gohan, you defeated Cell as a kid. You should be able to handle this gas bag easily. Well, I could handle most of his men, I guess. But this is really serious, Bulma. Sure, we've gotten stronger, but then again, so has Frieza. Now, why does that? But he's in his first so form, familiar. Gohan. You idiot. Oh, that's Goku's son. Tell him son. quick. No question about it. It's so oh, you're meant to be to smart with all that rating. Give me some room. He's mine. Sure you don't need some help with this guy? Yeah, Piccolo. I'm not a kid anymore. Suit yourself. I will, Dad. Real Dad. <laughs> this is actually crazy funny. Get to play as Dragon Ball Super Gohan. To live a happy life on his tracksuit. So, if you're threatening that piece, we got a problem. My turn now. This will finish you off. Come ahead, ha! Yeah. Interesting. From the Senko. That's his rush attack. I'll unleash my true power. And we got him with it. Here goes again. Come here, you. Masenko! Wabam! Wabam. Oh, hey, Frieza, what's up? Form 1, Frieza. <laughs> Dude, it's so weird fighting Form 1, Frieza. Uh, before fighting Form 1 Frieza in the Frieza arc. That, that's kind of surreal and trippy. Damn, bitch slapped my ass. Not tapping into my full strength. Is that because I haven't been training? Probably. You've a trophy thyself and unlocked your daughter as a playable fighter. Let's go. Yeah, we definitely got to do all the story mode stuff. That way we unlock all the Miserable lost characters, like the secret I characters, will make right? I you pay with your suffering and the pleasure it will afford me. Ah! Yikesies. Well. What are you waiting for? If you're entertaining any hope of survival, you'd better run. Rip Gohan. I see you haven't inherited all of Daddy's traits. You give up much faster. No matter. Your death will balance the scales. Now we could go into first person POV there and this just look at the, the grass. The That's it. <laughs> It's black. It's what you deserve for being Goku's son. Now die! Now die, Frieza said calmly. Oh, God. Piccolo. Piccolo! Sad. Forgot about this happening. I saw this whole thing as a movie, right? Because they had episodes going over all this stuff at the beginning of Dragon Ball Super, but the episode surrounding the Frieza stuff was also a movie at the same time. I forgot about Goku, uh, Gohan getting pissed, Dad, Piccolo getting shot. Gotta beat him. Somehow. Yeah, Sag, real dad. It's okay, he's fine. But Frieza won't be. 
A battle ensues between Goku, showing the results of his training, and Frieza, hellbent on revenge. The two show off their new transformations. Yeah, this is the first time we see Super Saiyan Blue. At the end of the grueling battle, Goku proves victorious over Frieza yet again, and Earth is saved! After battling Frieza, Gohan swears to become stronger for the sake of those precious to him, and asks Piccolo to help him train. And, uh, what happens afterwards? Oh, there's stuff for him in the universe arc, no way. Huh. It's so weird to me how Gohan has stuff here, but not Vegeta. Like, what? <laughs> right. I have questions. Questions be existing. Gohan has been made aware of his failings, but is growing stronger through his battles. While he is training, Goku informs him of the Tournament of Power. Hearing that the losing universe would be annihilated, Gohan decides to participate in the tournament as a defender of Universe 7. To prepare for the Tournament of Power, Gohan trains ferociously with Piccolo and regains his fighting instincts. He takes Piccolo's warnings to heart and begins a special program that enables him to fight more aggressively. Cool beans. The Tournament of Power finally begins. Gohan and his friends watch each other's backs and whittle down their enemies, but as the battle royale heats up, they shift the fighting individually. Get out of my way! Powerful foes arrive, one after the other. Okay, wait, I thought Gohan only had one arm. So basically, that's uh, future Gohan. So the Gohan from future Trunks' timeline. And this is like... Present, current timeline, main timeline Gohan. But yeah, it's pretty sad. Future Gohan lost everything. He lost his dad, Goku, because the heart virus kills him in the future timeline. Um, then he loses his arm against the androids. Like, Goku dies to the heart virus. The androids basically take over the world, kill everyone, everything. And it's just Gohan and Trunks who are the only survivors, uh, as well as Trunks' mom who helps, helps him build a time machine so he can go back. And then, sadly, future Gohan dies. And that's what triggers Trunks' um, Super Saiyan transformation for the first time. I really wish all this was covered in the story mode. That would have been so cool. Yeah, the future Trunks timeline stuff is super interesting. Anyway, so I kind of miss himself, so... Gohan's... Okay, whatever. Just turn him into power shenanigans. Gohan has to fight Frieza during this round. My turn now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm also, like, super stoked to play as future Gohan. Apparently, he's really broken in this game. Yeah. God damn it. Bonk. <laughs> I love Frieza's little halo. Because he's dead. <laughs> Frieza knocks his supposed ally Frost out of the arena. And from behind him... <laughs> Gohan checks out his ass and his tail. Look, he got back up. Gohan, oh, sorry. Are you be okay? He said that already. Does this mean what I think it does? Those two were only pretending to brawl. When I took that first attack, I knew right away you were holding back. So then I chose to play along with whatever you had planned. Well, if you had been too dense to figure it out, then I would have had no choice but to kill you. At least we know for certain that Frieza is truly on our side. I don't think I'd go that far. 
Yeah, if Gohan hadn't caught on to what he was up to, Frieza would have betrayed us in a heartbeat, that's for sure. What? My dear what? Gohan, that was fun. We should try to continue working together as we move toward victory. I don't want to work with you. Shall we? Hm. They're kind of mean and not cool. And genocidal. Okay, that's a pretty cool frame. Unable to completely trust Frieza, Gohan continues to give it his full strength. He joins forces with Piccolo, and they progress through the tournament. Meanwhile, Dad just makes Dad noises. The other Universe 7 warriors are also triumphing over their opponents. As the other universes lose one by one and are erased, Piccolo leaves the fray. Poor Piccolo. The tournament is nearing its end. The battle leaves no room for an easy win, but Gohan, Goku, and the others join forces to defeat their most powerful enemy. It's just so surreal to me still that out of everyone, it's Android 17 who's here at the end. Like, what? Such a, like, random character to kind of place all the emphasis on for this arc of the story. I just find that so interesting. Gohan notices Frieza struggling against Dispo and comes to his aid. Now he and Frieza fight side by side. Oh, okay. So now let's work as a team, assuming you can keep up. Don't worry about me. Come on, Dispo. You're facing both of us now. Don't get cocky just because you landed one blow. If you want to double your universe's losses, that works for me. I'll see both of the edge together. <laughs> I love this dude because, like, his voice is not what I would have imagined for this character, but it, it works so well. Probably because he looks like a sphinx cat, like a purple sphinx cat. And sphinx cats having that kind of a voice is not what would be on my bingo card. Okay, yes, that's it. Just beat up a very angry purple sphinx cat. Frieza drains his last reserves of energy fighting dice bow. Oh, or dis bow. However that was pronounced. There. That ought to do it. What? Oh dear. My job is to knock you out. And I don't intend to let the seventh universe down. Frieza! <laughs> Your strategy worked. Well done, team leader. And now we get to the fun part. Last time we saw this happen was at the very you start of so DBZ. Anxious, Your time to rest in the bleachers will arrive soon anyway. He's pulling a raditz it. here. Damn. Okay then. I kind of thought the cat guy would sound like the weird guy Vegeta fought. Can't remember his name. Weird guy Vegeta fought. Android 19? Definitely not. You're probably not talking about 19. <laughs> Our Piccolo and the others praise him for, for his good judgment. Gohan turns his back, his gaze back to the arena and continues to watch the fight. Oh yeah, Zarbon. <laughs> the super extra dude with the stockings. <laughs> Goku and his companions fight heroically and achieve victory over Jiren. As the last remaining warrior from Universe 7. Uh, Android 17 asks Super Shenron to restore the universes that have been erased, and his wish is granted. Tournament of power is over. Gohan and the others return to Universe 7 in their normal lives. Happily ever after. Okay, so that's the end of Gohan's story. Weird, man. They put, like, a couple of fights that I was- I'm, I'm happy they were there for the DBS portion, the Dragon Ball Super portion, right, for Gohan. But it's not like we really were missing too much- um, without them, you know? It's weird how Vegeta didn't get any battles for Dragon Ball Super, but Gohan did, because I, I would imagine that there are way more opportunities for Vegeta to get some fights in, especially, like, dude, the whole Future Trunks thing. That could be an episode, right, where Vegito fights Zamasu and Goku Black, and he gets to experience it from Goku's perspective in his version of the story, and obviously, like, the Super Buu thing... 
where it let you experience the Vegito versus Super Boo fight from both Goku and Vegeta's story. It would make sense that they would once again allow you to do that through Vegito's, or Vegeta's perspective in Dragon Ball Super when fighting Zamasu in black, but it's weird. Unless I made a mistake somewhere and we just don't have any super fights for Vegeta because we didn't do a alternate path or something. Could be highly possible. Highly, highly possible. Like, there's more stuff here that we can do still. But Gohan himself. Have we up the difficulty? Which, uh, yeah, we'll save for another day. But since I'm thinking out loud about all this stuff, I kind of want to, like, go check out the Vegeta timeline once again. Just to see if there's nothing I missed. There's no... Because he's, like, the secondary character, right? In Dragon Ball Super, it's all about... <clears throat> Oopsies. You know what I mean in this one? It's all about uh, Goku and Vegeta, essentially. Wait, I see arrows on the right. Leading to Dragon Ball Super. But maybe that's just for like... I know, because this generally just shows all the characters' paths, this episode map, right? There's one episode map for all the characters, I think. So that's probably just always there. Hmm. What other thing up top is? I'm, I'm curious to do some of the what-ifs with Vegeta at some point. Uh, what other characters do we have left? Piccolo, Frieza, Black, Jiren... Okay, sweet. We're actually almost done the story. So I think tomorrow when I come back, I'm going to finish up with the rest of these characters. So like Piccolo Black. I'd imagine Jiren's is going to be very short because it's just some of the battles that take place in Super, right? Uh, cool that Frieza has one. And then, yeah, uh, after we finish off the main paths for all the characters, I'll go back and choose a couple of things that might be kind of interesting. Some of the what-if scenarios. I don't know if we'll do all of them. We'll see. Uh, I'm thinking right now of maybe going back and doing Gohans, like off the top of my head, the one where you can let Sopovich beat the shit out of Videl like a psycho and not go help your girlfriend as Gohan. Seems kind of interesting. I wonder what would happen there. Uh, with Goku, obviously the very first battle in the entire story, uh, against his brother Raditz. What happens if you don't go with Piccolo to save Gohan, right? And Goku just goes on his own. That's kind of an interesting what-if scenario. So, those two off the top of my head. Uh, we can go for those and then, yeah, figure it out from there. I was hoping to, I, I was thinking about actually... At this point here, taking a break from the story mode and going to check out all the other stuff in the game because, like, dude, we have not even scratched the surface. We've only been locked into story. And I feel kind of bad that I haven't yet seen the okay. other stuff. Um, because there's so much. It's a it's a Tenkaichi game. There's so much you can do. But oh my goodness, what the hell? Pickle, dude! Uh, thank you so much for the resub with Prime for eight months. How's it going, man? How the heck's it going? Hope you're having a great Friday. Great start to the weekend. Um, I was actually about to sign off. Right? Just going over all the other options in... Okay. Keep quiet, you. <laughs> uh, thinking about a... I'm just looking into a couple different things in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Uh, it's the latest and greatest fighting game that I've been looking forward to for a long time. Been playing a whole bunch of the story mode. Was thinking about taking a break from that now and checking out some of the other modes, but I'm kind of zapped, so I might be calling it. But I absolutely am going to be back uh, later today, aka tomorrow, whatever you want to call it. Basically Saturday at 9.30 Eastern, uh, as usual. And then Tuesday as well, because like I said at the beginning of this stream today, 
Uh, I'm going to be adding a new day to the schedule. Just going to be experimenting with it. We're going to be streaming on Tuesdays as well at 9.30 Eastern. Just because I want to like... I just want to stream more during the week. I feel like there's so many games I want to play. And I'm not streaming enough to be able to touch base with all of them. So we're going to see how it goes. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back tonight 9 30 eastern for more sparking zero we'll probably finish more of the or finish in general the story mode at least the main paths a couple of the interesting what if scenarios we'll take those on too and then yeah let's before we sign off um what's up homie uh, you monster frisbee wait did i miss a frisbee or something on master roshi's island what's that about a frisbee but now, good to see you, dude. Thank you so much for the eight months. Um. Okay. Come again anytime, Goku. Change screen. I gotta like lower the volume so I can actually process what these options are saying, because the characters are being way too happy-go-lucky right now. Come again anytime, but it's so cool how you it's just Goku instant transmissioning around the world of Dragon Ball for the different options. Um. That old, that old ass DBZ animation about, oh, by Oni, I think. Oh, okay, I never saw that. I saw, like, I saw the one where, like, Goku and Vegeta are fighting. <laughs> I don't know if it was in the same video. But yeah, Oni was, he used to make some really funny animations, I remember. Did you watch, uh, I'm assuming you watched Dragon Ball Z, right, Pickle? Please come visit me again. Custom battle, episode battle. So custom is just like... You just set up whatever you want. Between whichever characters. Uh, in custom battle, special effects will trigger when certain conditions are met. You can choose to play uh, pre-made bonus battles or create your very own battles. Created battles can be uploaded to the world library for other players to try out. Create and play all kinds of epic battles. That's kind of cool. Like, upload presets and stuff for people. I do not got you. My best friend is obsessed with it. Very, very cool. Yeah, Dragon Ball, like, was uh, everything to me pretty much growing up. It was my... It was the show for me. People were watching, like, Spongebob and stuff. And, you know, all those kind of shows that are considered iconic. Which, I never actually watched Spongebob. But, so to me, Dragon Ball was, like, the equivalent of that, right? That was like the go-to show for me. Uh, bonus battles. Custom high-level story battles with special conditions and restrictions. Interesting. Bonus battles. Bonus battles allows you to... Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do uh, before I end off the stream tonight is just kind of, um, you know... Get an understanding of the different options available to us, the different game modes. I probably won't uh, dip my toes into any of them. I'll just see what's available. Uh, it was your Goku show. There we are with the puns. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Uh, Attack on Titan was the only anime I ever cared about. Anime isn't for me. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm like a fan of anime per se. I'm just a fan of like... You know, I'm not like religious anime guy, but I do like animes here and there that like that are just that I like a lot, you know? Um I wouldn't like go out of my way to just watch an anime for the sake of it because it's anime. I'm like not that into it. But um the shows that are just generally good, anime or no, are ones that I enjoy watching. So in the realm of anime, those would be stuff like, you know, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. It's like the whole Dragon Ball property. Uh, Death Note was another one I really liked. Full Metal Alchemist, even though I never finished it. Uh, Cowboy Bebop, even though I never finished it. There's some really good ones. I like 90s anime a lot. Uh, 90s and early 2000s anime. Um, even though I have heard Attack on Titan is phenomenal. Um, and my friend, who's never really been able to get into anime, says nothing but amazing things about it, so it's gotta be great. Um, and I still want to get around to watching it someday. Bonus battles allow you to play battles featuring tons of different characters and effects. Some battles may be locked at first and can only be played once you complete certain 
other bonus battles. Okay. After completing a bonus battle, you will be able to view which effects it used and copy them when creating your own battles in custom battle mode. Also receive rewards the first time you complete a bonus battle. Hone your skills and try to complete them all. Okay. Oh shit. That's uh, Terrorless. Uh, no limit. Okay, so basically just fighting these, uh, they're doing these story battles again, but just under, uh, difficult conditions. Only seen Sailor Moon, and this one pretty, uh, this one pretty unknown one that was just Sailor Moon, but satirical, and with magic boys instead of magic girls, nice. Sailor Moon I've also heard good things about. I know next to nothing about it, though, sadly. Jinro the Wolf Brigade was a movie I watched with my cousin. She is an anime freak. That one wasn't bad either. Nice. Haven't heard of that. I'm gonna have to look into that one. Yeah, have you guys in general like seen or just like watched anything cool as of late? Uh custom battle mode. So this is just to create your own custom battles. In custom battle mode, you can either you can change a battle's characters effects, and other elements to create your own original battles. The following editing methods are available for you to use. Normal edit, simple edit, copy edit, yep. Normal edit allows to edit battles and events scenes however you want. This method is great for those who are sticklers for details. Okay. Simple edit just choose a battle type to act as a base, and the editor will put together a battle for you. Use this to get a feel for how to create entertaining battles. Copy edit allows you to copy the content of one of your own custom battles or a bonus battle, then tweak the details to create a battle to your liking. Several editing modes available, but you'll start out in simple edit mode the first time around. Use it as a chance to get a feel for how everything works. Dude, this is so cool. There's so much. Young me would have been in love with this game. Like, if I had known that... If 9-year-old me knew that 25-year-old me would be sitting here, like, Freaking over a decade and a half later playing the sequel of Tenkai G3. Oh my goodness. Roll library. Use this mode to play. Okay, this is online online fights, right? I'm assuming. Enjoy battles posted online here. Find fights to suit your taste and explore a variety of ways to play. No, okay, this is just people uploading fights. Uh, okay. That's kind of cool. If a battle you post gets played or, or played a lot or receives a lot of likes, it may make its way into the rankings. <clears throat> if your battles receive high rankings, you may earn master level titles. Post replays of battles that you would like to show others. After the battle, you can save and post replays of your choice. Saved replays can be posted at a later time. That's kind of sick. So it's just like a video platform for checking out other people's fights and upvoting them and stuff. There's like a ranked system as well. Uh, surprised you didn't go for the collector's edition of this game. Uh, you got a sick statue of Goku and Broly. I don't need no collector's edition when I got Goku himself chilling in the background. We good. But that does sound pretty awesome. That does sound pretty lit. But no, yeah, the, the main thing I got because, um, yeah, I just it was not in my budget to be able to go after the collector's edition for this game, right? I only reserve money for, like, the, the ones that are extremely near and dear to me, right? Uh, like, you know, Final Fantasy VII. Um, if the Death Stranding sequel has one, I'll probably get that too. Uh, instead of getting a collector's edition for this, what I instead found, and I'm really happy I did in hindsight was this dude not too far away from me who was willing to part ways with this life-sized as he saw Goku standee. Um, and for a pretty good price too. And I was like, okay, I'd, I'd be interested in snagging that if you don't want it anymore. And he's like, okay, cool. So that's that's what I got. And it, it shipped out and I got it delivered to me like within the perfect timing because it was right before this game came out. And so, oh yeah, it's almost like got to... You no, know, it's like I pretty much got to celebrate this game's launch with it. <laughs> with Goku himself. I got Goku chilling in my room. I don't have to worry about having nightmares. I don't have to worry about 
Like some weirdo busted in my room carrying a Masamune, even though I already have one myself. Because uh, Goku's going to Ultra Instinct their asses. <laughs> I do love that big Goku. He looks awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm really glad that... Like, I wanted to set him, set him up there initially. And then I just, like, I couldn't find the best way to do it. Right? So I put him in the, the corner off camera for a little bit after I got him. And I realized, wait a minute, what if I just, like, use a command strip? Because I used to have, like, I still have it, right? It's still there, the, the light beam in the corner of my room. It's like, what if I just command strip him to that and see if that works? And it works. <laughs> I'm tempted to put out a tweet or something just of a picture of, a, of those, like, black command strips and go, this thing can, like fix anything this thing can accomplish anything and even fix your broken marriage your depression whatever these things are amazing <laughs> seriously there's absolutely nothing those command strips have not been able to to stick together it's crazy uh i think i watched the cell saga was the only dbz parts i watched cell's my favorite his second evolution is my favorite his third evolution looks chunky yeah cell's second form is definitely very creepy, right? Very intimidating. Cell Saga was dope. I would say it's up there in, in the top three sagas for sure. I think Frieza Saga is still my all-time favorite, but I think Cell Saga is a close second. Do you have to worry about him waking you when he goes, <laughs> goes to get milk, though? Yeah, milk is in training, right? He's gonna, like, take off through my window and just, like, crash, like, crash through it. Make glass everywhere, make a loud noise, make a lot of commotion. Rude Awakening. Um, okay, so we checked out the custom battle stuff. Oh, hey, Dad. Why drink humans with his tail, though? Because reasons. Toriyama reasons. Lord and, the others... and we love him for it. May he rest in peace. Wow. <laughs> Shit was weird, man. It was very, very weird to say the least especially when gohan gut punches form three cell and he vomits out 18 and he reverts to a second transformation and then gets really big and fat and orange and decides i'm gonna blow up the entire earth dragon ball ladies and gentlemen <laughs> i wonder who i'm gonna be fighting first yeah, he's eco hey yeah Let's, let's give the men some props for being eco-friendly, right? Straws are bad for the environment. It's trying to reduce the amount of plastic. It's being all natural about it. If you take this fight serious, you'll likely win. Uh, okay, so main menu battle. I'm gonna be fighting first. Battle other players online and player or ranked matches. There we go. So this is your bread and butter online ranked matches mode. Uh, super training. View examples and practice modes to get used to the controls. Adjust the settings to find a training. I'm probably going to mess around with this a lot tomorrow after we finish the story mode. I'll probably probably go lab a bit. Uh, world tournament. This is one of my favorite things to do in Tenkai H3. Um, we'll try out an offline tournament tomorrow as well. Seno, what's up? It's got missions and challenges for us. Um, achieve victories in a row five times. Let's go. Oh, we're about to win one more match. You can't flub it. The 20th match in a row and we get the third thing. Okay, so this is cool. We can unlock cosmetic things and player cards. So am I. Hey, and we unlocked uh, Baby Vegeta from Dragon Ball GT. It's going to become white noise. So it already kind of is. Zeno going, I'm so happy. I'm just going to redeem all. I think that's a good idea. Instead of driving myself insane, because quite clearly we have a lot of things to accept here. 
Oh my god. It's still going. Okay. <laughs> I have. I've come a long way down this page. Actually, no, I haven't. Holy mother of God. Dude, nothing but respect, dude. Like, this is what I love to see, right? Single player, well, not single player, um, but, um, what am I saying? Video game and no microtransactions. Just everything unlockable purely through playing, completing challenges. It's a rarity, right? And you love to see it. Uh, maybe a piccolo didn't get straws stuck up his nose all the time. He could use a straw. He's a he's green like a turtle. That's close enough. Lots of lots of green folks in Dragon Ball. Lots of lovable green folks. Between the Namekians and then wait, maybe the not so lovable green folk. Cell isn't so lovable. Uh, this has serious sound alert potential. Honestly, that's what I was. I was thinking, I was trying to think of like, this sounds like something I could use somewhere, and yeah, sure enough, like, something you could probably use on a, on a Twitch stream as like a sound alert. I think you should definitely set that up for your streams, Ian, 100%, because I know you use sound alerts on yours. I would redeem that, I would like be spamming the heck out of this to an unhealthy degree on your streams, man. <laughs> Okay, what did I click there? Weiss's Wishes. Uh, another set of rewards, I suppose, and challenges. She of Victory and Goku's... Alright, let's just do Take All and see. Okay, so they're related to Money and Shenron. The dragon. Okay. Can only use it when I'm extremely tilted for peak meme value. <laughs> That's actually funny. Just like completely just losing your mind and your mental sanity after a seven game lost streak in Overwatch. And I just spam that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do that, to be honest. I don't know if in good faith I'll be able to contribute to your mental decline and your descent into madness. Can't have that on my conscience. Uh, Addy needs a sound alert at the Scorpion King yelling that his jars were broken. Yes, I need to do that. And I need to, like, put it in as the way I edited it for the, the review. Where, when, when he gets super pissed in Chinese and he's talking about, Don't break my goddamn jars! I, like, made the volume super loud in the screen shake. I should do that variation. <laughs> if I ever do that. Uh, though since Sombra got thrown into the dumpster this season, that might not happen as much, lol. Oh yeah, dude, the Sombra changes? My heart goes out to all the Sombra players. But at the same time, it doesn't, because... Ah, serves you right. <laughs> I'm glad they got rid of Perma Invisibility, okay? Don't shoot me. As someone who doesn't play Sombra, but has been bullied by her. I can only tell you my experience as a victim, and my honest experience is that, and my honest thoughts. Hey! It's starting up, old man. Oh, hey, let's go. Let's check out what they got in the shop. Want to blow off some steam with a little shopping? Sure. King Kai training. What is that? Increases maximum health. Wish my husband would take me shopping. I like two millions any. Take all the time you need. Okay, cool beans. We can unlock. Uh, I I I spent hours doing this in Tenkaichi Three growing up. Just grinding Zenny, unlocking the characters. It's the progression's so fun. So cool, man. This is such a nice old school fighting game. Uh, honestly, I can't even tell you how many games Sombra just spawn camped out one of my teammates. Know, so annoying. I know. Decisions, decisions. I know, I know. I may be able to play support and not freak the fuck out every time I'm chilling in the back line. Yeah, like... I know, that... I know. Decisions, decisions. Once again, I know, I know. Yeah, the, the sense of paranoia is, like, definitely alleviated by a ton, right? I know, I know. Decisions, okay, decisions. Bulma... 
I like yes, you're right. I'm taking my time perusing thy wares. Decisions, decisions. But don't make me take longer because you keep repeating the same thing and bother my ears as a result. Okay, do I buy characters? When I go on a shopping spree too. Oh yeah, I've got The ability items I forget like are these perma no, they're not perma buffs for your characters across the board. Like they're consumables, I guess, when you're in like tournaments and stuff. Let's buy one of those. You won't see one of these every day. Okay, it's a one-time purchase. So they're not like consumables you have to keep buying. Interesting. Your boy Mulga got a micro buff? No way, really? Dude, I gotta play Overwatch uh soon. I gotta pick up Overwatch again. Especially with the new season and everything. Nah man, uh, Bap's buff was low-key crazy, no recoil. Damn, I gotta look at the patch notes. The only thing I heard about was a Sombra thing, but... I, I do not know what happened to the other characters. I always take my time. Bap was already like an assassin support. What happened to Bap? He's like the only other support I play besides Lucio, so this is this sounding kind of exciting to me. Why does everyone talk so much? Asking the real questions. I don't want to mute the, the music because the music's nice, but I want to mute Bulma, dude. How did Vegeta fall for Bulma? How did he fall for this Earthling? She's so annoying. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get that. Yes, I'll buy Goku himself in all his forms. Big, small, mid. Same goes for Vegeta. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Future Gohan. Oh yeah, Future Gohan's big. Uh, GT, or Gogeta. From the movie. Gogeta from the other movie. Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Goku from GT. Mecha Frieza. Sell Junior. Can I just buy all? I'm gonna buy your whole shop. I'm a rich man. Oh, cool. We have a uh, Oob already. Yeah, I'm guessing we can also unlock these guys naturally through story mode. So I don't know. I feel like I might be wasting my Mooney. Am I wasting my Mooney? Oh, dear. Whatever. Hesitation is defeat, Sekiro. I'm gonna complete what I set out to do. Dr. Wheelo, I forgot about this guy. So many fucking characters. Holy moly. Yeah. I think the final, final thing we'll do before we end the stream tonight is we're gonna look at the full roster, right? We're going to go into, like, a game mode of some kind and just look at everyone and everything. Because we still haven't done that. Rost. Crawlifla. Ill. Okay, I think that's all the characters that there are to buy and unlock. Maybe there's some that you can't get in the shop and only from Shenron. I hope so. Hope I didn't just get, didn't just quick unlock all the secrets. Um, let me catch up here. Can't remember what they did to compensate for it, but they basically removed that annoying climb. You know, climb on Bap's weapon. Oh. Oh, that's what you mean by no recoil earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when he shoots a three-round burst, right? Or however many bullets it is. And the gun, like, slightly recoils up. Like, I, I suppose. I think. They, are you guys saying they got rid of that? Like, just the recoil? That's cool. Ramatra also was unfortunately dumpster. Oh, shit, no, I did hear about that. Fuck. I like playing ROM so much. And I saw someone put a shit post on Reddit, and I think that's how I found out. I found out in the funniest way, by the way, about Rom getting nerfed. It was a shit post where a guy was basically going, Thanks, Blizzard. Now whenever I play Rom, 
and I use his ult and he goes suffer with me or suffer as I have, I actually get the suffer. That's so immersive. Bravo, Blizzard. <laughs> uh, so apparently they nerfed his, his ult, right? Rob needed that nerf. He was busted. <sighs> Debatable, right? Because it still took a little bit of skill, I would say. Right? And if you had the skill, then it would like, you know, it would, the, the, the numbers with the damage would like kind of back that up. He was strong, but without it, I just don't know what he brings to the table. Yeah, that's that's the thing, is that, like, it was a very strong alt, but I, and, and like I said, I do think it required a little bit of skill in the sense that, like, you know, you want to pop it at the right time, make, make sure you pop it when you're close to all the enemies and stuff, and then make sure you're hitting the right people, or, like, aim it right. Um, But yeah, it, is, it was pretty strong. But yeah, like, I did like that. If you knew how to use it properly, if you use it at the right time, you were aiming right, all that kind of stuff, like the game sense part, uh, the, the damage would carry you the rest of the way. He hits like a truck still, he just can't shoot through barriers. Oh damn, that sucks. I guess he nerfed that too. I, I mean, no, that was just generally what he was always like. He was more of a, a poke tank, right? The, the main kind of thing... Like, my understanding of Rom as a character is that the most value you get out of him is by just poking, building all charge, and then using Nemesis as much as you can, uh, including his, like, Nemesis ult, right? That's where you actually have the most impact. And without, like, Nemesis ult, or with that being nerfed, it's it kind of, like, alleviates a good 70 to 80% of his impact, doesn't it? It was kind of like his niche. If they ran Ryan and Sigma and even Winston, he could pressure them holding shield. Yeah, he was good at like holding down certain positions and poking from like behind his shield. Also, I'm as a Sigma alternative that worked really well against Ryan in particular. He was really good against Ryan. Yeah, I would just love getting up close and personal and punching Ryan in the face <laughs> or just poking at him from afar. He could like ruin a Ryan even on his best day. Okay, um, cool, I, I've had enough of the store. Bulma, I love you, but you're making me kind of hate you. Uh, huh, player card. Is already customized our player profile stuff. Ryan has been power crept so much, and I like playing with and against Ryan, but he's progressively become so strong. Oh, really? That's interesting. Didn't know they were like, I guess like buffing him over time. That's cool. Uh, my favorite character. I'm still figuring that out, but that's cool. You can choose favorite character, player icon. Sure, sure. Uh, I'll go with peace. Favorite mode. This is one of the ways to see what all the modes are, I guess. <laughs> Favorite background music. Now, interestingly, one of the things I absolutely adored about Tenkaichi 3, this isn't a dig at this game, by the way, right? It's all subjective. Uh, one of the things I adored about the third one was the music. Every single, like, I use uh, Innocent World from Tenkaichi 3 all the time in my stream openings. Um, and some of the, the videos I make for YouTube in the background. I love the music from that game. Nothing really in particular has stood out to me from this game, though. It still is great music, but just hasn't hit me personally. Uh, okay, I'll go with... Namek, because who doesn't love Manic? Manic? Namek? Uh, background. Oh. Too much yellow. I like this. <laughs> you have like a rival list that said follower slash rival list. You have a list of people you just hate. Um, encyclopedia. Well, that's cute. Okay, here we go, guys. 
This is where we see all the characters. What's girl talk? This is Goku when he was young, right around the time I became a blushing bride. He proposed to you at the World Martial Arts Tournament, didn't he? Yep, we made Okay, this is actually pretty adorable. Little kids. Aww, that's so it's basically okay. like the way you read about the character bios is is through the girls just like gossiping about the characters. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. This was around the time when Goku mid. This was around the time when Goku was all about fighting. The man, the myth, the memes. So many memes about Goku like mid. That, yeah, that's kind of true, I guess. So it's so crazy. Like the coolest thing about these Tenkaichi games is that you just get to experience. Like, the different phases of each character throughout the story as different characters entirely, right? So this is like, young adult Goku, Goku slightly older, Goku slightly older, Super Saiyan, Goku middle-aged, and with all his transformations, and then Goku in Dragon Ball Super. Now this is how you actually learn about the story. That's Goku? I can't even tell anymore. Look, he's got a tail. Oh man. Not that I want to look that young again, but I'm still kind of jealous. Okay, never mind. This isn't how you learn about the story. <laughs> yeah, it's just the, so the girl talk thing is just what the what Bulma, Chi Chi, and Videl just think of the characters when they look at them. They don't actually tell you what their backstories are. He has a tail? Yeah, so basically all the Saiyans have tails. Um, and if if they still have their tail and they look at a full moon, they turn into a big, great, giant ape like King Kong. So yeah, Kid Goku had a tail, and then it got cut off after he became... A great ape. Uh, so he could turn into a little guy again. And ever since then, he hasn't had his tail. So yeah, that's what Saiyans can do. They have, they're born with tails. They can become big, giant monkeys. And turn their hair different colors. And spiky. When they get very strong. Uh, Goku Mini. What is this? Is this the new Goku from the new anime? Daima? So yeah, there you go. Great Ape Vegeta. He a big boy. Oh shit, what's Bulma gonna say about that? I'm curious. I'm so glad Trunks doesn't have a tail. If they both turned into this thing, my house would be in shambles. <laughs> That's funny. Now that you mention it, Vegeta doesn't have a tail. I heard that he used to, though. That's because Yajirobe slightly... Hey, Yajirobe. Vegeta was fighting with Gohan. Man, the myth of Yajirobe. Alright. All of Vegeta's difference. Periods in his life. Oh, dude, we gotta hear about Majin Vegeta from Bulma. This was when Vegeta's power was enhanced by Bobbity. I couldn't believe he wanted to go back to being his old evil self for a time. Hey, something's written on his forehead. I wonder what the M stands for. McDonald's like. fries. Some kind of new fashion trend? Beats the heck out of me. Funny. Vegeta from Super. Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. The most goaded Vegeta there is. Sadly, this is non-canon though. I really like... So Dragon Ball GT was the anime that came out after Dragon Ball Z and that is set before Dragon Ball Super, but it wasn't written by Toriyama, so it's technically not canon. Everything that happens in it doesn't actually happen. Um, also, let me let me re rephrase what I said. It's It was made after Z and before Super, but it's set after Super. So chronologically, it takes place after Super, but it doesn't actually happen. Um, but... For all the flack that GT gets, and GT does get a good bit of flack, I think it had the best transformations. I mean, look at this, right? I do think Super's cool, but 
the transformations are definitely a little bit uninspired, right? It's still the same looking hair, it's just different colors, right? You're going from Super Saiyan to like blue Super Saiyan, that kind of thing, but dude, like Dragon Ball GT introduced Super Saiyan 4 and they actually took strides like to change the way the character just looked as a whole, not just like the hair. Super dope. And like they also pay homage and bring back the whole aspect of Saiyans being monkeys with the tail and it's like red and they're all furry and shit. It's cool. Uh, let's see what else. Future Gohan. I remember There's the armless Gohan. That this Gohan was his teacher in the future. That's why he looks so vastly different from the one we know today. No matter how old he gets or even what timeline he's from, my little Gohan is just the cutest thing. He looks Adorable. So much more dramatic than the Gohan I know. The future of where the androids won must have been terrible. Sag. Kind of stoked to play as future Gohan. <laughs> this is funny. Piccolo? Piccolo brackets fused with Kami. Corporate wants you to find the differences between the two pictures. Uh, Nail. Krillin. Yamcha. Oh. Oh, no way. Let's go. OG Future Trunks is a thing in this game. My goat. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so glad to know that just like with, you know, Goku and Vegeta, Trunks got the Goku Vegeta treatment of like different periods of his life, different type, different character entirely. Hell yeah. And then there's Kid Trunks. Holy hell, man. And plays Frieza in all his different forms as different characters. Jeez. Ugh. Now he's got this elongated <laughs> skull. Disgusting. Honestly, I think he looked stronger before. You think this stretched out head was intentional? Or was that just part of the transformation without him knowing? I'd rather not put myself in Frieza's mind. You and me both. I love how we can just like hear these characters talk about the most obscure folks on the list that you would never imagine them talking about. This guy was made from all the evil that Boo expelled from himself into a separate being. Okay, sometimes you just like are very matter of fact. <laughs> yep, yeah, Xenomorph, Frieza. That shit gave me nightmares as a kid. A lot of things did from Dragon Ball Z actually. A lot of the creatures and characters and stuff. Hey, Goku's dad, ladies and gents. Uh... This was Goku's father who died many years ago. I'd love to Goku Sr. When I pass away. Just kidding, Bardock. a lot like Goku, but way more serious. If he's a Saiyan, I bet good money he was killed by Frieza, wasn't he? Oh, poor guy. I'm grateful that he delivered my Goku here to me in our little blue planet. Wholesome. Frieza's dad. It's Frieza's dad. Frieza's dad. <laughs> uh, Frieza Force Soldier. Frieza's Most important kid. character in the world. I don't know how someone so horrible can have so many followers. They're well equipped and well organized. Even got a proper uniform. Hmm, I wonder if working for Frieza has good health benefits. <laughs> That's funny. Shout out to the man, the myth, the unsung hero, Frieza Force Soldier number 72. Oh, hell yeah, there's my goat, Broly, of course. This Broly guy supposedly grew up in the wild. They say he's so strong that even Goku couldn't beat him on his own. He worked for the Frieza Force for a little while. 
I hope he's not another bad guy to deal with. I'm he's curious if being used by his father and is rather innocent at heart. The way he talks is kind of adorable in its own way. So this is the non-canon Broly. He kind of reminds me of Vegeta and Goku, but yeah, I get that. He gives me the strangest feeling. You think so? Now that you mention it, yeah, I guess I see it. This is so this would be so confusing for people who who've never seen Dragon Ball, right? The fact that there are two Broly's, they're the same exact character, except one is official canon and one is not. Like this Broly is is non-canon Broly. And then there's this Broly, who is canon Broly. Both with completely different backstories. Ah, uh, yes. Broly. I know him. <laughs> me, when, <laughs> me when I lie. <laughs> Same thing with this dude. Okay. To make matters even <laughs> stranger. I, I, I love this shit. I love, like, showing how weird Dragon Ball is to people who've never experienced it and just being like, well, what the hell? So, free get this, right? Frieza has a brother, but he's non-official. He's canon. <laughs> and that's this guy. Uh, cooler. And just, yes, just like with the Saiyans, Frieza's race are named after things that are cold. So there's Frieza, and then there's the brother Cooler. His dad came cold. Um, but yeah, this guy does not exist in canon. Like, if you go have a conversation with Frieza from the Frieza saga, or anything you've seen him in, essentially, in Dragon Ball, and go, yo, how's your brother Cooler doing? He'd be like, the fuck is Cooler? You mean the, my ice cooler? Huh? <laughs> Cooler's a dude from some of the non-canon movies. I'm hoping they make him canon someday, kind of like they did with Broly. I'm very interested in seeing how they'd canonize him into the story. I am so lost already. Wow, how dare you. Just kidding. I completely expect you to be lost. Non-canon. Non-canon. All these guys are non-canon right now. Non-canon. Non-canon, because GT's not canon. Uh... Non cannon, 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 cannon ballsy. All the super stuff is cannon. Uh, yes. All super characters now at the bottom. Fun stuff, fun stuff. All right. Um, yeah, crazy man. I don't know how many characters this is. It's probably not all 180 of them, or it might be. If it shows you the ones you haven't unlocked, then yeah, it definitely is. I think this game has the biggest roster to date out of any Dragon Ball game and probably like any fighting game ever made to be to be real. I mean, shit. It plays every single one of these characters. Every single one of them. Each of them completely mechanically unique. So sick, man. Tank Aichi is back, baby. It's a good time to be alive. Uh, yeah. We're gonna probably... Take some of them for a spin with... Uh... Oh, yo, what we should do before we end it? We have all the Super Shenron Dragon Balls. I think I got this from pre-ordering the game, so... Uh... Let's go ahead and summon him. Another thing that's really fun to do in these games is just grind the Dragon Balls, get them, wish for things after summoning the dragon. Uh, I want more characters. I want you to raise my player level. I want you outfits. I want more zany, more money. Oh, what do we wish for? Uh, uh, I want ability items. I want more titties. I mean titles. One more money. I kind of spent a lot of my money. I, I spent my life saving Super Shenron. Um, yeah, can you smash the control Z on that? Thanks. 
Yrivlu. Far farewell. Granted. Oh shit. He's actually saying things if you read them backwards. <laughs> what did he just call me? Whatever it, he said backwards, that's what he called you. Uh, for 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 our sakes, let's assume in our head cannons it was head cannon was something very nice and polite and sweet and thoughtful. Uh, can I summon Shenron and show me the Dragon Balls, or if I have them or not? All right, this is regular. OG baby Shenron. The Shenron that 90s kids love. Uh, <laughs> just ask for more, even more money from the other one. No, let's go for... Uh, new outfits, why not? I like how we can choose, that's cool. Vegeta super outfit, Goku super outfit. Um... None of these really appeal to me. A more titles. Uh, delightful lover. King. King of the world. There's king and then there's king of the world. Uh, well, I'm not uh, Leonardo DiCaprio last time I checked, so I'm not going to choose that one. Um, where's my player level? I don't want to go into ranked or quick play or whatever as a level one fledgling bitch. No thanks. Gotta show people that I mean business. Yeah. Please come visit me again. Uh, all right. Okay. I think uh, that about does it for tonight, folks. I'm gonna wrap up here. That was a fun little uh, foray through all the different. Uh, modes that Dragon Ball Spark and Zero has to offer, and yeah, I can't wait to jump into more of it tonight. Sounds really weird to say that, but yes, tonight at 9.30 Eastern. I'm starving. <laughs> I just here. saw menus. Well, I hope you enjoyed your stay, even if it was just for the menus, right? Um, I will be back with more fighting action-y stuff, though. Don't worry. There'll be a lot of muscling up, a lot of powering up, a lot of key blasting out the wazoo uh on the next stream don't you worry uh we're gonna finish up the story and yeah probably check out some online play and also the world tournament stuff and then on tuesday i might play more of this i might also start up silent hill because i've really really wanted to start that game up um speaking of which don't worry pickle i'm i'm gonna stay true to my promise right on what the hell day is Halloween again? Is it the 30th or 31st? Are there 31 days in October? I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. I apologize. I keep forgetting what day Halloween is. Whatever day it is, doesn't matter if it's part of our schedule or not. We are going to do um, a special stream uh, in honor of Pickle here. It's going to be dedicated to Pickle and it's going to be the Resident Evil 1 remake. We are absolutely... 100% going to be doing that. Um, and we're going to be playing Silent Hill 2 as well uh, during Spooky Month here. You know, just because it's uh, just because we're playing one horror game doesn't mean we can't play another one, you know? So, hey, who said you can't? And it's Spooky Month, so we got to make things extra spooky, doubly spooky. So it's going to be fun. My fire up Silent Hill 2 on Tuesday. I've been seeing really good things about that, and I've recently... Know, really come to enjoy horror games especially you know survival horror third person horror that kind of thing so hell yeah i motion that we ask miss bulma to cook something for us i would love for someone to cook something for me right now i'm hungry but i'm gonna go to sleep uh <laughs> i just saw the menus what a game 10 out of 10 Unironically, though, unironically, just kidding. It's not a 10 out of 10 because of the some of the story mode stuff, but it's still up there for sure. Uh, Silent Hill 2, whoa, no freaking way, will not be joining you for that. I'm biting the bullet, I'm getting a PS5 just for this Silent Hill 2 remake. Nice, nice, respect, Pickle. Yeah, I, I totally understand you probably don't want to catch the spoilers and stuff, but yeah, I hope you have a great playthrough, man. Um, That game always looked interesting to me from day one. Uh, and I'm, I'm just really glad that it's 
living up to uh, what I was hoping it would be, which is which is good, right? And it's more than good, apparently, from what I've been hearing. It's great. And thankfully, nothing got spoiled for me, right? All I see when I scroll through Twitter is a bunch of memes. Like, there are a lot of inside jokes and shit that I just don't understand. Like, people keep posting this one edit of whatever the main dude's name is, James or whatever, like, breakdancing in a bathroom with, like, what's... Well, pyramid head i guess and i'm like what what is this why is this happening is it happening just because it's something make this just because it's funny just for the sake of it or is there something more to this i gotta like i gotta be in the know you know uh that is a classic yeah i just see so many silent hill 2 memes on my feed and somehow miraculously shit doesn't get like none of it comes across as spoilery you know so i can definitely be grateful for that just because it's funny. Yeah, I had a feeling. Yeah, it is pretty, pretty goofy. I love it when things are just made like memes out of and for no reason other than it would just it's just random and the randomness is what makes it funny. Uh, my favorite case in point, all the stuff at Breaking Bad, all the Breaking Bad Better Call Saul memes that make absolutely no fucking sense. Like a picture of if you've seen Breaking Bad, Mike Ehrmantraut played by Jonathan Banks. Kid named Finger. You show that to me, and I'm like the Winter Soldier from the Marvel movies. You're going to reprogram my brain and just make me... It, well, instead of going on a killing spree, going on a laughing spree. <laughs> just by showing me that picture. Just showing me a picture of... Like, I'm so brain rotted from Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul memes. You show me a picture of, like, Mike and his, like, you know, promo photo. I'm, I'm in splits. That, that's kind of like rewired my brain. So, all this is to say, I like that kind of sense of humor. It definitely drives with me. Just like random shit for the sake of it. <laughs> From something otherwise very serious. So Lord and the others were Silent Hill 1 needed a remake more than Silent Hill 2, but uh, what can you do? Yeah, it's interesting that they started on the second one, right? But I'd imagine that, you know, seeing the success of the second one, that the studio would take interest in making, you know, redoing one and maybe some of the other ones as well, which I believe is the case. Like, I could be wrong, but I feel I want to say I saw something on Twitter earlier today, which said that the studio has expressed interest in doing more remakes. So uh, that's awesome. And I think they just hit the one million, um, one million mark in sales, too. So kind of awesome, man. We're living in the we got the good ending for Silent Hill, too, I suppose. And yeah, I can't wait to play it. Um, I'm glad that there's a really good horror game that just came out for spooky uh, during Spooky Month itself. So we get to celebrate it with that. And of course, Resident Evil Remake. I got you. I got you, Pickle. That one's dedicated to you. It's about time. Sorry to keep you waiting. Um, we're gonna we're gonna make that happen. As RE4 Remake just hit uh, eight million copies sold. No way. That's awesome. Yeah, RE4 Remake is, to me, it's the GOAT. I think probably the best... Is it the best horror game I've played? I think so. It just might be. It's, like, not just through the lens of horror specifically, but as an entire package, I think it's the best horror game. But if it were going purely based off of scares, probably still RE7. But, yeah, I'm going to probably give the best title as, like, horror game as a whole to RE4 Remake. Goated game. I loved it. Um, nah, man, your games have been popping out like crazy lately. Uh, no worries. Yeah, there's just so much stuff coming out at the same time. That's partly the reason I have wanted to add Tuesday to the schedule. Uh, just so I have a little bit more time to, to stream games. I gave myself a little bit more time. But, <laughs> yeah, like I said at the start of the stream and also in the Discord update as well. Um... I'm not 100% confident about it yet. I do want to try it out, though. Streaming on Tuesdays in addition to Fridays and Saturdays that we have here. Not super confident about it because I've been super busy off stream. Um, but I, I feel like we can try at least, right? And we'll see how it goes. We'll experiment with it and um, drop it if we need to. But no harm in trying it out. Silent Hill is scarier than REIMO, really. I've heard that, like... Yeah, some of the characters are super fucked up and really creepy. Um, I remember a long time ago, I used to like 
enjoy watching these really funny prank call videos where people would use like soundboards of like video game character lines when prank calling and one of them was for this like really freaky dude from one of the silent hill games it was like I, I forgot what he's called like the happy birthday killer or something and he goes like which do you prefer to receive pain or to give it and i was like damn this is kind of fucked like what game is this and uh sure enough i think it was silent hill that that character was from so yeah i guess it has scarier psychological horror or he has better yeah that that sounds like that could be pretty apt Right, I haven't played any Silent Hills, granted, but yeah, from what I've seen, Ori does have... It's more body horror focused, for sure. So, anyways, should be interesting, should be really fun. I uh, can't wait, but uh, before that, I'll see you guys once again tonight. Uh, Saturday, 9.30 Eastern for more Spark and Zero. Gonna finish the story mode. Um, hit up some of the other game modes, maybe play online, get my ass handed to me. But until then, have a damn good one, guys. Have a good night. Thank you again so much, Pickle, for uh, the resub, man. That was so kind of you uh, for eight months with Prime. Uh, night, Eddie. Have a good night, Ian. Thank you so much uh, to you as well for dropping in. I uh, appreciate you as always for being here. You guys are... I, I, I do really... Uh, it, it, it's crazy to me that, you know, you guys are up, like, this late with me. Just seeing me, you know, having fun with the games that I... I find really fun that you guys might not have any attachment to um into these like crazy like past midnight hours into the early hours of the morning um that's wild to me like thank you so much guys i really do mean it um so take care of yourselves have a damn good one and yeah i'll see you all very soon peace out